You're listening to the Did You Hear Show. Yo, yo, yo. Morning, folks. Here it is. With your host, Jason Garvey. Yo, yo, yo. Morning, folks. What's happening today? I am joined by my co-host, Mr. Farrell. How's it going? On the decks, we have Mr. Martin Murray. Sorry, lads. And I guess today is a scientist, reality TV star from shows like California, Big Brother, and most recently, Ultimate Hell Week, Mark O'Neill. How the hell are you, brother? My name is Jeb. <laughs> <laughs> and we're out. It's heavy, man. Looking fresh. Yeah. Do you feel fresh? No, I was, uh, <laughs> I was at a concert last night, uh, Hermitage Green in Vicker Street, um... I think I'm so I didn't know who Hermitage Green were before the show. And right. Barry, he's the lead singer and he used to be a rugby player as well. Um he so he's in this band and I only found out afterwards, but it's a thing, all the cultures, and I'm allowed to say cultures because I go out with one. So <laughs> so guys, no one give out to me, right? Um I've got a pass. So all the cultures, Hermitage Green are huge down there. Like they like the coronas, like they are big, right? Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. but the dubs don't know who they are. So I kinda I was not even saying to everyone last night, so I seem like the biggest fanboy since the show, right? So, uh, it's just because I'm an idiot. I went and <laughs> I booked four. So I went online and they were all like, "Oh yeah, what dates? What what event? What um venues or events do you want to go to?" Because he's playing like a, they're on a tour, the High Generation tour. Right. I was like, "Okay, cool." So I went and I booked one, and then I was like, "This is not working." And I clicked on the other one, and I clicked on the other one, and I'm, you booked them all. I'm paying for the all. <laughs> <laughs> and now Charlotte was like, "Jesus, you, 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 hold on, you really must like them that much." Bit eager. And I was like, "Oh no!" And I said, "Ah, look, you know, it'd be something for us to do. You know, we haven't been out in like a year and a half. There's all this whole COVID thing. No one can go yeah, anywhere." Yeah, yeah. Um. So I'm now Barry's biggest fan, right? But it's more like you know what? I fell in love with the person, at Barry as a person, and the music came afterwards. And I'm kind of like now I'm I actually genuinely love the songs. Right, right, like, right. The thing like does me, the drink love the songs or do you love the oh, songs? That's it. No, both. Like, <laughs> listen, look, <laughs> I, 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 I listen to it. We listen to it at home. You know, it it, it actually they're real kind of real. They've so many good songs, and it just does. They really are really really good. Yeah. So then last night, now to tell you the truth. Sorry, Barry, if you're listening. <laughs> I did not even watch the concert. I was so drunk. Like, I mean, I, but I ruined it for myself. I got too drunk too early, and I sat there. That's and not I, like you, was it? No. But that, them days are gone. I can't keep up with the hangovers. Like, I just can't do it. I'm too old now. How old? Old enough to lie about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, you know, I, I was just like, oh, God. I, 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 I was just so bad. I woke up this morning, and, and I really did have the fear where I was like, oh, God, what, what was I saying to people last night? I'm like, because I know, you know, I was drunk before the concert started. Like when I say drunk, right. I was drunk. Could well, you have yeah. pre-drinks in the gaff? Because I seen you was ah. uh, <laughs> you was looking the dogs bollocks before you went there. Was a little oh, James Bond post. That, that Charlotte, she's a little, she's so fancy. She is. So Charlotte's my girlfriend. Right? She's just uh, and she's from Mayo. What um, a woman, by the way. What uh, a woman. I think she's the reason why Mayo won because she took the course from Mayo to Dublin. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure of it because she moved up. Hold on, you tell me. It all lines up. You know, she moves to Dublin. Dublin lose for the first time in like what six years, seven years, is it? And then I'm like, oh, I'm like, okay, Charlotte, you did it. Setting so up for an interesting what, what conversation when little, you get home. What was that little Mayo course again? Uh, so, so the, the every everyone on the team from back, they played on a Sunday years ago where they were told not to. Now I don't know the whole story. I'm going to give them what I was told. They played a game on a Sunday, and we're not supposed to because it's Holy Day. They're very, they're very religious down there. And uh, we call it, oh yeah, JC, is it, is it, is it is Jesus Christ? JC? <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love what I do. Oh, stop. Uh, I'm always wearing their mum up and all. Like our mum, I, I, her, na- her mum's name Charlotte and her granny is called Charlotte as well. And Three I was, Charlotte. That's why I call them Mary and Trees and Bridget. And they're all like, will you stop calling us that? And they call me Joseph, right? <laughs> but uh, but they're just, they're so funny. They're a lovely family. But um, the... The way it works down there is you're not supposed to play football, I think, on, or what they say call, we call football, ga, where, where yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you're not supposed to play um, on a Sunday, but they did. So a course was put on them that they'll never win in all Ireland until they're all dead. <laughs> Guess what happened? Your man died there about three, about five, six weeks ago. The last fellow was, was left. Last one. No fucking he way. He died now. Sorry, I know that's terrible to say that. Right. Boy. And you're but putting it down to Charlotte. <laughs> so Charlotte. He's Nothing getting, to do with him, though. He died. Charles moved to Dublin. Now they have a chance this year. I think they. I think they'll take it. I think I want them to take it. I do. They know They love it more than we do. We get it. And we're just kind of like, ah, oh, yeah, we won again. We've seen it too many times again. Obviously, well, obviously the course lifted as well. Like to be the course is lifted. Yeah, you want to see that too? This is it. Yeah, no, that's cool. That's, that's cool. Nice. I never knew that. Yeah. So, Mark, um, this is the first time that I have kind of seen you do like a proper interview. 
slash podcast, right? Now, when I say proper, I mean, like, no one has really dove into who Mark O'Neill actually is. They all say, I am out in California. I think that's what you're most popular for. Oh, yeah, man. Would I be right no in saying no that? No what I do, it's always Mark in California. Yeah. And, just like, and the thing is, like, man, I bleeding hate that show. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I hate it, man. I was, I you're was, not alone, don't worry. I was only a hey. young for it, man. I was a How young old were you, actually, when you were on you the see, show? you're trying to catch me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never know. I was young. Twenty. in. <laughs> I was young and stupid. I'm still stupid. I'm just old and stupid now. Um, well, yeah. So when I did California, so before, before I did California, I used to do. This let, 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 let's go right back, Mark, because where are you originally from? Because I didn't know until obviously oh, yeah, we had a conversation. Ago, yeah. So I'm originally from Ballymun, uh, the four story flats in Shangan. Right. Ballymun used to be a lovely area. Like, and look at, I know people say. When was it, this? It was back in the day. Oh, right. <laughs> we can do this all night, man. I'm hung over and I'm still on the ball. Let's go um, practice for the game we have later. Go, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we have a little uh, something, something coming up later, folks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I'm from Ballymun, as I said. And back then, it was. Like, Ballymun was a nice place. Like, for example, um, you know. You know, everybody has issues or has problems at home, or you know, like I come home and let's say my mum wasn't there, my neighbours would have have like come from home from school. Yeah. My neighbours go, Mark, come in, have your dinner. Yeah, and yeah. everyone had this community about them, and they all looked after each other. And every I knew everybody, I knew I knew everything about my neighbours. I used to babysit for some of them, and most of them would babysit for me. And you know, it's kind of like everyone kind of looked out for each other. And I tell you what, who's where that's like it's that a right now? Community, isn't it? Them Oliver Bond flats. And now I don't know any other flats. Uh, like I don't know the community, but I'm in with friends that are in the Oliver Bond flats. Yeah, and, and they, they have a similar. They have that exact same thing. Yeah. Ballymun has lost that now. Mm. Like everyone's everyone's watched too much power, and they're all trying to kill each other and. <laughs> It's yeah. like but that's everywhere, Mark. Now, man, isn't it? Like, it's you know it's I mean? so bad. Like, I, 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 I mean, without getting into it, I, I, I always felt safe in Ballymun, always. Yeah. And then now I wouldn't feel safe. I wouldn't feel mm. safe now. Like that, that's because the accent now. Though, where's the Ballymun voice oh, coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you ever heard my brother and sisters talking, um, they, they have a real common accent. Like my sister Jolene, she'd ah stop the lights. <laughs> She's <laughs> gas. And then my brother. She's the hairdresser, is she? Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. Two hairdressers we have. Right. Ah, but she's man, she's deadly. Like she is the funniest young one ever. Like, and she was, uh, I was eleven when she was born, and I remember. Why age is she now? Huh? Old. <laughs> <laughs> Old. See, you nearly got me there. You nearly got me. Uh, yeah. You made it too obvious. If you just yeah. said that, so like said a normal not, talk, yeah, if you said nothing. Yeah. I yeah. Got me, right? yeah. I just didn't want it to go over the head. I had to get a snap. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so, I read you, yeah, I read you. <laughs> so yeah, we're from there. I went out to school in the Virgin Mary, but when I was a kid, man, it was kind of mad. Like I. I didn't. I didn't tell anyone where I was from. When when I went for like when you're outside, like outside of Ballymun, let's say, you let, let's say even when you grow up, you're telling people it's from Santry because, of like, I, I was just you know you you had the stigma of being from Ballymun, and mm. now now that I'm older, I just don't care. I'm kind of like, do you know what I'm from? Where I'm from? I had a, a, a tough upbringing, I'd say. Um, but in, no, in, no. In what sense now? Um. Well. Like, you know, I mean, drugs was a big factor in, in my family. Um, my dad, who raised me, um, so it's kind of a, 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 a weird story. So my brother's dad, he raised me. So we all have different kind of dads and stuff. Pretty much this is, this is Dublin nowadays, mm. isn't it? Everyone, what's the most confusing day in, in Ireland? Mm. Father's Day, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you do? Get this person People, card, get another person yeah, card. It's, it's like that now. People you know? with their cousins and all, it's like, mental. Man, I've heard some stories. <laughs> People with their cousins. <laughs> like, seriously, have you seen my cousin? <laughs> <laughs> she was good looking I can sit her but <laughs> no, I'm joking <laughs> Try everything once uh, But um, What was it Yeah so My brother's dad He raised me And um, Till I was about 11 And then he died Tragically And Then I met my biological dad When I was 17 And you know If anyone's out there I'm sure Like I've a few people I actually know And I've had this story with them And I say it to them I listened to what my mum told me for my whole life. Oh, your dad, you know, he didn't want to know you, blah, blah, whatever, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. They say. It's all you know because it's all you're told. So, uh, yeah. and, and you're always going to be one-sided with your mum. And, you know, before I met him, I was just like, no, I don't want to know him. I don't care. He didn't want to know me. Then he, I, I straight out asked him, said, look, what's the crack? And he goes, look, I was only with your mum for a one-off. You know, it was kind of like happened. And then I had a board then afterwards and it was kind of like, Kind of worked out easy, and then you had someone there that was raising you, and I was kind of like, how can I be angry at that? Now, I mean, I'm growing up now, you know, I'm, I'm a grown man. I'm kind of like, how yeah. can I get angry at that? And I tell you, he is the nicest guy in the whole world. But when I first met him, I remember we were in a pub, and this is this is hilarious. We we're in the Prizewood pub in Darndale, and uh, this guy who knew my dad who raised me, 
and he knew my biological dad, mm. but he did not know that my biological dad was my What's actual dad. dad. Right, he yeah. knew me as Bits was my dad, that's my yeah. brother's dad. And we're sitting there, and he comes over and he goes, Ah, oh, Jesus, no. He goes, See his dad, great boxer. He's the bleeding image of him, isn't he? He's the image of him. And I'm sitting there like oh, that. <laughs> Uh, my dad's sitting there like that and I have to say I got the most amount of respect for the guy like because he's sitting there and he was just like he just took on the chin took like, her on the chin he goes Jesus he's heavy part of his outfit like, and do you, you think, think <laughs> do you think he took it on the chin out of respect for your brother's yeah, dad yeah. for raising so, you like, so when I tell people this like people like when I, let's say I'm if I, so I never really bring up my brother's dad um, right. but he he's a big influence on my life and I've never really spoke about that he got me into the boxing, got me into training. Like I'm training since I'm about 12, 13 years of age. Um, because he was a boxer, he was going for he was fighting with Michael Crute. Um, he, he used to f he fought him before he went to the Olympics. He lost. Michael Crute went to the Olympics. He didn't. Right. Um, and it was all that kind of community. And as I said to you, I loved boxing. I wasn't very good at it. Well, I beat most. Ryan people. would say different. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he'll touch on that later. I, I I wasn't very good at it, but I I I had a good few fights, but I just had no skills. You know what it was? I just out trained people, and I beat them that way. You know, yeah, and that's, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, happened. I but I, I just don't yeah. have I just don't have skill, man. I I I I, I love it. I love it. I love throwing a few slaps, you know. I mean, but if we got in a fight in the street, I wouldn't even know what to do. I'd probably hug you and try drop the lips on you if you try to come near me. <laughs> like, this will be it's a good way to get someone off. Yeah. Yeah. You know I, mean? I don't know. We probably let you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When so, we start on you later. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I have I have this thing where it's like you know, if people knew me or knew um, my dad when I was younger, mm. I don't correct them and say he wasn't my dad. I don't do that. But if I meet new people today, I don't, you know, I just, I, I just say, yeah, that's, that's my, my dad is my dad, my biological dad, mm. and he is my dad. Like, I mean, he is just, I'm every bar of him. And people say we didn't grow up together. I met him when I was seventeen. We didn't grow grow up together. But yeah, did you not have any animosity towards him at all? I didn't hate, I'm not gonna hate him. Hate yeah, him before right. I met him. Before I met him, and so then that when built I met him, res like resentment, didn't it? Like yeah, and and a lot of people think that. Like, but look at all the positives I've gained over. Right when I met him, he gave me, look, he gave me an answer. I said, look, listen, you know, I had a board. You respect his honesty. No, look, I had a board. You got pregnant. I don't know what happened there. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm trying to not get him hung here. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Obviously, oh, still. <laughs> Did you think about it? I don't right, know. Right, right. There, right? <laughs> I don't know. We always joke about it and slag him and the thing. I don't know. You know right, what right, I mean? Right, I right. Well, I kind of do, but let's He's not get him He's getting punched or now and at the this yeah, minute yeah. now. It was 18 years of Mickey yeah. money on a bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you go uh, public with it? What do you mean? You eventually, like, oh, no, yeah, like everyone knows it. Like, yeah, everyone. Uh, everyone knew. That's the thing. Everyone knew. That, that's yeah. the thing. But um, you know, I only know but what stories they told me as a kid. I never really brought it up again. You know, what I mean? it was kind of yeah. like so. T now that I'm older and I understand. Tell me what actually happened. No, I, I don't even yeah. ask. Mm -hmm. But you know, man, he is a great guy, and we never we never grew up together, right? But we're so alike, man. And the thing is that I love him to bits, and and I'm 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 so grateful if I could be like he's such a nice person, hasn't a Fucking washer, right? He hasn't a washer, but you know what, man? He give you the shirt off his back. I know everyone says that's a real cliche thing. Man, he do anything for you. Yeah, I just mean, a nice person. Like, that, mm. Man, I tell Anyone. you, if I, I hope, if people say I'm very much like him, and I even see sometimes we'd be sitting there and we have the same mannerisms, we do stuff, and I'm like, I never fucking grew up with you. How the fuck have I yeah. got all this? Yeah. It's um, mad, isn't it? Like, yeah, how that shit walks out. It's like. mad, right? But even my sisters and all, like, so my dad then, so on my mum's side, mm. I have two brothers and two sisters and on my dad's side I have two sisters and one brother you know right. what I mean mm -hmm. right. and like think about this I would never have got to know them my sisters are like man I'm so close to all my family like it's they're all just brilliant like then they're all different characters and they're all funny and you know like <laughs> it's just they're just gas you know and, 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 I, and I just love them I'm so grateful to have so many brothers and sisters so for having a shitty upbringing of all the other crap that happened as a kid and you wouldn't you know, change it like well, it would. I'd love to change every time. I'd love to grow up and fuck <laughs> No, but the way you were saying, obviously. Oh, is that where your dad was from? No. I'm really? saying, what are you talking No, my dad's from Darndale. I'm saying, I'd love to grow up and fuck rock, is what I'm saying. I wish. Like, oh, right, 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 in general. Jeez, right, that's right, what I thought right. you were going with that. I was like, no. <laughs> no, because the way you were bringing it up, obviously, like. I mean, look, at, look, that you look what I've got. With, like. Look what I've got, man. I've got like a, like and not many people. Like I know so many people are only childs, and they always say lonely childs instead yeah, of only. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's I, I can always go to them and have a chat. I'm just having a bad day. Give them a call, and it's so great to have so many like yeah. that. Um, and then my dad's wife. So my dad's wife, I call her mum. Um, yeah. because my own mum, you know, she's had her troubles with drug addiction and all that kind of stuff, and she, I was always kind of her her parent. Really, she, I, she wasn't really my mother that way. Like and and. I don't mean to say that she's not my mother. Of course she's my mother. But I was always the one that had to look out for her. I'm yeah. the one that had to kind of do, like, you know, I had to worry about stuff as a kid. Like, 
my sister was I was ele- I was eleven when my sister was born, and I mean I remember having to put her to bed, and I pretty much that's why I've I've had kids, like, I've had yeah. all my brothers and sisters, I've yeah, raised yeah. all them, and so that's why when I I don't have kids now, but I'm telling everybody that like you know I, I felt like I had them. Isn't it? I remember mm. having to sing to her right, and I always slag her right about her. like I remember whenever what she did you sing. I'll tell you, Rice's Spice Girls. Rice, she used to have the uh, come a little bit closer, baby. <laughs> get it on, get it on. Because tonight is your night when to become one. Come on, Jay. I need, I need some, some love like I've never been really loved love before. Gonna, gonna make love to you, baby. <laughs> a little love. <laughs> come on, so good. Gonna make uh, love so, yeah, no. Jay, yeah, you too cool, are you? I was more of a Backstreet Boys fan. Yeah. Oh, man, I love Backstreet Boys. Don't get me started. All I right. could do the medley with you Back right now. <laughs> Uh, no, but that's what we. But that's what, what like, I remember having to do these things, and and it's mad. Like the love I ha- like, I always slag her saying it to her. Like I have to, that's the only way I could put her to sleep. And she watched horror movies. The, the Evil Dead is what she used to walk to go to sleep. Uh, she used to watch to go to sleep. Bet she didn't watch <laughs> Freddy Krueger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Evil Dead freaked the fuck out of me when I seen it. Me, I know, but I was a kid as well, you know. And it, it's so mad. But my dad's wife, I call her mum. And she comes to all my graduations. She's just, you know, she's everything a mum should be. She's just perfect. How is your mum now? Uh, my mum, she's still, you know, still well, not still great. still has a few. Still, 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 still has the same issues. But, I mean, like, that's not the worst thing. Like, I used to think when I was a kid, I had a bad, right? And I used to think, like, I mean, how, do, how is this so far? Like, why is this happening to me? Why do I have to deal with all this crap? And then my brother's dad dying and, you know, the circumstances of that. And then not, not having a dad and not having any kind of father figure there and... Then you meet people. I remember, I don't want to say names, but there was a guy years ago who was a bit of a weirdo. From, like, when I say weirdo, I hate saying that because I feel terrible that I... We're all weirdos, mate. No, but I, you know what I mean, I used to kind of be, not that I, not a bully, but I'd be, I would get in on the whole chanting thing. Ah, you're this, you're that, you're yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And then I found out some horrible stuff. He's getting molested by his dad. Well, look, that, that, I think that's a part of growing up, Mark. Yeah, I think yeah. we all, d- depending like, on the groups, what we... We all deal with to be accepted. Yeah, 100%. But yeah, imagine that, like, funny. I thought I had problems. Yeah, his I know. His dad was molesting him. And I'm sitting yeah. there going, I used to sit there going like that, going... What the hell are you moaning about? You like, I mean, like you yeah. literally had it. I, I said to you there, I had a hard upbringing. It wasn't that bleeding hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I had the same realization when we had a uh, Keith and Pamela on. I don't know whether you've seen that episode, but they go through serious shit every day with their kids. You know, when you just it really does put stuff no, into perspective. Again. Absolutely. Um. So Keith and Pamela, it's a friend. They're, they're friends of the show, basically. Yeah. But basically, they had a little, uh, a little girl with what, what's it called, Martin? I don't want to butcher Ella the name Johnny. again. Oh, cerebral palsy. Yeah. And it, it, it's just oh, a I nightmare. think I shared that thing. Is that this, uh, the little young one? She had to get surgery and everyone trying to raise money for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I did that. There's another one, the Senna Steps. That's the Sienna Steps. I'm probably Yeah, I, t- that. I, think, I think that's another local one as well, yeah, actually. Man, you know, yeah. I, I, I actually don't know enough about that one. But so I, think I, I, shared, I shared all this stuff all the time for people. And if I can do anything, and, and, and again, if anyone's listening to this and I can share it, throw it out to me. I don't have a big following, but look, if I can, I'll throw give, it out. Give 40 grand like McGregor. You sound <laughs> like that. What do you think I am? <laughs> sure, you just kept clicking refresh on the tickets, remember? You just the bone. Oh, man, <laughs> such a dope. I mean, and you know what? They weren't even cheap. They were like 50 something quid to go. And then she's like, Just wasn't an issue for you. you know what I mean, yeah, oh, we'd be our ass with that money. I'll go one of the nights. We'll go, we'll go one of the Do for Barry. You won't do for charity. What? <laughs> no, that's the thing. No, I did. I don't. <laughs> man, I've done some stupid shit before. You know, I remember I remember I saying to her one night and I was doing a charity. What was the charity for? It was, um, oh, I can't even remember now. I did a charity ages ago and I, I tried to t- send 50 euros to it. <laughs> Five, Five, zero, zero. <laughs> Zero. Oh Jesus! And then I took away one to zeros. They ended up sending five hundred quid. And I was like, <laughs> no, he's on. Was in the height of it. I was like, oh no! You can't <laughs> ask for the back you later. Can't, you can't yeah, no you back season. You don't have any change. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and that's four fifty change, please. And, and, and that has happened, you know. Yeah, but um, where were we? I don't even know. We're just yeah, no, we, we were just finishing up on your kind of childhood and upbringing. But I think yeah. it's important, Mark, because we're talking about the key and Pamela one. Sorry. Yeah, the key and Pamela. Yeah. Explaining that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that kind of puts stuff into perspective for me. But I think it's important to go back, Mark, on kind of where you came from because obviously, like I said, a lot of people know you from California and yeah. they see this kind of mad bass and they're like, it's interesting to know someone's story, you know? Yeah. Like you said, I always refer to the smelly kid in school, Mark. Mm. There was... Oh, everyone had a smelly person in the class. Everyone. And I was the cunt I used to say, I'm not sitting beside them, the smelly bastards or whatever. <laughs> and I used to hate getting stung beside them. But then when you actually think of it, it 
they just probably couldn't afford a bleeding shower. Yeah. The electricity or something, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It just it does it put stuff in perspective. Like we're, in if or, my, we're in Ireland, mate. I think they have water. I'm just thinking here. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, but there's, look, there's, there's, there's ways. There's to go reasoning about it. for. Like, there's reasoning I, I think for everything. Some people just have bad hygiene. Parenting. It's the bag Eddie wash. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it comes down to parenting. You know, you have to actually wash. Like, come on, when you were a kid, I never showered for like days on end, and then all of a sudden you hit puberty, and you're like, I. I smell like, <laughs> like and it's, it's because you've, you've you know you're becoming a man or whatever you know but a I woman or whatever that. you want to be and the thing is, is that there's a big difference you could go a whole week nearly without showering yeah. as a kid it used to be a thing my brother my like brother Robbie's like still like that he'd go three weeks and he wouldn't smell <laughs> he'd, he'd play smell, Astro though. and all he still wouldn't have a shower to smell <laughs> 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 it great to begin with <laughs> now, now I have like at least it, you have to have a shower every day like, I would feel I hope you are I wouldn't I wouldn't have a shower every day I wouldn't no every day or every second day it wouldn't be every day like straight out no I wouldn't Man, I uh, wouldn't need one Man, I don't, see if I go on the run and I come home I don't smell or that and I, I mustn't have hippie over to you Hey. You you mean, hang on a minute. Let's just address this whole yeah, analogy. Adams. You just don't go on runs. You don't sweat because you're stationary. Hey, you, you should shower every day. I know they say. At least one. No, here. Yeah. I'm being straight out. I don't shower every day. I wouldn't wash my hair every day, but I would have a yeah, shower. Yeah, that's because you were fucking. <laughs> give us a look, Hawkeley. Give, <laughs> give us a lend <laughs> a half of that, will you? <laughs> yeah, give Martin some. He's fucking. So he can put it on his face. <laughs> but come here. Let's let's jump right into it. And California, Mark. How how the fuck did that come about? You're from Bali, Moon. You end up in Tala. How did that happen? Jeez, but it was before I don't that. Where though? Where did? So just yeah, before. actually, I don't think they were. Yeah, so it was just a good title. It was weird. Yeah, so man, there's, there's more. If we, we're, we're jumping a load, but we go to California if you want. Uh, Wait, what we jumping? You were a stripper. You got. Into oh yeah, yeah. Let's go into. I say before that even. So I was, I was in the army for. So I, I, I did. Box Boxing for a long time, and yeah. I uh, I went over and I went over f- um, to represent Ireland and all when I was younger. And I was with like Bracken Boxing Club. I was with Drim. The boxing club was the main one I was with. Dominic Savio Saviors did a little bit. We all could, yeah, every every boxer has been in like every boxing club mm. doing spars. And I've got some really good mates that are pros. And as I said to you before, I wasn't I wasn't great. But I, you I, were probably in Bairn of Dunes here, were you? Um, Round there. Know, maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> um, um, but I know all the man, you know, and and it, it's mad, like, all the boys, they, they, like, you see those guys coming, they always coming now to clubs, and they were, like, they had skill. Like, I remember, I remember first time ever seeing a traveller lad named um, Jimmy Sweeney, and I mean, he looked like he was dancing. I used to watch him in the ring, and he'd be, he was moving, he'd be bouncing off the ropes, and he'd be, he'd be just, like, slipping and doing stuff like that. I was like a brick. I just walked <laughs> in, and I, I, I mean, I was strong. I was, I was. I, that's one thing I had. I'm yeah, always big, man. Always yeah. I was skinny, but I was also uh, skinny. But I could, uh, I was all strong and lean. I could eat whatever I want. And I Mongo can. strength, Mongo strength. If you want to say that, mm. yeah, <laughs> maybe because I'm not very clever. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I used to go in and and I'd, and I'd, I'd just jump in. I'd fight everybody and and I win. Like I, I, I used to be every my 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 old style was I. I had a great guard like that. I block, let them come at me for first round. And anyone you're fighting back then as novices, intermediate, let's say, um, they gas themselves nearly in the first round. So I just walked them down the first round. Second round came out and I just take uh, them off the smokes. Yeah. You yeah. know, drop them like a bad habit, like you yeah. know. Yeah. And show out Ed Sheeran. And, yeah, like that, yeah. <laughs> and that, got, that got me. That got me through. Man, twenty seven fights or something I've had like internationally as well. I fought and doing all this stuff. And I know I'm telling you right now, I am shy. But I just out. I think maybe I out trained people. I was able to go forward on them. I yeah. was fit. I just loved. I loved it. But it was crap. You I remember mean, your worst hiding? Uh, actually, my worst hiding. I deserved it. Um, <laughs> Are we talking about Man, boxing? Yeah, boxing, boxing no. No. Oh, mountain boxing. Oh, boxing. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. He got hooked Wait. around by his brother for singing yeah. Spice Girls in the bedroom. My worst fight, my worst fight, actually, I tell you, it was my worst fight. The worst, worst fight I ever got was, um, oh, my God, J.J. Doran. He, I fought him twice. He's Now, he's uh, he's went on and done. He's, uh, he's such a great guy. He's a lovely fella as well. I know his brother as well. His brother, um, we we had, we had trained together before his older brother. And... I remember I got into the ring with him. I actually just before that I won an Irish title, uh, kickboxing, which I've never kickboxed in my whole life. And it was a guy named Wally Dillon, who was uh, a man. He was just a legend from the gym, some old lad, you know. And he, he was saying to me, "Man, you want to go down? I see you do the boxing. Do you want to come down and do this Chinese boxing? You know, it's like basically it's like boxing with trolls." I was like, "What?" I had no idea what it was. So I was like, ah, yeah, sure, we'll do a thing. And the guy I was supposed to fight, it was just going to be boxing, really, because I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I had no idea. Boxing with trousers, as in you can box and then... it's called Sander or something they call it. It's like Sander or something like that. Or it, I, don't, don't, I don't know what, you, what this right. is called. Or Wuxi, or I have no idea, but <laughs> brought me down. If anyone anyway. in the comments knows... Well, well, sorry, if anyone can help me here. His name is Wally Dillon. Everyone knew him. He was, one of, he was a gent from... Um, I, I think he was now Baldoyle, but he used to train in Northwood 
gym. Right, via Shanghai. And he, but he, but he pictures him with Bruce Lee. Like he literally back oh in the day, like he That's died, crazy. he died there now a couple of years ago. But he was a proper like martial artist, like back when it was like you know maybe not as popular. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he said, "Me come down to it." We went down to this place, Offaly, and of this place, there's this place called this, I'll call it Offaly, right? <laughs> we went down to this place in Offaly, and uh, he, he goes, "Okay, you're gonna fight this guy." And your man basically he didn't show up. Who was supposed to fight, but. We were like it was like it's like it's like blood sport in a way. <laughs> right. There was all these other Great fighters. Movies. And all of a sudden all I hear is you're gonna fight this guy, uh, Joe Melvin was the name. Hadn't been beaten in years, European kickboxing champion. And I was like, Okay. Now Mark, it's called uh, Sanda, um and, and the mean that means that there's you know, where there's no there's no padding. I was like, Okay, and you're allowed to kick or right, okay. And I was like, right, is that, and that's it. Great, yeah, that's all you gotta do. Kickbox. No. <laughs> I was like, Okay, but if you win, you win a belt. And I was eighty one kilos. I've always been eighty one kilos, by the way. Sam, um, he's under eighty four. Why not, man? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> he's always been eighty one, but a few extra as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> been minimum eighty one. Eighty one and some change. So yeah. he, he's the rest in jellies. We we went to fight this fella <laughs> anyway, and he goes, look, worst case scenario, you get knocked out. Yeah. But if you win, you get a toilet. You're skipping to go to a, a pro arm. Yeah. This Jake Paul and pro arm fight. Yeah, exactly. So I went. I went. I went. All right, cool. Let's go. So took the fight, and obviously I went out and doing the whole thing and again I told you my guard I do this whole thing I did before first round to let them do what they want they always gas themselves out right oh, come man this guy I thought I was fighting Goro <laughs> <laughs> this guy was punching kicking me everything by the way no one told me you can't knee I'm like this he grabs the back of my head he goes straight through my guard broke my nose broke my nose God. blood spraying everywhere right I was like I'm sorry before I actually fought this guy I heard him kicking it's like Kung Pao from the kickboxer yeah, yeah. And I was like, what's that, Germania you're fighting? <laughs> right? So when he gets out with me, this fella gets in and he eighty five and the rest. Like I mean, I was just like, ah, oh, but he gets in, he battered me. I mean when I say he battered me, I mean I was ne- I was like, I've made the worst L- mistake in my life. Yeah. Like you were at the walking through Hairland basically. Man, he grabbed me by the back of the head, but um he was elbowing me, he was I mean, absolutely kicking me around. I went back to the corner and then I was just like what the hell was that? <laughs> I went out and I just threw, threw a random hook and knocked him out. Got the belt? <laughs> Got the belt and retired straight away. <laughs> never when you went back to the corner, were you thinking like, never again, don't oh, send me back out. I, I, went, out. I, was yeah. like, I went back to the corner and I was like, what on earth was that? <laughs> so I come in, because remember, my game plan is to throw yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Man, Felt set up, did threw, you? Threw, <laughs> I, what happened was I threw, I threw a left, I took a right, and I usually had, had the left coming, the hook coming in, and all of a sudden he's already going down from the little, terrible little right. It wasn't even a hard one. It was just yeah. on the sweet spot. It, well, it, 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 ju- it like, just goes like, to show, though. I'm like, ah! He's like, oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, thank God. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs> right? So that was literally around the time of California, actually, that. But then, the, as you said, we go back to the one there. I fought JJ then, I think, maybe a week later. So I, my confidence is like... Sky high. Yeah, anybody can get it. Fucking champ over yeah. here. So I went around and like that. I remember I was on a, a TV show um, doing like the the, the yoke after California. I had the belt on me and everything. I was just like, you take it. It was deadly, right? And then I fought JJ and then JJ got in the ring and big, huge, tall fella. And, you know, I'm kind of, you know, they always try to push it around to keep you. So I'm trying to get on top of him because he's much taller than me. And I'm basically running them down. I'm, I'm kind of getting in. I'm moving. I think I'm deadly. And I'm, I literally think I'm like I'm a little rat, Rottweiler. See, so remember I told you first round thing. Yeah, let yeah. them go. I let that go out the window this time. I was like, I'm, deadly. <laughs> I'm a champ now. I'm a champ now. now. Yeah. Went in second round. Same thing. Keeping up. Towards round came out. And just at the very end of the round, he catches me. We both went in for a hook. He caught me. And I mean, I didn't know where up was. Right? <laughs> I did not know where up was. And for then on, this is where the worst part of my life happens, right? So we did this for charity because he was going for the All Irons at the time, and it was a white collar event. Uh, like? Well, everyone else was white collars. We 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 were fight, we'd already boxed, but right, it was right. a white collar. But yeah, I know like, what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. We were like the the, no the, the main event. event. Yeah. We're the main yeah. event, yeah. and it was going to go on for I think it was like five or six rounds or something. Where it was, I think actually no, I think it was four rounds. It was supposed to be. I can't remember. Obviously, I didn't supposed go. to be. Supposed right. to be yeah, right. we're still listening. So so yeah, so basically gets up anyway. And as I said, I knew his brother and he was he was refing. His brother was the ref of the thing. By the way, he helped me out so much. So when he hits me, I tried to get up. And when you get hit proper, proper, like, and you don't, I was trying to crawl into the ground. Legs like, are I didn't know where I was. I was tr- getting up. This is the first time it's ever happened to me. This like, thing going, I've never been beaten. I was like, oh, what, the, what, what is this? 
and then he's and all of a sudden then he just teed off on me like I mean literally like I was a punching bag and this guy is the hardest hitter I've ever I went over to America I fought with Mexicans and this guy was hitting me like I was trying to kiss a train like he was taking my head off right and he's battering me <laughs> and then all of a sudden I get a standing count right by the way I fell over two or three times I got back up and they were like give me standing count and he comes over and, he, and I'm like I'm, I'm like that I'm shaking my head and everyone's like, look at Mark, he doesn't want to give up. I'm like, no, I can't go on. <laughs> I can't go on. I'm dead, I'm dead, right? So I'm so fucking telling him. That every, boy and every, has heart, oh, right? And I mean, everyone afterwards was like, Jesus Christ, you could see you were shaking your head, don't stop it. No, no, he was like, I'm <laughs> <"I'm> going <laughs> Right? So all of a sudden he hit me, boom. I mean, guys, I did not know where, I was in bits and I grabbed onto him, right? I said, please don't get me knocked out in the void collar for you. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been whispering in his ear and he's carrying me. Now, this is how much of a nice guy. This bat fella knocked me out. The round got, st- got stopped, right? They just kind of went, ah, oh, fair play to them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had to carry me out. Like, literally, body, sc- like, not bodyguard style, Keep but like, you up. He, arm around him. And he yeah. had to carry me out of the ring. I couldn't stand. I was all over the place. And how you know you get a really bad concussion? Um, I was lying down, let's say, and I was with a, a lady friend and I had to get up. I had to get sick. And this kept happening every time I lied down. You know, you had, you were concussed, like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You, 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 man. I was Scary. all over the place. You, you get up and out of nowhere, you're getting up off the toilet, and I, I actually concussed myself a second time, maybe a week later. I got up off the toilet, and I went to get up to kind of wipe my arse, and I, pa- I kind of not that I passed out, out, but I lost my balance and I went and I lashed my head off the sink. Oh, <laughs> and I had to go to the hospital. Then they go, so what's wrong with you? And I said, I don't know. They told me I'm <laughs> concussed or whatever. Yeah. So then I fought him again. Um, I went to America uh, after no, I fought him again, and. Jim Rock was the ref this time. And again, I told you guys, I wasn't great. But this guy had skill, power, everything. I fought him again, and he absolutely battered me. And when I say battered me, my granddad died the day before. So I wasn't really in it either. And no excuses, Mark. No, no excuses. This guy's much better for it than me, man. Jesus <laughs> Christ. It's a place you're getting in there again. Yeah, I'm not in again because we were doing it for charity and I was, my granddad was a boxer as well and I was kind of, my head was all over the place then. But then we went to America then and I was fighting with Mexicans. I learned a few more tr- tricks. Slip a punch, Mark. Don't just actually take it like fucking Homer Simpson. Yeah, I'm trying to slow his fist down with yeah. your face. That's what I was like. like Homer <laughs> Simpson now, yeah. So we did that and then uh, came back and we had a little kind of, it's like Rocky Tree. We did it behind closed doors and I took a picture on Instagram, chew it up. He still batted me. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a lovely, lovely bloke, you know. Uh, and um, that, that was it, yeah. I, I fought one guy after that again and I was telling you there earlier, he was terrible. I'm so, I can't remember his name. He was that bad and he batted me mm. and he won. He didn't batter me, batter me. He just won on points and I was just like, how on earth did this fella beat me and he's terrible? Like, he was terrible. So I went, ah. I'm That's it, retired. Okay. I'm, and I'm, did you feel like you lost that fight during the fight or was this like dodgy oh, boxing? No, man, I've just, I, do you know what it was? I just got to a point where I didn't really love it anymore like that. Yeah. I wasn't training mm. properly. Time to get out then if you're hurting you, you can get out of it. Like, I mean, I said, I wasn't going <coughs> to More like, excuses. Like, Brucey lads. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I always knew I was never going to be a boxer. I wasn't yeah, a good boxer. Yeah, yeah. I just enjoyed doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I had a lot of friends in the boxing, you know, and, and I used to, as I said, I used to see some of the lads that can actually move, like Jimmy Sweeney was the first one. Man, I remember seeing him. It was just, it was beautiful. Like watching ballet. Exactly, man. He was Loma moving. Chanko. He looked like he was messing. He was bouncing off. He was using the rope, bouncing off them and on. I used to try to do it. and I fell through the ropes once. <laughs> twice. Right. I used to try copying. Why got in the ring? I fall through the ring, yeah. not the ropes. But then there was my friend uh, um, Shane Roach and his brothers. They're all boxers and all that. And his dad, Alby, he, he he's a boxer. Albert, he's a boxer as well. And he de- he's down in I can't remember the name of the place. Then we have Robert Bor- Borky. They're all like they 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 have skill, you know. And you can see them when they're doing. They skill, and they're like, look at this. Tick wanting us to get in, <laughs> and I used to get man. I've got in with like the heavyweight champion of Ireland. I got in with him down at the gym, and all the lads going, Are You mad? I got in the room, I'll be fine, I'll be all right. Hands up, got battered at a, a, a spar, and, I was just, and they're going, You'll just jump in with anyone. I says, Look, I'm not good, I'm not a good boxer. I, I really am, but I, I, I enjoy getting hit in the face. Is that does is it? Is <laughs> it, it test it, test it. I'm yeah. not fucking so, testing. So, yeah, 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 so, so I joined I joined the army. Sorry, let's go. Yeah, I went on a big tangent there. So I, I joined the army. Uh, how, how, did, how did you like go about going into the, into the army? army? Like, right, so. what was it? The whole love of training and that. Yeah, so so my brother's dad, as I said, he got us into the boxing and the training, and it kind of started from there. And I trained every day my whole life. Like, I, I really have. Well, not every day, yeah, obviously, but I, I can see that. It's like looking at a mirror. No, no. It's like looking yeah. at a black, bad f- black bag filled with yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> 
It would have been funny if he didn't stumble. That's all I was missing. Because that was gold. Oh, that was that was that was good. You just rip each other, don't you? Uh, no, you just rip me. I can yeah. see why. Because yeah. of loads of layers and I can take <laughs> it. You know what I mean? That black bag. <laughs> Oh, stop me um, again punched yeah, around so after this <laughs> oh yeah yeah so when I finished school I think I was like 17, 18 I finished school I did my leaving certs didn't like everybody else just normal leaving cert didn't know anything about college didn't t- I thought people I went to college were for Professor Fink from the Simpsons yeah. and I definitely wasn't one of them Um, so I joined the army my granddad he got me into it and he said look you should go for the army it'd be a good thing for you but before that it was in like the equivalent to the navy FCA, you know, the yeah, yeah, yeah. it's called the Slough of Marie, and I went down to Cork, did all my training down there. Absolutely loved it. Was it around the same place where you done? Yeah, same yeah. place, right, yeah. Right, uh, right next to it. Yeah, we're going right, to. So that you're right at home there. Yeah. It's right next. To it. It's called Harbolan. Uh, uh, I think it's Harbolan. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm fucking up, but it, it is. It's something like Harbolan. Anyway, it's down in down in Cork, and it's a naval base down there, and do all your training down there. Everything that you do and recruit training, we did it, but on like. It's not getting paid. You just call them the Weekend Warriors or the Free Clothing Association or whatever. Yeah, Free Clothing Association. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Weekend Warriors one of my favourites or the Sandbaggers, you know. But look, man, just Sandbaggers. But sure, man, they love it more than the Army. The Army do it because they get paid. The lads do it because, you know, they love it. Yeah. But I joined the Army, as I said, and I was in McKee uh, at the start doing my recruit training and I tell the boys the story. So I started then doing, so I was in the Army maybe a year and then I started stripping. But we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, I just finished my recruit training. But I joined recruit training, man, I tell you. See, recruit training. So when I did the show now, I'm kind of going back and forth here. But the show now was pretty much just digging up all the old recruit training yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like the stories, man. I mean, the best time of my life, the best time of my life was recruit training in the army when I was like 18, 19. Like, it's just, oh my God. How many years ago God. was that? Long time ago. <laughs> um, Eight years ago. Yeah, yeah. Let's say that. <laughs> but lads, I tell you, it was just absolutely incredible like the stuff we did you know and it was just it's, it's just re- like adult school though isn't it in a way like PE coming to classes like well, just as uh, an adult like it just offended every soldier on the island they say uh, it's like uh, PE for adults uh, no I wouldn't say that <laughs> it, it, it's mental toughness it's everything you see on the show but imagine for six months everything yeah. you see on that show but for six months like, is it I mean, that heavy yeah man yeah like recruit training is what you see in the movies like you know hey boy you look like you could suck a garden uh, golf ball <laughs> through a garden hose right? Call my pile of them. yeah it was this stuff and you always had a heat seeker right? there's always a heat seeker in every group and that I'm not going to lie to you oh, I meant the fun of it by the way was, not the yeah. actual that was me I was the heat seeker in recruit training so all the boys from the yeah, regiment I apologise for doing, getting you all creased <laughs> I was and that's how they did it they didn't punish you yeah, they punish yeah. everyone else you yeah, know like, yeah. like I could live a, with that there was a guy named Slats <laughs> there he was uh, he's a nice fella Robert Slattery we had a few knocks uh, a few knocks then with Sounds like you fight game. everyone, you know. When are we down this, lads? Yeah, man, you know, no, no, back, back in the day, like, in the army, everyone battered everyone. Like, I got yeah. a hiding off everyone. I gave a few hiding. Say we you got probably ready. get on better afterwards. You do. You yeah. do, man, man, me and my brother, me, me and brother, my brother Buffy, right, years ago. Um, so, so we'll get on to the teeth in a minute as well. So this dude here was a... So I, when I was a kid, I could eat an apple through a letterbox, I could, you know, like, <laughs> I, I mean, my teeth were out of horizontal. If I was kissing the board, I was having a sword fight where I nearly, like, you know... <laughs> Um, like I mean no joke guys is I that why the college is Zara I thought it was because of the hair <laughs> do, you know how, do you know how ugly I was right you know when a confirmation picture with a priest's arms around you my priest has a hand on my shoulder for <laughs> like that's how ugly I was yeah, how priest, ugly you have to be for the priest not the to touch you the priest not even want to touch me that's how bad it was, was real has he a four star audition was for the gremlins <laughs> yeah, do you know what man do you know what man I, I'm still an ugly I look like okay here's a perfect example I want everybody to see this right look at my thumb now imagine that with teeth from toes <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what I look I look like a tom and a bit of hair like I look like a tom man I'm in bits I, like like, like I, I, and the thing is it's funny you know I, man I'm gonna go on so many segments segways <laughs> how on earth was I a stripper like man paint stripper I wasn't able to do I was I was in bits no, it was guys there was guys that were actually good looking we'll get into stripping in a minute but the army <laughs> great shape many, and a nice piece so many stories so too many stories, <laughs> so, so many stories. Uh, so let me see. So the army then, it was just, man, it was just so good. Like, it was just, uh, man, uh, you know what? The guys don't get enough credit. You know, pe- we all know the lads from the army because, you know, the lads from around the corner, someone joined the army, this, that, yeah. the other. I just really wish that I would stay in the army if the pay was better. They should have paid, they should pay the boys. Like, I mean, you pay civil servants. Or you, like, that's pretty much what we are. Like, yeah. we are working for the government. We're here protecting yeah. the co- country. We're going to Oh, overseas. Graham, we, we had Graham Fitzpatrick, Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald mm. sorry, on the show when he was saying the same. Like, and you, it kills me because some of the the nicest people I know and I tell you 
if I didn't join the army, where, where what would happen? I had no career, I had no career plan. I had nothing. Do you, it all kind of fell into place. Do all think? fell into place. Yeah. Do you think the army helped shape to like w- what came in the future? I feel the like. army gave me like so. I am very uh, regimental, like like with my clothes and organization skills, and it's something that I gained from that. And you know, it y- you get you get you become a man. I mean, look, I was still a child. I was still an idiot. Like, mm. I'm still an idiot. Right? But I'm saying, then you're just... Like, what would, like this is what happens with kids. Like, and I see... You became a man, but yet you don't telephone. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is kind of like what I want to ask as well, though. So if you're in the army, right, yeah. obviously... I would imagine you are very well disciplined afterwards. No, after the, after the fact, <laughs> they're supposed to be. Yeah, exactly. To be. When, sure when you need to be, to when you need to be, when the cameras on you, you can do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, and when then the when you like, <laughs> when you go into a, a California or a Big Brother, and we'll get to them as well in a while. But yeah, you're just the antagonizer in there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There, was, there was none of that discipline. You are no. just. Well, that's, you that's, are a, t- to that's like a TV show. Buttons. I will get into that one. We're kind of going back and forth. I can answer that one for you if you want. But I mean, like, so here's the thing for you. You're on a TV show. For a TV show to be popular, there has to be drama, right? Has to be drama. Yeah, of course. Right? And if you want to be a leading character in that in that show, you have to be at the center of that drama, right? So here's yeah. a thing for you. There's no, there's no, so tell me what you were doing on a Saturday night. Now, without, without being rude, Jay, right? You've watched the show, Tim. I know what you're like. I'm trying to help you here. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> what, right. My so, typical Saturday night. No, don't, don't, don't. I don't care. Don't say I'm going to tell you. Right. Wait, wait. A few socks walking under the bed. I knew he was going to go there. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I'm it. only joking. I now it. I have the kids on the weekend. He has right. perfect time with but the there's still socks walking under the bed. You've no, you've, you've no kids with you, right? What, you tell me what you can do. If, right, you're in your room. Mm-hmm. You've no TV. You have nothing to read. Anyway, you have no pe- you have no pen, piece of paper, nothing. This is why I told you to be polite here, right? <laughs> right. You have nothing. You have nothing to entertain yourself. You're not going to read anything. Right. This is what Big Brother's like, right? Yeah. So what would you do? Well, it's the people in the room with me. After two weeks, you've had all your conversations. You've had the conversations. You've told them your life story. You've talked and talked and talked. 24 hours a day for two weeks. You're in there two weeks, let's say. I was in there for six. Mm. Two weeks. What do you do? Probably start drawing or something. You got nothing to draw with. <laughs> You know what to draw with? Uh, what would I do? See? So what you do is you come up with ways to make the show more, you know, interesting and try to be funny and try to entertain yourself. So that's what it is. So you know, like, you know what's going to be shown. Camera, come on, and it torn. No, not like this. The cameras they have on the show are not like this what at all. What you mean? What you mean? Man, press that button there. They're nice cameras. <laughs> I'm, gi- I'm giving you a compliment. They're better cameras than I saw on Big Brother. Right? The cameras they have, the big, huge jokes are balls, and they're yeah. going to zoom. Yeah, you can hear them moving. Yeah. Yeah. And you'd be talking to somebody, and they, like... I remember talking to Sam one day and I was chatting away and we're talking about that stupid shit back home. I, uh, I thought there was something going on there at one stage. Yeah, the but way. then she fucked him over and when he got evicted and she was like, oh yeah, he was an arsehole and all. Yeah, then yeah but then they came in, back and she was, she all, was all like, oh yeah. They're all snakes, man. Like, man do you know what? Do you know what? I, Rats <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> no, but here, the, let, let's go back because I'm going to dive deep into Big Brother. Go back to yeah. where we're so, all over right. the place. <laughs> you know, where, where do you want to start? Where, yeah. we're, at the, we're at the army. We're. The, no, yeah, let's go into the stripping. I was purely just asking about the discipline. Obviously, if that's what you learn in the yeah, Miami, right. To where there was a lack well, thereof on Big Brother. Ah, yeah, that's different. You know I mean? When you're on TV no, show, you're acting like like I tell people ask me this all the time. They say to me, they say like, "Hold on, yeah, is that the way you are all the time?" I'm like, "How would I hold down a job and act like that all the time? How would I have a girlfriend?" Uh, that that I think. Well, she's me. the same as that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's pretty much me twin. Uh, but uh, but saying, uh, with the army, so, yeah, I was in the army five years, and I did my gunner's corps. So I was in artillery, and uh, you know, absolutely, man, it was the best time of my life. But there's so many stories you'll probably hear about me in the army. My old nickname in the army was Gunner G String. It's where we go back to. I became a stripper. Right? Yeah. And how I started off was I started out in String Fellows. It was in Dublin String Fellows Club there, just at the end of Parnell Street. And I used to do dancing years ago. Um, like the way you're making a sound is like you started stripping in the army for the boys, and you had the, they they backed this out. He said, "Look, you know what? Yeah, recruit, you you have a career. Do you know what? Yeah. During, during recruit training, a, a, a lot of weird shit happened. A lot of weird. <laughs> you shit, dropped mate. a few bars of soap, did you? Uh, well, no, it's not prison, mate. <laughs> it's not prison. You know what I mean? No, it's just the boys, man. It's just do you know what? It's just the story. I'm trying to see. I'm I'm stopping myself when I'm talking to you is because some of the stories are incriminating so many people and I'm trying to have to, I'm saying something I'm like no you can't say that story no no you can't and then you go Lynchy oh no can't say that story well, Brazzers oh I can't say that you know um, so I'm trying to stop myself every time I'm saying when I, when I think I'm going to go down the wrong kind of Alley or whatever way road of talking about someone and kind of go no you can't tell that story man because I know I know what the punchline is and that person is probably going to get broke up with you know it's not you can't do that um, but I mean 
like so I started what happened was I, I was a, I used to do dancing years ago as a as a kid and I was okay. I wasn't what, a great what kind dancer. of dancing? Hip hop or uh, jazz, jazzy kind of dancing, the choreography stuff like jazz that I didn't even I mean, know there was that a I didn't even yeah. know hold on, I didn't even know there was a dance for jazz. How do you dance it's to jazz? jazz. Someone shooting at your feet, Jay. It's kinda of contemporary, let's say. Let's say contemporary. Right. Shooting That's how you learn it in Bally Moon. <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> you know. Um yeah, so I did that as I said, it was just kinda of like a hobby. It was again, it wasn't really like I had loads of stupid hobbies when I was a kid. I was You're in a, a band man, you had to go I, everything. I was in a band and everything I was years ago and I mean I was the only one I was the guy in the background this went yeah buddy <laughs> you, you got move your body shoot me dude <laughs> maybe a man maybe a man oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 whoa yeah. <laughs> come on everybody <laughs> come on move your body right <laughs> you <laughs> would have been Ireland's Peter Andre actually yeah oh man. Uh, Martin Eastwood Martin Eastwood is Martin yeah. Eastwood is <laughs> shout out to him he Sorry, man. man do you know what <laughs> he is the best hype man ever he'd be great I'd love to have him behind me you know I'm doing something weird like we'll that. clip that we'd love to have Martin no, Eastwood man, co- <laughs> come out behind the court man <laughs> will yeah, you yeah. I won't be surprised he probably hide under areas. <laughs> I've heard young has bullet. <laughs> <Yeah, has Bulla. laughs> <laughs> Love you, man. You know that. Um, Just whipping yeah, out so little fights. <laughs> man, I'm so bad at keep telling the story. Uh, yeah, so I did. So I, I went out and I did the the stripping right, and um, I did like the so with, with the lads right, with the with the army. The lads would. This is how it was really cool. The lads wouldn't really get into a lot of places because a big bunch of army lads. Not play. Not many people are going to let them in because they're going to go there. If they kick off, how are we going to stop this? You know. But when I was walking in clubs, let's say, because I used to do dancing, I used to do... The stripping's a big thing, right? It's not just getting your yoke out and doing this, you know, it's not. Have you ever seen the movie Magic Mike? Right? Yeah. Won't let me miss his watches. Don't start comparing yourself to bleeding. I'll show Magic Mike. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Magic Mark here. Magic hey, ladies, Mark, ladies, 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 can I touch this? No, 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 no. <laughs> but it's really, yes, 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 yes. Right, so. Sound like a looky, looky man in Spain. <laughs> yeah. yes, yes, you yes, want yes, this yes, watch? Yes. You can't have this watch. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we, let's say we, we, like, we, we did like, so many different shows. But if whoever wrote the, m- the movie Magic Moist was a stripper, right? Because right. in every group, you know, there's kissograms, which are the ones you make more money from. Kissograms yeah. are charging, I say, two fifty. I I do two or three of them on a Saturday night, maybe four. Sometimes I've max I've ever done was seven. And that's two hundred and fifty quid. You used to give your agent fifty quid, two hundred was for you. And right? you wouldn't give five hundred to charity. I did, that's why that's <laughs> <laughs> right. So um you you, you do, do it on a Saturday night and um if you has, if that's all you had, that, that you get more money from doing multiple small gigs. Yeah. But the, where the love was, was the shows, right? The shows were just man. I tra- I've been all over Europe, everywhere, dancing Sweden, Germany, the Dollhouse. What songs do you dance to? Uh, anything really? Jump I, uh, on I used to, it. no. The the, the, the <laughs> ones, they're the ones, they're the ones. Only genuine. Right. But, so in every group, in every group, there's let's just say most groups are four people, that, uh, and there's always a guy that was good looking. It wasn't me. Right, there's a guy that had a big hammer. That also was not me. <laughs> there was a guy that's a big jacked, like Tarzan kind of fella. That also wasn't me. That would have been you, Jay. Right? <laughs> I was the guy that could dance, right? And then there's if there was a fifth guy, sometimes a guy that was a. We always had a guy that was like a, a, a the poster boy. He was a good looking fella. He'd be the guy in the front, and we always have one good looking fella. The rest of us are in bits. We're like backup dancers, like we're in Just bits. in great shape. Yeah, yeah, but not even in great shape. Not everyone has to be in great shape, and. For me, I was the dancer. That everyone, knew, like, I could move, and I kind of, I used to come out, and I used to play. I used to play like um, Michael Bublé, and I used to come up. I can show you some, some. I give you some links. You can throw them up, and you see me doing some of the old ones. <laughs> I, I do. See her ass my but, no, no, it's dancing. <laughs> so dancing. It was, so the shows were not were less stripping and more choreographed shows, dancing, doing things. So I was with the last group I was with was the Pleasure Boys. I used to be a Dream Boy. I was uh, in the Chain Gang, the NOE. And action boys, they are you saucy name names. Yeah, Dream. chain they gang, pleasure boys, <laughs> the pleasure hunk, boys, the hunks of desire. There were so many, <laughs> right? and and the thing is that people think like you know you, you're not you, you're not up your own hole, man. You know what is you just got you, this. This was I wish I didn't do the television stuff, right? I wish that I stayed just doing the stripping because the stripping when you're when you're on on a Saturday night, you're making great money, and after the show. You, you put your clothes on or you know you get dressed up in normal clothes and you leave and no one knows who you are it's gone you know with the TV stuff you can't turn it off you, you, you can't, uh, uh, Dave Chappelle said it before he goes you can't become unfamous and that sounds really I hate the word famous right because everyone has a thing oh he thinks he's fucking this and when I walk down the road people recognise me do they say they fucking like me no Is it, they, they recognise me for yes or no reasons I do job interviews and I'm sitting there in a job interview and I'm a scientist like and they're sitting there and they'll be like they look at each other they don't say it. They look at each other and you go, 
tell you see my dick on telly. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> the interviewer yeah. sitting there with a leg trembling, dying for the jacket to fall yeah. off, yeah. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Jump on it. Yeah. Ah, here's yeah. the flames. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or, here, or a ringtone comes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My pony. Yeah. But no, it's, you know, and, and you see, that's Mark what... Mark number, the dicky bow. Yeah, 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 like, and that's <laughs> why I kind of, I wish people, I wish I was smart enough now I could go back and say to myself younger, you know, do you really though? Yeah, man, yeah. You I really t- wish well, you didn't do telly? I wish I never did telly, yeah. I wish I never did it. Look, I, I did like the last one we did and that was because it was right up my street. It, it's something that's respectable. It's something that... It's, well, don't it's knock where you team. came from I'm either. Not, I'm, not, you know I'm, I mean? I'm, I'm not, man, but people will judge no matter what. Like, you'll always... So what? What if Hell Week opens up another door that's more... This is what I'm saying. Like, I'm a done. fitness thing or something. I'm, do, I'm done. I'm never doing it 100%. Again. 100%. All out. Uh, man, Stringer tried to get me on Dancing with the Stars. And, like, I'm, I'm, oh, that'd be a big one. Now, hold on. That would be a cracker because, no. like you said, dancer, you were a dancer. Done. Done. I don't do it again. I don't want to do it again. I'm, no, I'm, I'm calling bullshit. I think yeah, I'm calling bullshit. That's the stars can change the game, mate. We'll, we'll, we'll continue where we were. So I did. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. Give us a thumbs up if you want to see Mark on telly again. Oh, uh, yeah. no. God. What on YouTube. And let us know old. if you want to kit on or off. <laughs> I'm going to have so much Botox by then. I'm like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Dribbling and all. Hey, man. Oh, man. One of the best scenes ever. I, I don't know why it's popping in my head. It's going to be random. <laughs> Did you ever watch uh, Ted? And he's here with uh, me, uh, Flash Gordon. He goes, I just did a line with the men's bat. Room and bet you can't even tell. But the guy on that memory comes in, he's talking to him, and he has all the Botox. And he turns and he goes, He goes, Hey, bet you can't even tell my Botox. <laughs> he's just dribbling <laughs> like this. I don't know why they're popping me head. That's an underrated movie. That oh, is man, that's fantastic. The two of them are them. Them. Oh, they're great. Yeah, um, yeah, by yeah. the way, so the stripping, anyway, we did all that. And I said, We like, we travel, like, it was so good. Like, you'd be on a tour bus with the lads going if you're doing like tours and stuff like this. And this was weekends. Um, 40 is in the troop and you got a tour bus. Was it? Tony 40 is in the gang and he's got a tour bus. Yeah, you had a little small minibus. Yeah, you had to wear all your equipment and then you had the driver you and you compare. Yeah, like, how c- many, many clothes can you wear? You're not going to get away your tracksuit there, like, you know. Yeah, but I'm seeing party. <laughs> yeah, but they're going to be very the slim clothes, like. <laughs> yeah, you'd have loads of stuff. Well, I'd imagine if it is kind of like, if you're saying Magic Mike, there's like four or five routines yeah, per yeah, show. Yeah, loads, loads. I was going to say yeah, that. Did yeah, you have yeah. characters or something? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, quite sometimes. Like, you had, it was kind of half acting. Like, it really yeah. was kind of. What the fuck did you do? Casting Kevin Nash in that? Did you see that? No. Well, Kevin Nash is one of the strippers they, in Magic yeah, Mike. Well, I never watched that, yeah. that actually. Yeah. Kevin Man, Nash from yeah. the NWO. You have to watch deal. it. You should watch it. You should watch it. It's good. It's good. Uh, I don't need them to see what's out there. Do you know what I mean? No, man, it's not like that. <laughs> so strip I'm not hung like I know, yeah. I'm not sure bringing any You sound very insecure, man. This is a typical thing, right? <laughs> Guys go to a strip club and they want to see filth. They want to see sleaze. They want to see anything. Girls are worse. No, no, no. Girls, no, no. Girls, girls, no. Girls are different in other ways, right? But I'm not. Ta- I'm talking about when a girl goes after to the see show. Like when a girl goes see a ship show, right? She's not going to be like ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> She's not doing that. Jesus, girl. You. you see, you see, Jay. I do not condone. Right? Anyway, do it again, Jay, for the camera. <laughs> but you see, but Jay, see the way we're men, right? Um, well, like. I've I've seen on that side, so I'm a little more open minded to it. Like oh, yeah. girls are not like that. Well, mm. the, the, the girl goes to the show, they want me to make basically embarrass our friend, bring her up on stage after yeah. the shows. Ha ha, a few photos, great. And there is some girls. Yeah, there is the dirty Dianas. There's a, there's a few of them dirty Dianas, and you know sometimes the lads will go off with the girls or whatever like that. But now one thing with me is I, I didn't game of pogs or something. I, you say that like not dirty, but you have to embarrass them. And how do you yeah. embarrass them by like rubbing your Mickey on the forehead? Like, uh, that's well, pretty dirty. Johnny. Okay, well you wouldn't do that, mate. <laughs> See where yours mind goes. <laughs> You haven't been to one of them right now. Yeah, the now. movies I've seen, buddy. Yeah. So one of the tricks, one of the tricks I would do was like, like you always have little gimmicky tricks, you know, and it's kind of to, to and rack. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> Imagine this. You, you use that you. Zorro sword again. <laughs> First, use that teeth. Yeah. Then, <laughs> what sword is better, Mark? <laughs> oh, lads. <laughs> hey, you <sound> bad. <laughs> 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 You've broken him. <laughs> really? Mark O'Neill's been broken. I oh, imagine this. I'm the one holding this podcast together. I think like he's going to talk normal. I knew this strip stuff was going to derail the whole <laughs> show. Yeah. So it's funny though. It's too it, funny. So it's funny. When I first saw stripping, I was a lounge boy when I was like 14 in the Towers pub in Ballymun. And what year was this? This was back <laughs> yeah. in the day. You looked on stage, well, like one day, I ain't going to be oiled up on that stage. <laughs> it's really. <laughs> There was a guy, a guy, what happened, I used to do the bottle bins, right, because I wasn't allowed, I was too young, I couldn't, wasn't allowed to work in the bar upstairs for yeah, Mother's yeah. Day, and one of the girls who actually, she's on Fair City, Stephanie, is it Stephanie something, she's on Fair City, she used to be a lounge girl, she didn't show up for work on the Mother's Day, and I, the manager came down to me and goes, Mark, would you be able to go upstairs and collect glasses, Mother's Day, the strippers coming in, they're called the Chain Gang, who I was actually later, 
Johan. Yeah. yeah. Deadly. Oh, I remember seeing. How old were they? They, they, Jesus, there's different generations of Chang Ang. I think I was like fourth generation, maybe. So it was right. like, so, so there was Gary Palmer who was with Samantha Mumba and all that guy. He was in the army as a cook. And th- these guys were like, these were the, the oh man, there was loads of them. There was loads of them. Like, um, but I remember sitting there and I remember seeing this guy. I'm going to collect the glasses and I'm kind of, I'm more kind of, Oh, dear Lord, I'm naked, man. This is weird. But then I found that I was actually just watching going, oh, my God, I want to do that. You know what I mean? Cause I now, saw, now, why see, did you want to do I, it? I never had that approach, though, because he done stripping in the arc when I was there as lounge boy. Ah. I was the opposite <laughs> approach. Yeah. You've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> so, jump on it. And the blondie fella from <laughs> who's in Jay, California Jay, as well. Jay, Jay Abbey, lovely fella. He yeah. looks like Nuka Colum on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> give us, give us not saying little, he's on steroids. Give us five minutes like there, just down to the jocks. <laughs> down to the jocks, yeah. <laughs> just just as far as the jocks. Yeah. I'm like Bang Bang Bart now at this did stage. Did you not watch Big Brother at all? He bleed more like, his jocks. Did you, <laughs> did you want to get into it because you're seeing the women's reaction yeah. or did you want to get yeah. into it because... Oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm 14, 15 and I'm literally looking at blokes with young ones throwing themselves at them. I'm yeah. going... Are you mad? I want this life. I want this life. So, I mean, it kind of, I think, it stemmed from there. I went up to your man and I said, how do I do this? And it was uh, Tom Egan. Um, he's from Tally, he is, actually. Is he? He was a manager. You're thinking of the UFC for Tom Egan? Yeah, I think yeah. I was. Uh, Tom Egan used to run the dance. Uh, he does all the dancing down in uh, Spectrum events in Trabalga and all the kids, the hip-hop dancing. But he right. also did this at the weekends and stuff like that. Okay. And I went up to him and said, It's a bit of a... Trains, yeah, isn't it? Like weird, yeah. <laughs> it's not, it depends on what I'm doing. Yeah, imagine he showing, trains them imagine from show, 11. Showing up with it, imagine showing up with a little minibus and they go, oh no, I brought the wrong stuff. <laughs> Kids, here you go. Here's your pom-poms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know the nine-year-olds in the hip-hop studio playing with the pole and all. <laughs> Ah, it's only half a goal post. The lollipop lady lads, stick. Lads, <laughs> lads, 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 be careful. This is very delicate here. Yeah. One of us is going to slip up and then say the wrong thing. Man, Man's had the experience in this world. We need uh, yeah. you we, be we, the gas thing is, we actually have kids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jesus, you're terrible parents. <laughs> terrible parents. Uh, anyway, yeah, so, so you love uh, strippers. I don't even know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, we asked you, how did you get into it? You got so into it because, you, So yeah. I did that and I went up to your man and I saw, I said, and he goes, that come back to me when you're 18. And, and I, I, I didn't, it was just kind of, I think I had that seed from then, you know? It was kind of like, look, I, 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 this, this looks great. And then, as I said to you, I got into it. Doing, I started off in string fellows doing the table dancing and pole dancing kind of stuff there. And then that was every weekend. You, you're going too fast. What was it like your first time? Like, first time? surely that was like you must have been nervous. Yeah, um, yeah. No, but one th- one thing. Every first strip. If, if you saw the movie Magic Mike and all the nervous girls, that, all the girls are screaming at this now. Going, you don't know what he's talking about. What you want about the movie? young the kid where he the has kid. to walk out and he yeah. Every yeah. you did see it then you liar. I said I seen oh, it. you said I didn't. Oh right, I, I haven't it. seen it. Either. Right, so the thing is that every stripper does it, and I mean I've trained guys had to do it afterwards because I've done it. I did it for ten years, like, and you know new guys be coming in. There's a lot of little tricks you'd have to show them and little things. And one thing they all do the very first time they leave their socks on, right? You saw your yoke know, when you try strip, and I've done it too. You strip and you've got your socks on, and all of a sudden you take your shoes off. Now you're down to just your jocks and socks, and it looks so shitty. Yeah, like, yeah, it looks yeah, so yeah. bad, especially if you've got these weird looking socks on. And you, you slide all over the stage, I'd imagine. And you slide as well, and the whole lot. But everyone's done it. Every stripper's done it. And the thing is, instead of just stopping and just going, I'll just take them off, they continue and they're in their fucking socks. Oh, really? <laughs> but remember, that was the one thing I could take back from then. And then uh, I thought I was just mad back then. I really was. One of the girls, I was seeing one of the girls who was a dancer. Um. Ah, she's probably not even in Ireland anymore. Well, she, she was a stripper as she well. Was a stripper too. Go on, Petra. Yuppa. Can I Google her real quick? Ah, no, nothing major. It was more like that. And then she kind of said, she dared me. She, I had me tongue pierced. I was a kid. Then she goes, oh, she get your tongue pierced. I got me tongue pierced. Then she goes, what else would you want to do? Let's go in and get something pierced. Want to get something pierced? And so I, went, I got a PA done, yeah. No. A what? Oh, explain this uh, to this young man about, here. Are we talking about what I think? Yeah, about? yeah, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nah. so down the jack, down the jack, and out there. And I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I don't care if any bloke is out there, or any girls out there, he's a lying bass, as you say, it does anything for you or him. Nothing. All it just goes, hurts. All it makes you do is piss crooked. That's it, like, you know what I mean? I piss crooked. No, and that's so hard forcing in the morning. That anyway. happens after sex all the time. So yeah, piss is like... No, but no, what I'm saying is... I, I you took her out. I've had it in for a few How years. Do I, I, I took her out, like... A <laughs> few years. You had it in for a few years, yeah. I took her out. This is worse than California. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and now I have a hole in it. So when I pee... Show us. <laughs> so when I pee, it doesn't just come out the top. <laughs> it it dribbles out the little hole as well. So I kind of... So if I'm pissing, I'm pissing on the guy's shoes beside me as well. <laughs> so it does this. <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? So I have to keep the hood up or else it, only c- it comes out two holes. You know what I mean? Martin wouldn't know that, would you, Martin? No. <laughs> You've no foreskin, I'm guessing, do you? That makes no. two, uh, we're in it together, brother. No, he, he has his done removed like, like by surgery. Mine just broke on the job. Uh, no, we've all had the banjo snapped uh, at no. least some no, stage. We didn't, no, we didn't, man. No, we snapped ages, years ago. We just snapped. had our lovers in them, dude, gently. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Martin says, I can't feel a fucking thing at this point. Someone yeah. probably bit yours off when you were in the middle no. of stripping. I actually, I actually do have a mark on my arse. I actually made the paper years ago. Uh, so I was in, I was doing a gig, and I, think, I can't remember the name of the pub, but it was, it, it's not a very um, upmarket pub, let's say. It's no, no, Finch is lovely. What are you talking about? I used to walk the door there, and guess what happened? Did, really? Did you actually? Wayne, I tell you this. I'll tell you the story about the Finches, right? That's gas. Wait, Wayne, you see this, right? So I used to work for in the Far East restaurant in Ballyferma for it was like a little bit of extra money while I was in the army, and you know, I think it was on like a Thursday night or something like that. And then there was the seventy nine as well. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So the same guy, dodgy fella, he owned all the bar, and he basically just used to move us all around. It was in Vera Moda then. It was all cash in hand security. Yeah. yeah. I was standing outside this yoke, and your man said to me, um. Uh, look, listen, I've got a gig for you. Do you want to go down to this place called Finch's? And I was like, yeah, yeah, no worries. Went down, the place all, like, all burnt. I'm standing, <laughs> this how long ago this yeah, was. Yeah, th- that would have been before it is yeah. the way it is yeah. now. Yeah. All burnt. The whole, uh, the porch yeah. is burnt. And I'm standing there like that, and I'm like that, and you're like, you're a brave man. And I'm like, well, what, what's going on here? Like, I just thought I was standing there, you know, let anyone in, you know, the normal. The and I'm only a little fella. I'm not a big fella, like, you know what I mean? So I'm cutting, and I had, I wouldn't mind, I had like a suit on me and everything. I looked like a dope, like. <laughs> <laughs> you looked like a target standing at the door of inches. <laughs> so the, everyone kept going, you're a, you're a brave man, you know. And then I thought they were all winding me up. He says, oh, the last time it was on the door here, someone threw a petrol bomb. That's why that's all burnt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually remember that what? as well, yeah. <laughs> I rang your man up, eh. Uh, are you for fucking real? <laughs> so I legged it. I legged Let it, I, everybody I in. Legged it, legged it about an hour and a half into this because some guy came up on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get in? <laughs> he came doesn't up, have his ID. Came up on a horse <laughs> and started telling me, you better fuck off waiting this door. So I rang your man. I'm, I'm out here. I'm out here. <laughs> I, just got, I just got told the last fella got set alight and I got attacked. I got I got threatened with a fella on a horse. What on earth? I'm getting 40 euros to work doing this shit. Was yeah, no, it's not working. fella rocks up on a horse yeah, is the horse, most finches thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm straight out here, man. Like, I was literally there was already three horses inside. So I, 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 I literally was. It was like, I'll tell you, like I've done, I've done so many. So it's mad. See, stuff that's just kind of coming out when I'm talking is like, I, I, I think that, like, I've had so many weird things like that happen in me. Like, I wouldn't think it until they're only coming up, up as yeah. I'm talking about. As we're talking yeah. about like, shit, I had someone come up to me on a horse and threaten me to get the fuck <laughs> off. Yeah. Like, not, what do you mean? Not gonna let me horse in? What, what's going on? <laughs> Look at them teeth on you. you fucking, you fucking worst, worst teeth. Is that where you got your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> Got them off. You so told the uh, horse he wasn't getting yeah. in and rubbed his teeth. I was jealous of the horse's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, so yeah, so I did strip and all through at the army. And I remember, there's, now here's the stories of the army. Right? There's so many rumors, right? But I'll tell you one that is actually true. Now you can see how it gets spiraled out of control. Um, I was told in the army that I kind of had to give up my nixer, and I said, "But I like the army." <laughs> 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 you know, this actually happened. Sergeant Major came up to me and said to me, "Look, he goes, G string, you're gonna have to give up your nixer." <laughs> oh yeah, I'll tell you how that actually how I got that nickname. So, um, G string, I love. So it. what happened was uh, Dickie Deegan was BS at the at the time, and BS like uh, Batchy Sergeant or the you know kind of thing. Yeah. He was he's, it's like above a sergeant, right? So he's like he basically called roll call in the morning, and we're coming down. And the one day I'm late for parade, the one day I'm like I'm running down the thing and I'm fucking. I'm late, man. How could it happen? It's just like the worst look ever. So before you go on parade, you all have to know: Are you wearing a smock, which is your jacket, or are you not wearing a smock and just wearing your shirt? You know, but you all have to be wearing the same. You know, either you're yeah. wearing it, or you're not wearing yeah. it. Yeah. Don't, not one person can't wear it, yeah. the other one can't. Um. So we're sitting there, and I'm like, I, I'm running down. I'm late, and I'm uh, run down. They're all on parade, and man, it's the worst feeling. Oh, O'Neill. I was like, yeah, stop right there. He comes down here. Yeah, you, you lit. Is this you? By the way, my first stripping costume was my army uniform. No. <laughs> oh, for it was sake. in the paper. I was like, it's no I was way. like, oh, no. Is this you? What's wrong with you, O'Neill? Are you dancing for men? Is that what this is? I was like, no, no, I, I, I dance for girls. And he was just like, real. And he was oh, that's already like, though. <laughs> No, and he turned and he goes, is, is, is there something wrong with you, O'Neill? Is there it, something wrong with you? It's very shy to upon, though, isn't it? Like, weird in your. You're not allowed to do yeah, it. It's a uniform. It's like a copper going out on the weekend yeah. and pulling yeah. boards because he's a guard. Like, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So We've all I seen was, the videos. Yeah, we have seen them. Yeah. 
So I'm, I'm I, anyway. I come down on parade anyway, and I'm and he, and he giving all this thing. He goes turns around, he goes, "That's it from now on, see, see you." And he's real kind of stuttering because he's he's annoyed, but he's more like like pulling handbreakers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. So he puts a line through to me name, and he goes, "From now on, you're no longer O'Neill. You're called Gunnar G String. Anyone calls him anything else, they're gonna answer to me." Now, show the lads what you can do. What? <laughs> What? And he goes, get them off you. <laughs> uh, and, he, and he goes, now sing. Faster, O'Neill. Uh, faster, G-string. We don't have all day. And it made me march behind everybody. So we all had to go on a march and parade. And I had to go in with my boxers and my boots. And I had to march behind everybody around the square like this. Just Lovely. to make a show of me. Like, yeah. Man, the army was brilliant. It really was. That it sounds was, like good crack. Do you know what I mean? Crack. And, yeah. and the thing is, the boys were all my biggest fans. I remember I got, uh, like, my biggest fans when it came to, like, you know, I'd introduce them to, like, I'd get them to parties. I'd have events. They wouldn't be just stripping. You'd be doing, you'd be dancing a lot of time and, like, like podium dancing in all the clubs all over Dublin, all over Ireland I've, I've been, and UK done stuff. And you're not even a good, like, you just kind of top off and you just, you're actually just locked dancing. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. And you're getting paid. And then the lads have a problem getting to the door. And, like, I remember working in level four in, in Tallinn. I used to have all the girl dancers there. You know, I was hiring them and getting them in. I like taking a cup, paying them. I get all the boys in, free drink, brilliant, right? And the boys all loved me, and the, like it was, it was such a great buzz with the lads, you know. And I, I, just, I just, I missed them terrible. Like, but they were just back then. The days were different, like, um, but where was I again? Sorry, what was I saying there? You were, you were talking about um, the army. You were saying like that's how you got the G-string name. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the I got the name, I got the name G-string <laughs> as I said, but oh. Here's one. So I got confined to barracks, right? I can't remember. I've, I've told this story to a lot of people, and I can't remember why I was confined to barracks. You usually do something fucked up, you get confined to barracks. You're not allowed out that weekend. And I was like, fuck, I got like a load of gigs, like kissograms this time. No shows. These were kissograms. Like, right. fuck. Uh, they the money. That's the money ones, right? And I had a good few of them. I was like, fuck, what am I going to do? And uh, I jumped over the back wall in the barracks, and I ran out to do a gig. Now, this is the sto- This is the one I t- told you before. I got exaggerated so much. I'll tell you what happened, and you can just use your imagination and see where this went. Right? Okay. So I went out, and I do the gig, and I'm there down, and as I said to you, I'm fucking this is a full Monty one, everything off, on top of your one, doing the whole thing, and I turn around, and there's a sergeant major looking at me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it was his wife, the one that can find me the barracks, by the way. Oh, no. oh my like fuck's sake, what is the <laughs> chance? And he just looks at me, he's just shaking his head, and he goes, come here, you, brings me over. You don't tell anyone about this. <laughs> you don't tell anyone about this. Oh, sorry, you can't tell everybody. Uh, you and then he tell, slipped you a score. You, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. He goes, you don't tell anyone about this, and uh, and that'll be the end of it. That's it. Then get back to the barracks. You know what I mean? Um. So that, that's all that happened. That was it. So apparently, I rolled his daughter <laughs> in front of him. Apparently, I was bleeding. I fucking hit him at me dick. There was there was there was so <laughs> many <laughs> stories, <laughs> man. The stories went so much. That was that's all it was. That was a simple story, but man, they can spoil out of control. He brought me in a parade. Hold on, everyone's going around saying you rolled me daughter and this and the, and basically I did nothing about it. And I was like, oh my god. Man, so how did that get out? Because like, from that story, conversation, man. he's uh, like, this doesn't live here. There's pictures. There's pictures. Facebook. Oh, at the time, Bebo. Bebo. Bebo mm. at the time, yes. Yeah. I would have ran with the story where you cock smacked them in the head. Man, yeah. so many. That's that's a a but you know what, man? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The army was a great place, and it really, really was. And, you know, being on that new show that on the um, Hell, Week. Hell Week, it really ignited a lot of the old memories. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. It was great. Megan Quinlan there in the comments said, congratulations on winning it. Ah, thank you. Thanks very much. It's yeah. kind of, you know what? It's nice to hear good things from doing something. Like, before, yeah, I was like, I get that. but you were young, you know, man, I was in my 20s, I was like, an idiot, like I'm still an idiot. No, l- l- the reality Let's, that is, someone's you're, willing you're to pay you to go out and have a good yeah. time. So fucking go. Oh, and like have I a good was time. a young man, man. I mean, I was mad. Like, I mean, how young were you? Young enough. <laughs> <laughs> California. What age were you started that? Young. Give us a ballpark between three. Oh, you just look at when it was on. What are you talking about? <laughs> yes. I was young anyway. I was young anyway. You were one of the so youngest in was, the house. Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, Nikita Murray. Oh no 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 no! I wasn't. No, as a youngest You're lad, you're nineteen. Shut as, your as face. As youngest lad, as youngest lad. Yeah, yeah, I mean, oh my god. Six <laughs> eggs per bloke per day. Boys, do you know what? Here's the thing. Right? So I work for a company called Area Fifty One, and this is how we're going to get out now. So the army, look at throughout the whole army thing, I was still doing all the stripping and doing all that, right? But I used to work again for all these different companies because, like, you just get calls all the time, and you'd be doing. You don't know if you're doing me dancing, stripping, stripper grams, shows. It, obviously, if you're doing a show, you're rehearsing and all that kind of stuff. But also, you did a, a other job. Which was I used to pick up all the people from Geordie Shore from the airport and I bring them to their gigs. 
And so I'm not going to talk out of school, but I've partied with them all. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good. I've seen pictures and Dave and everything yeah, yeah, else. Good. Yeah. Um, and I'd bring them to their gigs and would stay over, blah, blah, next day, drive them back, and that would be that. Would you help them to find the hotel rooms or yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, that kind of thing, yeah. Right. The looks of gas and all, yeah. Yeah, gas, yeah. gas, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and and my job was literally to bring them in. And I remember I was talking to Vicky, and Vicky goes to me, Mark, you should, you'd be brilliant. She was telling you how much money she makes. She makes two and a half grand an appearance. Two and a half grand, and she does two or three of them a week. I was like, 700, that's... I wonder she left the Jordy Shore Seven early. and a half grand a, a week, and that's cash. And mm-hmm. then she was getting like 50, 60 um, per... At the start, they were only getting that shitty money, 50, 60 grand for doing the show. And then... Then it got exponentially more and more. But they were doing these gigs all the time and then endorsements and this. And I was just like, hold on a second here. So I was supposed to be on California season one. Um, Wait, supposed to be how? Well, did you get contacted? Did uh, you yeah, apply? So I know Jay, Abby. Jay did the stripping with me yeah. as well. And Jay and basically reached out. I just, I, 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 met, I, I see when you're in that kind of industry, everyone kind of know has your number. Yeah, everyone yeah, kind yeah. of reaches someone. You don't really yeah. actually do. And I remember getting reached out to and I was going to do it. And it didn't get any further than an interview where my ex girlfriend asked me, "Look, I don't want you to do it." And I okay. went, "I went, okay, I won't do it." And then I saw that they were getting all this kind of publicity thing. And then I, then I, then I was talking to, um, to Vicky, and I was like, "Fucking should have done it." And I was good. Then they were doing season two. Me and my ex girlfriend broke up. I was in Ibiza at the time. Uh, I was in Ibiza for like nine weeks. Because you met the cast over there, did you? Uh, yeah, I flew from Ibiza. Nine weeks in Ibiza. Was it Santa Ponza or something? Yeah, I flew from nine weeks in Ibiza. I flew literally, still f- flying from partying over there, you know? Flew from there to um, Santa Ponza. So, when <laughs> when, when we, when, how, how that happened with season two was, they, they ca- basically they called me up and they were like, uh, listen, and we're doing a season two, do you want to come in for an interview, blah, blah, did all that stuff. And then I says, yeah, cool. But they... Waited for me to come. They, they waited for me because they uh, to give me a date, and they said, "Look, listen, we're going to bring you in a week after they get back. They don't know. It's supposed to be me and some other girl. I don't know what her name was. Um, it was you and someone that wasn't it? Was it? Me and another girl. Yeah, uh, Fergie or I, I don't know. I, I, it wasn't your one black eyed peas. Now it wasn't her. Just in case you think that, right? Jay, you look, you, yeah, you, but someone is, you, you're talking about someone that did actually enter the house. No, someone you? was supposed to be. But and did someone not? No, in the no, end? no. They had, they had guests. Right, guests right, that right. came in. They were just Jay's mates because yeah, they couldn't really get anybody remember. else. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, that's literally what happened. Poor yeah, James yeah. like, listen, can you get over? Yeah, free flight. Ah, you get a holiday as well, over right? Yeah. Um. So I went over there and I came, went straight from beat the, to there and basically, I just went mad. Like, I mean, I did everything and anything I thought because, as I said to you before, for you to be popular, you have, to, you have there, yeah. to be the guy. And I'm the only one new fish. I'm Andy Dufresne. Like, mm. I am the new guy. And what was the, the? I don't know if it's okay to talk about California oh. money, is it? California was show you five grand. For the whole series, the whole thing, right. five grand, and I think. Like, but but at eighteen, if you're not doing nothing else, that seems okay, like yeah, Do you know look, what I mean? Man, look, I was getting a free holiday. I was over there for six weeks. <laughs> you're guessing me ages. It's okay. Don't I mean you're so off. <laughs> ah, no, I know that. I know that. <laughs> oh, that's, why, that's, why, yeah, that's why. I didn't correct you. I was like, oh, you think I'm stupid? <laughs> um, but no, man. Like we went over there. I got six week holidays. That's the way I saw. It. I got a six yeah. week holiday in the sun in Santa Ponza, all free. Everything paid for. I was going absolutely rat arsed every night. I was just. Gargled. I was living the dream during the summer. Like I was literally. This is. I had finished up in the army and all at this stage, um. And we were. What was it? What was I doing then? Yeah, I was a student. Was there discussions in that show to try and compete with Jordy Shaw? Because this Phil Penny motherfucker thought he was the bleeding oh. the Irish gas. Do you know what he look? I know. I look at. I, I look at. I look at Phil. And before I used to be like, oh, you're such a dick. Like, I think he just. He was just a late maturer. The problem you know with I mean? is we just don't have the same respect for fame. Like no, no. See, here's some for you. Ready? You know, I kn- I know when Vicky told me when they did season one and season two, they were hated Newcastle. Yeah, of course. Hated. Yeah. They were loved everywhere else. Hated Newcastle until yeah. they did it's season awesome. two. The example right. that I mean though, like, is if you see things like in America where you have people like Conor McGregor, like there's thousands of people queuing up outside when he's going for dinner to come out and meet him. Yeah, he owns a pub in Ireland and no one goes to fucking have yeah. a look. Do you know what I mean? Ah, oh, lately, lately, lately there's, there's been a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah packed, but they're not ganging up outside and waiting for the crowd. So we don't yeah. think of fame that way. We don't see it that way. Yeah, but more you see what I mean. No, type of thing you just assume it's whatever. Yeah, like you see him in there, you say, "Oh, hell yeah, lovely to meet you. I'm gonna have dinner now." Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I see. I know. I see. 
you mean? That's, that, that's, Actually, yeah, it's supposed I, to be I, lovely I, as well. And yeah, there. you are there. Gorgeous. Weird. The food yeah, is yeah, wow. yeah, me mate's home. It's I'm, lovely. I'm, 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 maybe I'm plugging someone Chicken here. Wings, I don't know who owns it. I don't, it's called Evolve. It's near here. A little small restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Side. yeah. Adore. Um, yeah. The car place. Auto class. Uh, near there. Yeah. yeah. Is that? Is that oh, yeah. yeah it's Auto class. He owns it. Yeah. Man, that field is the nicest field. I went there with the last. That's the dearest. No, it is. It's lovely. I know. I've been there a few times. I sound like a snob, but man, when you pay when you're paying good money and you get food like that. That Holy pancakes, you ever taste that pancakes? Everything. I've had everything. Flawless. It's absolutely beautiful. It's <laughs> gorgeous. Everything. It's gorgeous. No man, I went in there, the lads brought Evolve. me. Evolve. Listen, if you want to sponsor, ah. give us a shout out. Yeah. <laughs> we man, finished no, it about 10 No, no guys, they really are nice. And I like, I'm a real kind of foodie. I like finding nice places and, and yeah. like, especially, you know, with the, with the girlfriend and the lads and trying to stay off the drink and just kind of go out and catch up. Everyone goes for coffees, but you can only have one coffee a day or else I'll be just pissing all day, you know? It's, it's, so I go for food. Two different you, ways. Yeah, two, 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 yeah, two different <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's shoes are wrecked. Um, but where was I? Man, I keep losing you my You about, I was asking you about Geordie Shaw. Sorry. Like, was, so yeah. was that day? So, so he wanted to go. I said, oh, yeah. So I said something there when Phil, like, oh, I always think he was a dick. But I don't know. I look back and I go, man, he was just as immature as I was. He wanted to be famous. And we thought, guys, you got to remember, we thought we were going to be famous. Yeah, but the cunt went and got a 50 cent tattoo on his chest. Like, you know what <sighs> I mean? What did he get? He got like a line from back down or if I can't or something. Right. If I can't do it, it can't be done or something like that. Right. <laughs> Yeah, uh, man, look, uh, I'm not going to comment on someone's life choices, but because I've done some w- stupid ones myself. But that is a terrible tattoo. Well, <laughs> f- <laughs> so f- f- Phil does seem. Look, so we thought, man, we thought we were going to be. Man, I'm listening to what. Think about what Vicky's told me. Mm. Seven and a half grand. Mm. Right? And by the way, I was getting two and a half grand to go for nightclubs. And oh, I'm going to tell you why I, why I got a very quick realization doesn't last forever. So I'll tell you that in a minute. Um, <laughs> so we're going to keep going back. <laughs> uh, so. We, show you. I'm so bad at losing my fucking. Thing. This podcast is Sorry. like watching Inception. Which <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. it's a dream. <laughs> oh, that's why. That's why he killed him. That's why he did it. So as I said, he. Uh, this is why I keep that's losing my train. Loud, oh, I just keep saying weird shit. Um, yeah. So we did. So I, I, I had in my head. <laughs> Uh, it just turned into Gia actually <laughs> towards the end. Everyone oh, called me Gia. And then I remember when the new lads were at starting, they were like, so Why does everyone call you Gia? Oh, don't even. <laughs> yeah. I'm Whopper on the guitar. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Whopper. So, for snap and string. I, I, <laughs> saw, I saw like, like how much money and I had that in my head. I mean, they're going to be fam- and I, They were just, they were like two seasons ahead of what we were on. And I saw mm. what, where they were going. And you saw that. Yeah, you yeah. saw where they, I was yeah. like, Oh my God, we've got to do it. And you know, you did all the crazy shit because you wanted this to be, you know, to be amazing. And we all did. And that's why I, I don't blame Phil. I just I don't, don't think you had the right people. Like, those, some of them didn't fit. No, none of them fit a bar, well, bar one or two, well, to be the fair. The thing is, that it was supposed to be done by MTV. And it was supposed to be called Dublin Shore. And they pulled out and then... It wouldn't have been done on Tala. It probably would have been done yeah, out on Dun Laird or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what way they did it. But like, no, there's no way of doing that anyway. Like, okay... Even when you look back at what Nikita did or whatever, man, I know girls done ten times worse just having yeah, no. a camera. That poor girl is still dealing still with all dealing that shit. Yeah, Nikita, what did she do? Just the I way she know. acted on the show and all. Well, like, it's still is, now. The thing is, like, is that people give us a hard time for it. Like, I mean, we did what we thought was gonna make was gonna be get like, you to the next level. People want to hate though. People like, want but, but to hate. But think about it. Imagine we all went in. We're all like Jay Abby. No, 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 wrong. Jay is the soundest bloke in the world. Hey, man. Mm. What's going on? Yeah. That's great. <laughs> now he, he, like he, he was just sound. I mean, sometimes I used to go into him. Remember when, I, when we were like over in Santa Ponza, I used to go into his room sometimes, just lie beside him. And just be like, Jay, you're actually just so sound. Just talk to me, will you? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Joey forgot all about you. Yeah, they're yeah. talking about Spain and all. I forgot you just yeah. went away and all. Spain. Yeah. Well, he met them, didn't Yeah, 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 so yeah I forgot there. all about that. Oh, guys, man, was, was the just... opening scene like you just fucking swimming in the pool or me something getting like that? Out, me, me getting out of the nip. pool and the nip. Yeah, yeah. I thought that'd be... Jesus, I forgot all about that. I thought that'd be that hilarious. Was, yeah. I, did that, I did that thinking I was just going to be hilarious. And the thing is, like, I saw something the other day, man, and you know, it was it was really good to try to explain it. You know, when when you're training in the gym all the time, right? You're not thinking that you're this, that, and the other. You never do. And I've watched enough movies to know, don't let the fame get to you. You know what I mean? Like, uh, by the way, I'm not saying I was famous at this stage. I was infamous, right? And as as Dave Chappelle says, you can't undo fame. You be, you can be um, you can be infamous, but everyone will remember who you are, and you always remember Talif. I could fucking, do you know what, man? I could go to the Olympics, win all. I could be the new fucking K. It was a K. E. Harrington. Is that her name? Yeah, yeah. K- yeah. Kelly Kelly Harrington. Is that her name? Kelly K- Harrington. K. E. Harrington. I think. No, it's K. E. 
is the Kelly. Kelly, 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 Kelly Harnan. Harnan. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry butchering that. Sorry, she's deadly, right? You should but, know, Jay. But who should I know? Right, so imagine that I went over there I, and I let's say I did something like that I'd still be Mark and California California. went to the Olympics yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's what you're always going to be right yeah. but you know we try to do the impression thing in it it's real and, and it, it is it's, it's, it's all the time and mm-hmm. you know what kills me is when people come up to me and they say Cormac's lines to me and they get them wrong right he <laughs> goes he goes huh, you're 19 shut your mouth yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, what? And so that wasn't me. And it shut your face. You so, know what I mean? so Jay, you just annoyed him there five minutes. Ago. Yeah, but I got it right. No, because <laughs> we were talking about <laughs> California. Okay. But yeah. now it is the most. Inf- it is like, the most. That popular. clip still does the rounds, like where they're in the taxi, and he's like, it's six o- eggs per bloke per day. Man, comic is such a cool guy. He's he's out there. The bit where he like six he drank his vodka. Per- Oh, and then he replaced it with water and then he drinks he's like that's good stuff lad. yeah it's good stuff yeah. Yeah. but here to be honest where's he from Black Kill is hey, cool, yeah. he's, he's rich is he yeah. he's like proper rich he makes all of us broke he is rich I've seen the cars he drives he's in, he's in, he's I in thought, Marbella I, I thought it was all just like you know like no he's in Marbella and everything all the, the time driver, though, he? I don't know I don't actually know what he does oh, I, I, I see him said to you up on Twitter there I, see, I was just going to say taxi. that yeah, see, yeah, it, like, um, yeah, people say to me all the time, so what are these people like? I said, it was like 10 years ago. And they're like, yeah, yeah. but like, what do you like? I said, another person you worked with 10 years ago, what are they like? And they're fine. I've That's seen it. him up in the all yeah. he was He's just like, yeah. Jay's lovely. Jay's doing fantastic with Go Jim, him and Dave. Well, well, yeah, well, I haven't said, I've seen Dave for a while and then he went, uh, he, look, he vanished off. Yeah, he just, what happened is he just, he just turned around and went, Fuck California, like what's like? I mean, nothing good came out of that show, like yeah. nothing, absolutely nothing. As a young man, I thought it was gonna pa- catapult me. I seen that one Kelly actually is doing a podcast with Alan McGarry or something. Oh, They're shit. doing some form of show, yeah. yeah. I actually right. seen them in town there a couple best of weeks look, ago. Best of luck with that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds <laughs> like a pure. <laughs> yeah, but could zoom in more than you do. Yeah. Like <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> Jesus, I that sound really bad. Uh, but I'm cynically <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, best of luck with that. Like, look, I think everyone in the nanny is doing a podcast at the moment. Agreed. And look, I'm going to look, I'm going to bum look, I'm going to give his back, back massage and bum lick. He's a little bit here. So listen to me. Yeah. Okay. I've been asked to do loads of podcasts, right? And it's not because I'm, oh, you're popular. Everyone, when the show uh, happened there recently, you know, of course, you're, you're, you're the guy that's. Of course, you're the hot topic. You're the hot topic mm. for a short amount of time. Then it's going to be gone. And yeah. Next two months later, people are all going to be, oh, it's back to California, Mark. Yeah. It's yeah, going to be yeah, that yeah, show. Yeah. Um, but they've all reached out for me and some of the really popular ones. And for me, I do not gain anything by going out and doing TV or doing this and doing that. I get no money for it. I have a job. This this sto- this is, I'm, I'm past. I, I've buried it now. This is me done after Hell Week. I'm completely done with it all. And the reason why is, I, it's like if the Logan movie, if, so Wolverine did Logan. Imagine he came back from the dead. You just undone the brilliant movie Logan, right? So I'm done. I'm never done it again. I don't think we've seen the best of Mark, though. I think Hell Week was only the start but of you, personally. Yeah, like, I'm not. I don't gain anything from it. I don't get financially uh, for it. I don't get. I don't. I don't. I don't crave the attention the way I used to before. I don't crave to be this famous person. I, I have a girlfriend now. I'm happy. But I will say to you boys is that I've seen some of the podcasts out there. And this is why we we were talking about Kelly's one there. Yeah. Is that a lot of them do gimmicks and they have all these other things and this is not shitting on anybody. I don't think that they are representing the person that they have on. Um, one of the, I don't want to say because you'll know who it is, but one of them they had this person on, and I really wanted to know what this person wanted to talk about, and I mm. wanted to hear this person's story. Yeah, and they just made a mockery of it, and they were asking yeah. stupid questions, and I just I, I really was kind of not bad, and I sounds like I'm being bad. I was just like, right, I know okay. where you're wasn't, coming from. Wasn't for you. For me, it was no, no. I think, I think you have to read your guests, yeah, uh, guests. and so adjust. With your one, with your one, we've been trying to do this for what over a year nearly yeah. now, and I was trying to say, look, look, I will get back to you. And there's other ones mailing you and doing this, and they're all trying to do it to try get uh, to to use to use the person they have on to get a bit of clout to whatever get whatever deal they're mm. trying to do, and, and and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, of course, it's the, the hustle is there. The, the, the hustle is there, but I. I, I, I don't want to do them anymore. I'm done. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not doing the, I don't want to go in and t- tell my story. Like, uh, what am I going to get tomorrow? Someone's going to fucking the, the Late Late Show. Jesus, Mark, heard you on the yoke the other day. You are brilliant. No, they're not. And what would you get? Well, well, well we know just, Tuberty listens. Ju- so ju- I'd rather you hosted it than Tuberty. <laughs> just real quick, uh, Mark, I'm going to tell you something, right? I'm already out there getting four messages on my phone, right? Yeah. So a couple of people text me and said, what are you getting him on for? Mm. And now, 
I have three people right day. in front of me saying, Jay, you're right. Because I was telling yeah. people, look, Mark is a gent. He's been sound from day one to me. Yeah. He's always been supportive of me. He'll change my mind. I'll change my mind when I get him on. And there's already four people at the saying it. Yeah. So that's, like, I know you don't really care. You don't know these people. Exactly. But everyone likes <laughs> to be liked. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and if they see your true colours. Like, people think that, like, because you're on telly that you are made of steel, you can take the comments. I don't have Twitter. Right? Yeah. The papers have released oh, There's fake By the way There's a fake yo called Mark's arse page Right It's on Twitter I think it's what, called Something like that there, And it's really a picture of my <laughs> arse Right On Twitter And someone sent a picture of this That's like something like 30,000 followers It's not me <laughs> 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 I don't have Twitter, right? But they wrote, um, there was another one, there's loads of them, there's one on Facebook there, Mark O'Neill, and it's not me. There's, 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 there's about three or four of them if you go on to Yoke, and there's loads of them, and, yeah. and they're, they're not me. And they've got like. Well, when you're not on social, you get them, though, yeah. you get the people setting me. up the fake and what accounts. Was, they were saying, like, let's say they say something shitty. The papers were taking it, I voting it, and it. saying it, it was you, me. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I had to go, this is not me, I don't have Twitter, and you had to prove it, and you're like, hold on, I don't have to prove that, and don't fucking post a fucking thing, I'm not, like I remember there was one slagging single mothers or something ages ago, and I got lifted out by a load of birds, lifting me, I says, this is not me, and you're trying to fight back on, and he's nothing but a cunt, he's up his own hole, but I would focus on the one comment, the one comment that people say we something do. bad about you, and you don't mean to, it's like, it's like, yeah, great, yeah, 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 yeah. he's a cunt, oh, what? Yeah. You look at it, and I used to, I used to react, and I used to reply, and I used to do all that kind of stuff, and I was just, and man, it did kind of take me a little bit. But I've, as I said earlier on, I've watched enough movies to you know when you do make it, don't be a dickhead. Yeah. But well, guess what? It still kind of overcomes you a little bit and you kind of go... You're human. Man. So I remember, here's a perfect one. I, I've said this on a few a few people. I've said this to them. I remember going to a nightclub with the lads. Two and a half grand paid to go to a nightclub. Free gargle, free hotel. Girls all over you. You are the guy. All your mates are free in. They're looked after, free gargle. And I mean, you are a superstar. You are literally... Think you're great, and you do look yeah, guys. I don't care what anybody says. Anyone gets treated like that, you've become accustomed to it. And then three months later, you go to the same nightclub. Not tonight, mate. Really? That is how it happens on anyone on reality TV. You go like this, and then all of a sudden you get to this, and then it's just it's just a shutdown, boom. Edge. And it's a oh man, and that's why a lot of them you hear a lot of them kind of. They, they they can't take it and they you know they take the is, lives it, or whatever. Is that why you're saying you're finished as well? Like, no, has no, that no, no, no. So California for a long time closed so many doors for me. Like people think I got on Big Brother. I wasn't a celebrity Big Brother. I was a normal Big Brother. So I didn't get on because of California. Why you know? Because it was, well, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah the celebrities that were on it with me, like Helen and all, was cool. And we'll, we'll get onto them. But they, yeah, like that. that why not? It did nothing for me. California to this day haunts me. When I say haunts me, I go for job interviews, and it's like you're that fella. And everyone has a has a pre decision on on who you are before they meet you. Um, and then they don't realise that you're playing the character. Like, Phil Mitchell, do you think he's like that all the time? He's an actor. I'm an actor. That's, that's literally what I, I'm an actor, but the only thing is, is that I've no script. Mm. I'm just trying to do what I think is going to get just, ratings. Yeah. I'm doing what I think is mo most outrageous. Yeah, improv, basically. Exactly, and you're improv the whole time. And that's you, you are an actor. And people are going, no, because when people meet you, it goes, like, some people expect you to be on all the time, this mad, crazy person, you know what I mean? So when yeah. you're aware going into doing reality TV that there will be them preconceptions. Because, like, I would have them preconceptions about people that go on that I stuff. didn't think I cared. Back then, I was I was young, stupid. I didn't think the internet was going to be around forever. Yeah. You know we, I mean? we, we all still say that, though. We all still say, I don't care what they think, but a lot of us do, do you know yeah, what I mean? That's yeah. what I mean, but you carried yourself like so bulletproof to stick and backlash, do you know what I mean? That yeah. you, from the outside, it looked like yeah, it didn't well, bother you. Well, it's like, gone to that, wasn't it? You have to, oh, man, yeah, I tell yeah. you, and that's one thing you said to me about the army. The army gave me a thick skin, right? And it did. And one thing, I, that's the best thing I ever got. Is Not that thick that enough to avoid a person. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Then we weave out bow holes. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. Um, but, but, uh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> How would you even have a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so. Is, this is purely a week to week basis. I, I know. Like. I'm telling you now, man. What's going to happen is you're, you're eventually got, you're eventually going to be just kicked off and say, sorry, look, we couldn't put one episode of the mad shit. And the way the snowflakes things are going now, we're shipping the late late show out and we're taking prime time off you. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, we're gone. Nobody's time is oh, gone. We're taking over. Stop. Uh, but what was it? I can I keep te forgetting what I'm uh, saying. Th th that was my fault. Yeah, like I'm so glad he's here, it. by the way. He's like a real. <laughs> I'm not like this. He's, he's, like he's the reminder. He's, he's the like guilty five, six, in the corner. Seven, eight, and go. <laughs> <laughs> and you said this and this and this. You'd be a very good producer because they used to do that to us on California, right? So we'd be sitting there and. 
gargled drunk. One scene was this. So California people all ask, is it fake? Yes, it is, right? When I say it's fake, it's fake on her half, on her behalf, because we are we are projecting to act like this dickhead. Like, to be honest with you, <laughs> like, like, Nikita, I, I really don't think she would have done what she did in real life, you know what I mean? Only for there was a camera there and she was encouraged. And how do you encourage what do you think? That, see, the, you know when the camera looks as though they're like it's zoomed up that much close to you? Mm. The camera probably is. So she's watching, she can't see it. You know what I mean? Like people say, you forget about the cameras. They're lying to their arse. Yeah, but it betrayed her badly. She had a big fucking whopper bruise on her arse when I she know. was giving Phil a lap dance. Oh, I know. I know. They did look. They betrayed her badly, and, and it was they wanted cringe because, they, like, like for example, the girl that won Big Brother after me, um, and it was Isabel. What did she do with her money? No one knows. She's donated every penny. Really? No one. Right, what, what? 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 It's not talked about Never. hardly. But I tell you one thing: if she fucking pissed in public. That'll be all over the paper. Yeah. You know, you don't matter what you, and and it's and it's kind of it goes back to this, like what I said earlier on. You want the show to do well, so you have to be willing to ha- do stuff. It has to be drama. There's like no one wants to see a lot of people getting along. Like if that's 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 the case, you just watch that goggle box thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's, mm. like, but well, actually, people do actually like yeah. that. Don't they? <laughs> that's but, a big one. But well, no, but people wouldn't want to see a lot of people just walking around going, "Oh, so hey, man, how was your day?" Jeez, I'm very sensitive to your issues too. You know what I mean? It'd be, it'd be none of that crap. <laughs> you know, it, it'd be. Yeah, Did you, you put heads with anybody in California? Um, no, not really. They're all That's what I mean. Like, I, like, I knew no. you were going to be an antagonist, but... In no, I was... Dave, Dave uh, at the start, no? Uh, Dave gets a lot of shit for that. Now, Dave, I, I, Jean, man, I was gargled, and I'm very boisterous when I'm gargled, and I think Dave is the same, and do you know what? I think I was just rubbing him up the wrong way. A couple of hours of males clashing. Yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then I realised, <laughs> listen, he's fucking huge. He's going to eat you. Now, shut the fuck up. He is a big hunt, isn't he? And, he's, and you know what, man? He's a Sorry lovely, for using he's the a, he's, a, he's a lovely bloke. Look, you're learning. Good man. Well done. We're right? making progress, ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like I explained to Americans. You can't say fuck. You can say fuck to anybody except your granny and granddad. You have to say feck. <laughs> it's like <laughs> like you, you, you can say you, that's how that's how we've done it we've we've literally like got a way to say fuck around our granny and granda and we just say feck change the letter yeah you know, and, it's, and it sounds better too you know feck yeah it does oh, it's no. cleaner yeah, it is isn't it yeah it is like if, like. but anyway sorry so we did the show and as I said we did all this and I thought it was going to take off afterwards didn't happen and it was just it was just a car crash from then man it was really shit and you know it did nothing for me it did absolutely what nothing. was it like ju- sorry Jay oh, go on go on what was it like Jordan Jordan it like was it we are getting stick constantly Jordan like let's say Filming. after Filming. yeah oh so I, I, like I, if, I if just, you were seeing I just forget, or forgot what I said there sorry about what happened I, I, it just reminded me there I'll get to that one you're welcome uh, thanks <laughs> so, so I still think we have a list of 40 things to get yeah, 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 yeah. great. we have all night <laughs> um, <laughs> Joe Rogan eats a heart though what yeah, on that so, one, on. so when we did the show let's just say f- here's a perfect example of what it would be like right so I was doing all these mad shit and exaggerating and being extrovert to fuck and just doing what I thought, what can I do? That'd be mad, right? But let's just say no, there was no footage. We, I remember one night we went out and we had a few gargles and Cormac was talking to some girl and she was questionable about, I was questionably young and the producer came up to me and I'm pissed, locked, not not annoyed, pissed like a yeah, drunk. Yeah. Like drunk. Oh, I pissed this man. Yeah. No, no. So you, when I said pissed, I mean I wasn't angry. I was yeah, you know I mean? drunk, drunk. Yeah. yeah. You know, if someone said you're pissed Context as well, part, pissed yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. If someone said you're pissed, if someone said oh, I was pissed, you were like you would go. Oh, you know, you're hammered. Yeah. You're annoyed, right? Not drunk. Yeah. You got it backwards now, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so anyway, so I was locked drunk. Is easier, right? And for you people up the north, it's blacked. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's our wee Jamie Lee. There we go. They're both going to get blocked tonight. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> Man, so this TV producer, is he stone cold sober following you yeah, around yeah, looking yeah. for opportunities yeah, yeah. to encourage mayhem? Exactly, right? So, <laughs> so, so, I'm sitting there and he goes, Jesus, she's very young, isn't she, Mark? And I, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your sister's about that age, isn't she? And I was like, <laughs> Yeah, and I'm gargled, right? But nothing happened of it. I went home and I fell asleep and I, <laughs> I was gargled. Wakes me up, puts chairs around the thing, gets everybody out, gets us all to sit down. Ah, okay, everybody, and we're going to film now. Great. And uh, and I was like that. Like, Mark, wake <laughs> up. You're about to tell Cormac. Uh, wake up, Mark. You're about to tell Cormac about, about him with that girl earlier on. Like, I remember that episode. Right? And I got up and I was like... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he was... She was mad young. Fuck you. And then mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm gargled. I'm being encouraged to be a wanker. And I'm going, oh my God, they just fucking, they just fucking did. These are not the droids you're looking for. They just did that fucking Jedi shit on me. Like, yeah. and I went and I went with it. And 
It was probably the worst thing I ever did. Everyone hated me for it because comics like yeah, man, yeah, yeah, hundred percent, yeah, on? yeah, yeah. And I fucking I was like, why did I do that? I, and I let them lead me down. That's mainly what they do. They don't tell you what to do, but they lead you down little yeah, ways. Yeah. You know, they kind of yeah, set up yeah. a Mark scenario. Adds. Don't be a great idea, Mark. If you just got in a nip again there and put fucking a trail of dirty milk bars. Exactly, and I'm I'm, just I'm like a little fat kid following them yeah. the thing, and I'm like, oh, I'll do what you want. Same. And I did. So I was garvey, yeah. I can tell. Same. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway that's how that went and afterwards California was just the worst thing ever it was just terrible I hated it I was embarrassed of it it was shy it w- didn't give me any of the things that I was this fake promise that I thought it would be um, and that's really what it is I just ha- I had a good time yeah right. so it. did you going into Big Brother then did you expect anything different from that a different level of opportunity right. because but you're breaking the English audience right, as so, well so and the California leads you to Big Brother like no, would you have got Big Brother without California. Uh, no, so how I got on to Big Brother was, right, so I had an agent that did, like, we did, as I said to you, we did a couple of shows before Big Brother to try, you know, keep it alive or, you know, try to do something. And I made my own show, which I sent you a link for. Yeah. A few, I'm going to call them, bottom of the barrel um, people that were, if they saw California and they saw what happened to us and they were still willing to go and try to yeah. do a show very similar to it, that kind of shows you the calibre that we were dealing with. Oh, where's um, the name of it again? Infectious, doesn't it? Infectious, yeah, oh, that's the shit, one. Man, you know that's a perfect name for what it was. Thank God it didn't. It was a pilot <laughs> show. Uh, I was a producer, well, one of the producers, and I was in it. Um, you got your flu out. Yeah, Joe, McGur- Joe McGuckin, he he does the Starlet t- uh, podcast, but he mm-hmm. does the funny videos. Yeah, with it, Darren uh, Conway. What do you yeah. call again? The, uh, the Wine Up Merchants. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's with Darren Conway. He, he was actually one of the lads on it, uh, filming, obviously. He wasn't yeah. fucking yeah. being a knacker like the rest of us. Um, <laughs> I couldn't imagine him getting his number, to be fair. The name is like a tagline for STDs. <laughs> yeah, uh, mate, and do you know what? And it really was. And to be honest with you, if you watch it... That's I'm what the show was like, yeah. I'm actually one of the people standing back just watching it all unveil going, and I've learnt my lesson not to do this mad <laughs> shit again, you know? And... Basically, that didn't make it off the floor because we had... So how, how what happened was we were going to poach that to... Um, so some of the people on the show had had a bad rep um, and they burnt their circles. They're, they're, they burnt their connections in certain circles that would say, this is where it's going to get. We went to RTE, didn't want to know. We went to TV3, didn't want to know. We went to BBC, didn't want to know. So we came up with a great idea. What we were going to do was we were going to... We were told if we get 100,000 views uh, in the first week then we would be taken serious. That we can say, okay, we're getting traction to this yeah. to this joke on YouTube. So I said, release it on YouTube. And what you do is, you go to a nightclub and you say to them, listen, you pay us five grand and we'll film the next episode and we'll be in your place and you'll be like like a sponsor. And we had loads of people willing to jump on this. Went on to the, went on to the, um, we we're on the pa- we we're on the, the the radio and a lot of people were like oh this is the new they're kind of California thing it was kind of look we we're two point piggy- exactly we were piggybacking it trying to get something on it and it was going to be uh, like it was going to be a money thing and for the first time we we're actually going to get paid you know what I mean and that was like imagine you had two or three sponsors for one you know fifteen grand for an episode and the episodes were very cheap to film mm. like they weren't a lot and you saw the force and I did that on about a grand mm. thought it cost me to film that and I pulled in a lot of favors um but what would it be if people would be all trying to help you out pulling favours going oh this hotel will feature you give us free hotel that kind of thing yeah. and that's what happened and we were ready to go and we had loads and then don't want to say but two people two cast one cast member and one of the people that burned that circle um, they went on and completely bombed it by saying because we kind of cut, cut them out said look listen you, you, because you're bad connections with people you know we're not going to get uh, uh, taken serious so we kind of tried to push them out and they went and just they they just they just they buried killed the they, they buried it they killed it before it. they said oh they're just a con artist or this they're gonna take all your money and you know what? I wasn't really too keen either I was like okay it's gone fuck it took it down didn't use it and then I gave you a link to their private link no one else will have you did and did <laughs> and uh, yeah so we won't say who was on that or whatever like that but that was a thing and there was a lot of controversy as well and you're opening yourself up to more trouble but anyway so with it was a good idea though. And b- being honest, Mark, like, credit to yourself because yeah. you would have been way ahead of the times there with the whole YouTube thing. Like, mm-hmm. I know I know the initial idea of it going on YouTube was to get the recognition from RTE and TV3, yeah. 
But realistically, if you think of how YouTube was gone, had you have actually put that on YouTube and you monetized it, like you probably would have outdone what you would have got. I think so. From I mean, like you think of like how much money I, I told you a grand I spent on that. I know the audio was a little bit shit. We will say that because I hadn't got. I hadn't there got there was a few words. things yeah. you could have improved, but, but, but that was just that was literally just down to budget. Yeah. Episode, that's yeah. All. And it was great. Like I mean, if you actually looked at it, it actually was. It was much better than California. Like, I, I, it, yeah. it, I'll be honest. So he actually, like he said, he sent me which camera are we on. <laughs> I'm looking at yeah, this one. On um, he actually sent me the link, and I obviously watched it. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And being honest, at the start, I was like, "Jeez, no wonder this didn't go well." But as it went on, I got more invested in. It. I was dying to see what happened next, like you always fucking yeah. do. And then the episode ended with a bit of drama, and I was like, "Right, lovely." And I clicked on his page looking for episode two, and I wasn't there, and I was snapping. I was, like, clean, clean I was dying to see yeah, the next yeah, one. Like, yeah. So, yeah, it definitely, no matter how good the production was or whatever, the storyline was there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you would have got the viewers. Yeah. But maybe, like, after obviously hearing about things that happened, like, maybe it was right that it didn't go yeah. out in the end. So you we know? had plans to make it like a kind of 32 county thing where it was going to be like, okay, when you go to Kerry, what do you think of? And we we're going to try to visit all these things, but have these stupid doves coming around, going around the country. And that was the plan to go. And it wasn't supposed to be as seedy. Um, the name that they chose was the guy originally, one of the, one of the managers, he one who put the name down as that. And I was like, why on earth did you do that? Like, that is a terrible name. Oh, it's infectious to watch. What? It was like an STD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? Even the noise of it, so- and the nails of it, it sounds like terrible. Um, I was like, oh, that's so bad. But anyway, that kind of stepped away from that. And then I tried a little bit of acting and I tried some web series acting stuff. Uh, there was a yoke called Drama Town. And uh, by the way, I can't act. I, I, I can't act. I I can't do, I can do improv pretty easy. But if you tell me to read a line and you see, I'm, I'm like Rocky when he was going, hi. <laughs> when I wake up in the morning, I, uh, I can't read. You know, <laughs> like I'm so bad. I, I, and I'll say it a million, million, million times. And it, and. That's why I try to do things the first time because it's going to be the best cut. If yeah, I try to yeah. do it a second time after yeah. that and I try to read anything what I was supposed to say, it's like it's like someone's in my head and they're going, don't fuck up, don't fuck up, yeah, don't yeah, fuck yeah. up. Actually, I'm going to make you fuck up. Say say, say something stupid. <laughs> say, and I'll do it. And I'm like, ah, fuck. Um, I can't act. I know that. I always thought I could. Um, Jay and me did a, a little bit together on, on that show as well. It was actually really cool. It was. He had like a predator and everything. I, I was mad. Um, but we did that. And Sounds then uh, there's one or other two, one or two, one or other, one or two other shows in the UK that didn't get past pilot either, which I'm glad. Um, but then we did Big Brother. So I was in my final year in college. Um, sorry, I, I went back to, after I left the army, I went back to, I went to college. Inception, 2.0. Here we go. <laughs> when I left the army, I went back to college to do a degree in chemistry and biology. Um, and I just, I don't know why I did it. I just, I, I had an interest in it. An ex-girlfriend told me to do it. Um, and I did. And yeah, I, uh, she was she was a cool young one. She was a uh, actually that'll tell you. See, when I was younger as well, of course. Look, I fucked a lot of people over. Um, you know, I, I thought you were just gonna leave. A, I fucked a lot of people. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 left no. Over the table. No, no, no. no. I put, like, <laughs> no when I say fucked a lot, of pe- a lot of people, I didn't fuck a lot of people. But the regrets were basically I was immature, stupid. I cheated on my ex girlfriend. That kind of thing going like, and she was the one that got me to go to college, and I was Mark. just kind of what. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you feel terrible there, you know. And and, and you know what? It just sounds really. I actually would hope she would listen to this. Being, this would be. I'll send that link. What's her name? I'm not saying. <laughs> I'd I'd like I'd like to apologise. Like, and I'd like her to know that I am sorry for hurting her. But like, it's, it's mad. The older you get, the more you look back at all the things, 100%. the stupid the boys, shit you did. Yeah. Like, I mean, like I hurt someone, and I mean, I look at. She probably doesn't even think about me not a second yeah. day in her life. But I think about the prick that I was and how I treated people and. It wasn't, you know, I see guys doing it now, this young lad's doing it now, and they're cheating on their girlfriends. Like, my girlfriend now, I mean, I wouldn't even look at another girl. She has the password to everything, man. She's like MI5. I couldn't even do it if I tried, like, you know. And I wouldn't, I don't want to. I love her the bits. Mm. Um, but when I was younger... She went in the car park for She is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, she's, uh, you know, and, and, and that's something that I, I kind of hate. Some of stuff like that. And I think a lot of people, when they get older, they realise, you know, you look back at all this stupid shit that you did yeah. in your life. And you look back and you have so many stupid regrets like that. California's a big regret. You know, um, you know, cheating on girls when you're younger, yeah, th- uh, th- they, they, that, that's a big regret. I mean, how can uh, the idea of that now even like that annoys me? You know what I mean? And, yeah. and I'd love to. I don't be weird about it, but I'd love to f- go up to her and go, you know what? I'm really 
sorry. I know you that's probably, not don't weird at all. probably don't even remember me, but look, I'm so yeah. sorry for being a dickhead and doing that, this. I don't think that's weird you know? at all. And, and, and I, 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 I dwell a lot of that stuff in my head, and I, and I, I, I do, and I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I've had a great time, man. Like, I, my, like, I had a great life. Did I make a lot of money? No, but like, I, had a, I had a great time, but you still have the negatives look at 43 you still have a good bit of time not left bad, yeah, not bad at all I like what you I know you're saying it like he was on his way out though didn't you yeah. had a great life I did I did I did I was going to write a you're book you're not getting put down Mark. I was, was going to call, was gonna call it a book almost <laughs> <laughs> it was almost everything I fucking nearly did everything um, but no when I went on Big Bro what happened was I was in my final year in college and I was out all night at a rave and they, I got how, how what happened was um, my ex-girlfriend who was also my manager we were actually at the time we were only mates, and she like it was kind of progressed afterwards. But we were she was my manager, and she used to get me all my bookings for my stripping. She organised all my like I'm gonna call it PR, but it, but it was literally just you're booked here, you're there, you're at a photo shoot, you're doing this, you're with this. So were you just out of curiosity? Were you giving her like a weekly wage for being she a manager paid, or what? Yeah, yeah, no. So so how it started was I went to college with her, and she said to me she was looking for a job in college because by the way I'm in college, um this is why stripping kept on after the army right yeah is that uh, well, how are you gonna make an income yeah, yeah i yeah. was making a full-time wage a week on the weekends on one night yeah. saturday night that was it and i was going to college and i was doing whatever and she was organizing all this and i said to her look listen here's how it works this is how booking agents so let's say you book a stripper now today like a kissogram and he charges 250 that booking agent probably take 100 quid and give the stripper 150 right so i said to her i said tell you what i'm gonna charge 250 you're going to book and you're going to take 50 quid for every book and you take. And I thought she's not going to do great. She's a little Sligo young one. She's not going to do great. Like, she, what is she, how is she going to talk to yeah, people? I'm having a cool. She's having a cool. She's having a cool. My sisters say this to me all the time. Do you know, don't they all say, you love a good set of shoulders, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, lo- I love a culture. I really do. I, do, I just, you know, man, I just think they're deadly. And, and uh, do, do you know what it is? Is that the girls in Dublin and now they're all going to hate me saying this, right? Is that oh, be careful, Mark. Right, we'll get the mark right, are you Molly, sure you want to say? We will. No, the, the girls in Dublin, and 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 I really do say this is that a lot of them need to have more respect for themselves in one way. And I blame myself being one of them people as well. Like, and it, it's like. So, Charlotte has a lot of friends now in Dublin and I see some of the girls and they're with all the wrong guys. They're with all the wrong guys and they're putting out and they're doing all this and I'm like, like, do you think he's like, so you go out to, if a guy calls you at three, here's some advice for all the girls out there. If a guy calls you at three o'clock in the morning, he's not ringing you up to play Monopoly. He's not going to ring you up to say, listen, I want to make you and me bored. It's not going to happen. Don't answer the phone. Tell him to fuck off. And, the thing is that he Unless they're looking for it as well. Just Unless they're looking for it. If that's what she's after. If that, if the, if she, if it, it's a different ball game, Mark, now. Right, right, so, right, know, right, so here's some for you, right? Now, I said this to my mates before, right? And you can call me prude or whatever way it is, is that, again, after me saying to you, look, I had a past as well, and I understand that, but that doesn't mean that I'm okay with a girl to do, do that. And, and I don't think that's right either, but I just think we all shouldn't be doing that shit. And I do, I genuinely think you shouldn't be, look, man, what are you doing going around being banging everything? Like, what? Like, I did that for years when I was younger. And it was literally, it wasn't because I wanted to. It was more of a validation with the lads. It was more to be going, I'm wonder boy, yeah, I'm mm. this, I'm this boy, oh, I'm this, I'm this. Honestly. And then guys cheating on girls as well. Like, to be honest, lads, come on. You go off with a girl and you're cheating. 30 seconds, maybe, to a minute. <laughs> What? The right, is it worth it? Right? Is it worth it? Really? No, it's, to, it's ridiculous. To, to, to what? For what? For what? For what? Know, like for what? And the, the Especially if you have something special with your like, partner. So imagine, point, imagine. Like, I tell you what, it's like the in betweeners quote, isn't it? Well, we go for burgers when you have steak at home. That's sure. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't think it was that bad. No, but straight to your face as well. Very invalid. You don't tell the phone. You look and take him seriously. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mark can take it. He's a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> he made me a cup of tea earlier. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Actually, he wouldn't so make it. You walked in the garage for the milk as well. Um, right, so here's some right. So uh, uh, let's just say I've met girls over the years and on the lips, yeah, obviously on the bum too. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <Double. laughs> right, and you know what? They were really nice girls, really nice girls. But I didn't take the relationship serious because I knew someone they were with before me, and 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 that's. Maybe that's not right to be, but that's how... That's that's why I'm probably still single, but I, I, I couldn't... Uh, I'm weird like that. Yeah, yeah, No, no, I, I'm like that. Like, I've had chat, chat Still like that, that now, I told friend, you years of age. Right, here's the thing that... Like, so I see all the people are fighting in Dublin. They're all fighting over someone was with someone's board or something like that. I'm like, like, 
what are you what are you doing? Like 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 what's what's going on? The world is like Dublin's just gone mad. Like it's like kip it's like recently, like, kip recently. It's a kip. Like but thing is like I wouldn't I wouldn't want to go off with a girl or I wouldn't take her serious or I wouldn't treat this rela- relationship as a serious as I said, if a girl answer the phone at 3 o'clock in the morning he's not taking you serious either it's not going to be a relationship do you know what I mean it's, it's more of a booty call or whatever you know mm. and again maybe because I'm older now I'm looking back and I'm going to hate of like, ah, I'm just so stupid back then doing that stupid stuff but I remember the girls were lovely lovely people but and and it's me the problem is me like I knew someone they were with and I was I'd be always in my head going I'm a dirty bastard, and I know for a fact he is too. I'd say he had his balls in her face. And <laughs> so you're thinking that you're that dirty bastard you know your mum was with as well. Exactly. Like So I, yeah, I used to yeah, crack yeah. a few jokes. Like I said, like girls nowadays have more previous honours than a Honda 50. Yeah. You know? My little Honda 50. <laughs> keep she's that. rapid. What's, away, what's your, your big brother quote? Oh, he would slam more times in the taxi door. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. I had more Mickey than Disneyland. Disneyland. Yeah, oh, that, that was one, the that best. I robbed. I robbed that from <laughs> yeah, that was a crack at all. Oh, yeah. you had me. I've heard that one before, that. but no, the da- taxi door one. I was like, I even say, where did that come from? <laughs> when I'm trying to be funny, I'm not funny. It's when I'm. In, f- in fairness, you had a few little great one liners. I remember, what was the old fella's name? Bang more times than Michael Chandler's face uh, last night. The Elfler. The Elfler with the. Simon. The bald headed fella. He was think he was the only Elfler in the house. I don't know. The but basically, you called him. Simon. You oh, called him a tinfoil, yeah. No, you called him a lanky, big titted uh, dod, uh, fucking coffin dodger or something like that. <sighs> Mate, I just came out. Skinny, no lanky, yeah. big titted coffin dodger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he probably was. Was he? <laughs> uh, was it? Oh, was the other one, the the pricking tinfoil thing. Remember that? You ever hear of a, pr- you ever hear of a pr- uh, knight in shining armor? Yeah, <laughs> pricking tinfoil. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a pricking tinfoil. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like uh, man, you know, as I said, you were trying to be funny. And, oh, and how happened that? So my ma- an- my manager then, who uh, she got on me by bookings. She said to me, she applied. I don't know how you did it. Maybe you fill in right. a thing. She applied for me. I yeah. thought you had to do like a video. Do a video. Yeah. I've no, done no. an application for it before. Well, I didn't do a video. She applied. Really, Jay? Yeah, I just wasn't paying for the flight over to Manchester. So, so you're like a, fa- <laughs> so you're like a failed You got accepted and you didn't fucking fly <laughs> yeah. over. No, it's just a second that, 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 I'll tell you how that, how that goes anyway, right? So you go over anyway. And so, so she did this and I met up with these two recruiters and it was in like a hotel and I was up all night with my two mates. We were at a rave and I literally went straight from the rave. I am him flying like I'm 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 at the showing up and that's the only thing I'm not taking this thing serious at all like I'm at the showing up and, and I do this and I'm trying to like not tell them something <laughs> and they're looking at me and I'm like I'm it's like it's a lot uh, of coffee, it's, it's a lot <laughs> of coffee. A lot yeah coffee. a lot of coffee I saw a picture the other day of a car all crashed up and someone's trying to put fuel in it and he turned and goes when you when you've been up all night and you think a coffee will help yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot of your stories start in a rave as well yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> they do so they did so, <laughs> yeah they did I'm, I'm, I'm them days are gone but I got, they really are gone so I uh went to the interview and I'm talking to these two girls and I'm chatting to them and I'm doing the whole lot and they're just looking at me and they're going, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're like, like, have you been to bed? And I'm like, I felt like Pinocchio. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> right, I mean, I'm licking my lips. And I'm just, I'm just fucked up. Right. I'm just kind of like, I'm not in a good place here. And, uh, I just dry gargles, like from drinking all night. Like, and then, uh, she, she goes, all right, cool. So I did it. And I was like, oh, that went so bad. And the lads were outside for the taxi. We went straight off and I, w- I ended up going to bed or whatever, blah, blah. I was just like, oh, that didn't go well. Didn't tr- I didn't treat it right at all. It was just, I was, oh, fuck, I blew it. Ah, fuck it. Fuck it. You know what I mean? And then they called me and they said, like you, they said, do you want to come over for an interview in Manchester or wherever? I, c- I think mine was in London, actually. Mm. And I flew over and I thought, I thought I was on it. I thought, like, this is that the, was it. Th- that's the only yeah. interview you have. Yeah. And then you go in inter- and you, you get a number. You're sitting there all day. And then they interview you again and then they interview you again and then they bring you into a diary room like a black room with a camera and they see what you're like asking you questions and they're like okay great then you go off and then they fly you back over again and then you've got to do a group chat with like all these people like group interviews and like so fucking few probably man it was mad so we went into the show and they had like broke up into teams you and you uh, I'll say, bro, everyone stand here and they say, people that believe in monogamy stand on the left, people that don't stand this side. I stood in the middle, me and some uh, gay fella, and he was Mr. Gay UK. I can't, I'm so bad with names, man. He was a lovely fella. Me and him were just buzzing, and I said, man, I don't know what 
monogamy is. <laughs> love, love is caused by monogamy. Right. That's a kind of. I didn't know what monogamy was, and you won't, you won't. You just have to pick a side, and they were like, and but they're all arguing, but they're having full blown arguments, but they're trying to be over the top arguing like with each other, like to try because that's what they're trying to. I could see yeah. what was happening here. Yeah. You know, yeah, man, what you mean? Women shouldn't be doing all this. Was one board got like mad aggressive, and I went, I don't even know what monogamy is. <laughs> and sure, she goes, what? What do you mean? Don't know what monogamy is? And then she was giving out to me, and I literally was like, are they winding me up, like? And I think then they were trying to make me react. Am I going to be aggressive on the show? Yeah. Or, yeah. You know? yeah. So I left anyway, and I was like, "That went fucking terrible." And uh, we, I went home, and they called me back again, and then they had me to talk to these two um, counselors, right? They have like these people yeah, that would chat yeah. to you, and they say, yeah, "Okay, great, Mark. Um, Mark, are you okay?" I was like, "What do you mean?" He says, like, um, "You've never been on medication for being a bit mad or anything like that." <laughs> what should I have been? <laughs> should I? Now you got to remember, I, I'm thinking back now. I was probably being real, ah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to be interested. Yeah. Please pick me. Um. I was, you one thought of something wrong with me. Like she goes, I, "Are you are you on medication for being like nuts or what?" And I'm like, ah. "What she was really asking was like, legally, can we put you on the television?" And you know what, man? That's exactly what they're doing. They have to yeah, cover yeah. their ass. Yeah. They have to. Yeah. They have to. In cover fact, their ass. it even happened to me recently with the yeah. project coming up. No, like. You can yeah. mention that in every fucking podcast. You know, you're on this fucking thing. I'll tell you what he's on. He's on a new Shameless. It's <laughs> 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 for people who just keep eating a month. Well, well, <laughs> what's that? What's that TV Jeremy show where Coyle they take starting up again? And we have <laughs> yeah, our first Jeremy. guest. What's that TV show? Naked bodies. Embarrassing bodies. Man. Embarrassing bodies. Man. Yeah. Man. I mean, I know it's on California, but that's worse. Naked attraction. That's Naked worse. attraction. That's, that's, that's worse. Yeah. I saw a clip of it, uh, uh, and it's like, man, have you seen Mickey's? Mickey's, I don't know how even women find me, uh, me or any man How did you put them in the mouth? <laughs> <laughs> see, do you see what I mean? Like, it, like it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we're getting a caliber up here, right? and we're talking, and we're talking about. I'm talking about me not being a child anymore, with, and being. With an no, I'm just saying, kid. like you're saying, Mickey's and ugly. Who's saying that popped into your into your mouth <laughs> right? or your head? Let's say you're saying that ugly. I'm they saying that ugly. ugly. Andy, Andy put, put them into they look that like mouth. Sea slugs with brains. Yeah. That's what they look like. Look, look, look vaginas <laughs> aren't fucking too pretty. Oil, yeah, yeah, you ever seen the Caribbean too? At the end, Johnny Depp gets eaten by the Kraken. That's yeah. what a bad JJ looks yeah, like. Just Man. coming up out of look, back. Look, I never see it. Eat look, you. There's, 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 <laughs> look, there's, there's bad looking willies. I think all willies are bad. And yeah, there's, and there's, and there's, disagree and myself, there's bad looking vaginas as well. Like there's some nice ones as well, though. Yes, I didn't say there wasn't. Man, I'm, Jesus Christ, I have a great girlfriend, and she is the best. <laughs> um, just saying pictures. Little McDonald's hamburger no, looking. No, no, no. You have to have a. You have to have. You have to have a vagina like a like a Homer Simpson's mouth. All yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Has to be. Yeah, like, I mean, look, a I little s- bit of lettuce dangling. No, it's not. Right, so this is this is this is this is air problem. This is where we're a bit mad, right? and this is why I've no joke saw this, and one would hang lower than the other, and I just go, that's mad. Looks and like Zoidberg's mouth from Futurama. Exactly. I just. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and trying to pull up the side of the blind. You would see. <laughs> <laughs> Even at home. And, and you know, I feel terrible because some of these girls would have a complex about this sort of shit, but I would sit there and be like, if they didn't before, anyway. <laughs> like, I remember, I've actually said it to them. What's the story with that? No, I got freaked out this, this the second board I was ever been with. Like, oh, what's an about, about that length? It's like a knuckle bean. I was like, what the fuck, man? Like that's a bean a, was like a, a knuckle. Yeah. Yeah. I actually day. learned something on your show what? that you didn't fucking know what? about the fucking bean getting hard. What the fuck? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, the infectious thing. There was a girl on the show. The girls uh, actually get hard. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> apparently, they. I, I. don't know if that's true because it I gets. Mo- it gets. Obviously, it gets well done. I. I don't. I don't know. I, I've never been with a guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just letting you know. I don't know whatever you're talking about is getting hard. Um, on the other person, but maybe that would be a a. You are. You are quizzed on, on the show. Transgender, maybe. No. No. <laughs> it was on your show. But I'm saying I didn't know. I still don't know if that's true. The Be person that said it, it's very... It's very... Right, I get, yeah. I get where you're going. get the alphabet people after you now. No, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get no, where you're going. That's why I, I kept it, you know. Fair Dave's the man. Me. I'm Team Dave on that one. Yeah. You're, you're oh, yeah, absolutely. One horn, though. Yeah. Team Dave. Dave, Dave Chappelle. Chappelle. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to cancel him. I yeah, love Dave yeah, I love Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle's brilliant, yeah, isn't he? He's the absolute go. Oh, he's brilliant. By the way, sorry, let's get back to... So, big brother. Yeah, so... I remember being back at sessions with my friends and all the things that they told me I should have done on California. I was like, man, I don't have a fucking choice what they show on it. But they said, man, you act like a wanker. And I did. I told you why. I act like a wanker. And you go on to this one. Look, 
you're playing to the lads. So that's what I had in my mind. I was winding these fuckers up, and I was one trying to be, as I said to you, the center of attention is why you'll get the most airtime. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, you're talking Nicky Graham, you're talking Brian Bello. Um, but they were boring as fuck on it though that year. And and here's the thing for you, they were worse off when we say not off camera, we, we say off camera. Yeah. So you know tasks they're going to be on. Mm. Tasks come come on, and Nicky Graham be like, Wah! yeah. She was walking around like 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 doing nothing for most of the day. Yeah. Brian Bellow, I thought I thought he was just I'm barely moving around. You know, whispering like that's <laughs> how you go, you know. And then when they all came on, hey everybody, he's like this, this is like going, What on earth? So they just you know, they they just yeah. done it for so long that yeah. they, they they know what's gonna be shown. They knew and they were they were acting and we all were acting, everyone was acting, and I don't care what anybody said, you forget the cameras are there, shut up, you know you're on a television show. Mm. Sometimes you got a bit drunk and you kind of said the wrong thing. It's like I was having an interview and I mean not trying to say a word that I don't want to say and, and you say it anyway. It's yeah. not that you didn't know that the camera wasn't there, you just kinda let yeah. yourself talk about something. It's like it. saying that like you slept with someone and then we post the video and then you go mad that we post the video, but you said it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll go go there. Fair play. You didn't do that. That's it. <laughs> did you? Shots did. fired. <laughs> I did do it. Fuck it. We did not a dig to take us. We want all this moment. But anyway, are oh, you having me mad, Paro? Now, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Just jump on for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh God, he's having posted that. That is no, 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 no. Good, no. good. He's having me no. mad, Paro. <laughs> like, do we? So you see the way you're saying, you, like he's all acting or whatever, yeah. and you're aware of the cameras and stuff. The shit with you and Danny, and especially Ashley as well. That got like that got personal. Oh yeah, because see, like, thing is that. Fucking the bleeding ham sambo at Joel or something. Is that his name, Joel? Uh, yeah, Joel, Joel. I love Joel. Joel's cool. He yeah, fucked that him, but he hit yeah, Joel. I know, but he hit Joel. And then the wall. He hit Joel because he thought Mark was having a dig at Joel. Yeah. Not funny. No, it was like, Nick you were supposed to be having a dig at. No? I can't remember. It's like an everybody. Mate. Yeah. I think it was Joel because you were talking to him yeah, and yeah. Danny didn't like how you were talking to him or whatever. Yeah, so oh, it was something like that. I can't it remember. It was Nick. I, I can remember because I watched it all there recently. I can't even remember. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was Nick. Basically, I asked Nick if he wanted to win. And he said, I don't really care. And you were like, ah, come on. You don't want to win. And then Danny was like, why you take his answer? Like, what are you asking him again for? And you were like, what are you getting involved for? Oh, yeah. So, so, yeah, no, I never like, yeah, if you're picking on him, then so, I'll so, get so, yeah. so, so, Danny wanted to play. Now, look, I talked to Danny the odd time. Look, we're not, He's an op-head person. Look, we're not, look, we're not friends. We're just kind of acquaintances, really, you know? Like, And I don't mean to say that in a bad way. Like, I wouldn't say I'm bad about him. Like, like I'll mm. say, ah, look, listen to me. We know we were both playing a thing on the show. And we kind of both acknowledge that. I'll tell you what a spark them as well. I was dying for you. I was dying for him to lay hands on you. I would have took him off the smokes. But the thing is that you can't. You can't hit anybody on the show. You would have been gone. Yeah, like you, you ca- I kept getting in trouble on the show for doing weird shit. Like um, I'll tell you some of the behind scenes they didn't show, which I thought were hilarious, right? Like hilarious. Can I just say to anyone who hasn't watched Mark on Big Brother, it's it's one hundred percent worth going back and looking. It's all over YouTube. I was a huge fan of Big Brother. I'm a big fan of reality TV, right? And especially Big Brother and Mark. I'll fucking it's gonna sound like I'm licking your asshole here right but by far and I mean this I'm not just saying it because I heard it in front of me the best contestant to ever walk on that show you in my opinion are the only Irish person that has ever done reality TV that portrayed us how we actually are well I had to redeem myself from California didn't I well, and, and you what, definitely that's a, did that's a good thing because I personally yeah. I didn't like it on California yeah I didn't I hate it do you know what I mean no, but yeah. I did, like Anyone that was on California, I didn't like because California was the car crash. And when mm. you see a car crash, you keep your eyes on that until it's out of sight. That's what that was every mm. Sunday night when that was on. But you'll always you remember. Went on Big Brother, <laughs> still watch yeah. it. But when you went on Big Brother, man, you like. Yeah. Uh, like, I have a selfie of like me and my daughter watching it when she was like, she's only a few months. Do you know what I mean? Mm. She's at the telly in her ma's house and you're on the telly in the background. I'll take oh, it out of it. That's gas. Do you like, know what like, I mean? I did some weird stuff on it, right, which they didn't show. So, so how, how it goes in, in Big Brother is this. So. Um, every day, every morning, you get woke up with some music, blah blah. And most people didn't even know watching that show. You know, I was on rations for two weeks, and no one knew, right? Why? So, um, because it's not like normal. So the half the house they give, they gave rations, and half they gave the luxury shopping budget to, right? But then when I, I was on, the, I was on the rations, and then when Ashley came in, she chose me to go on rations again. But they never mentioned anything of it. I'm not allowed to eat at and I'm well, like, like a recent So that's a that's yeah, a bigger yeah. reason why you're wind and hold up the fuck then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, Oh, you wanna be a cunt to me, do you? I'll show you see you, right? Because you were friends with Helen and all. Helen's a lovely man. I'll tell you what, honestly, man, 
Helen is, she doesn't say the right thing all the time, but you know what, man, she is a lovely down to earth person. And you know, what you get is what you, what you see is what you get. And the thing is, the rest of them all have an agenda. They're all fake. They're all, they were using this as a, a career Bad move, fun. a career move to go. Board. I'm gonna be famous, like you oh, see that man Poi face is down. He's a full time yeah. streamer now. He's actually doing yeah, very well. Hundred and something thousand followers, and he's yeah. getting paid for yeah. it. Now. Oh, he's yeah. making Big a fortune, though, isn't he? I think so. I wouldn't know. I I, I think so. I heard. I've seen know. him on uh, Jack Mate's podcast. And yeah, he's, he's done a few done shows on like Sky, Sky I Sports. Do, like, look at my most. He was a nice fella, but he at times he fucking annoyed me. You know what I mean? I loved him. Not me making him eat the eating the cake. Yeah, the croissant. Yeah, yeah. I loved him, man. He was so funny. He was like all of them are lovely. Like, like most of them. But then were. Like, the looks of the board, Sam. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where you get on, she wants a piece of you. You can clearly see it. And then when you get <laughs> when you get evicted, <laughs> all of a sudden she's like, you get played that video in the bunker where he's like, I was a bit of an arsehole yeah. to everyone and all. Yeah. And you're like, mate. That's not what you're like with me. Yeah, you know I, mean? I know, but you know what? I can see that. Look, she didn't think I was coming back. She tried to make friends. I can see, and that was, was the like, reasoning for the like. There was. Yeah. Look, you know what, man? I gotta remember. We're. I remember going in the room, sitting there, going, "How am I here?" Like, I mean, I don't think I'm acting special, and I hate when people say that because they're all saying to try to cover themselves. I'm genuinely telling you, I used to sit there in the room, going, "Like, didn't show half this." And I'm like, going, like I remember watching Big Brother years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, I haven't watched it in years. I have. I wasn't a big fan. Like I watched him when your man when Noreen is a Noreen from Ireland, the the black girl, and there was Marcus, the guy who looked like Wolverine, and there was some Indian fella that wore all the mad makeup and stuff like this. I I'm nearly sure I watched them all. I, I personally remember the the Pete the one that Pete won where Nikki Graham first came into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I remember that one, and then yeah. your man Anthony that the Jordy. Well, here's something yeah. I have to say. I'll, I'll touch on this one as well with you with Nikki Graham. Right, Nikki Graham said something to me on the show and it really really like like so she you know how she died she died from anorexia and yeah she was actually very skinny on the show as well when I actually go skinny, back and yeah. look like well she explained something to me like I know I've got friends that are the same kind of thing they're suffering and I can't understand like anyone who doesn't have that problem they all yeah, can't 100%. understand but she said something to me that made it so so perfect like she doesn't get the the <coughs> she doesn't get the the payoff from food she told me she goes when she eats food she doesn't get that satisfaction of oh yeah this, she's eating because it's a task. She's chewing like she's like because she has to stay alive. She basically. has to do it, yeah. But she said she does not get that endorphin release the way we would. And I was like, what? And she told me that, and I was like, going, fucking hell, that makes a lot more sense. And yeah, hundred percent. Okay, I know there's the other psychological part where you know they don't want to be overweight or whatever. I don't, I don't know much. Mm -hmm. I'm not a yeah. psychologist. Yeah. But when she said that to me, they are the scientists though. Yeah, but different scientists, different like chemists is what I do. Chemistry, I know about drugs. <laughs> Half a valley are you up? Ah. Um, Proper tester. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So that, that when she said that to me, I was like, oh my god, like that that made a lot more sense. Um, but as I said, I was in the diary room and I'd be like, I can't believe I'm actually here. And I kept getting something getting real kind of. Sometimes I got a little bit teary up and all about. It. And I genuinely, it was got. I just got. I, I got, just, I got. I got. It got like a what would you call that? Real kind of butterflies. Like, Whoa! I'm here and I, and I was overwhelmed with it sometimes. Yeah. And then I remember one time I did some. Shit, right? So I don't, you don't know what's being shown, right? You yeah. don't know what way yeah. you look. Yeah, yeah. So they all had to do what I said. Remember, I was, uh, I was on the yeah. thing, right? And they had to call me Dart Lord, Brother Mark, like Captain Mark, and everything, right? So I made Poi Face carry me to the toilet, right? And I took a shit and I bent over and I said, Wipe it, right? <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> right? And oh, Big Brother, stop. Big Brother, bro character. This is Big Brother, Mark. Get to the dye room now. Jack did not wipe Mark's ass. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. And they brought me in and, and like so so what they do what they usually do is whatever fucked up shit you did the day before or offensive shit you may have said. Like remember the one that's talking to Sam and I was talking it sounded so rapey and I was like going, you know, guys want to You sounded rapey a couple of times. Do you know what I love about that story? Big brother big brother were clearly worried. That he was going to wipe. That he had to be, don't wipe, don't, don't wipe. Do it. Uh, I love know, that. Or the other one, the other one I was running in. Mark, like they, they stop, they don't go, this is big brother. Mark, stop biting housemates. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, and they're like, they're just like, and they're like, Mark, get to the room now. And I was like, oh, fuck's sake. So every morning they go in. That's when you knew they weren't showing when they done the normal yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody, everybody were in every morning at least for five, ten minutes. Um, 
being criticised of the shit they like chastised for what they might have said that could have been offensive the day before. Right? Let's say they're in there for twenty minutes, half hour. Oh, maybe. Really? What a Every, shit way to start your day, though. Like but you, ha- you have to do this. It's to do, you know this against this against uh, you know policy. And you can see it's been offensive and blah blah. And you have to just go, yeah. You must have I've seen what people doing champagne bottles on that show and they're giving four it hours. Hours. four hours minimum every day. I was in there and they were like, Mark, yesterday when you said to Sam, she is nothing but a cum bucket. I was like, oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and they're not saying it with any sort of pizzazz they're no. just repeating the facts yeah, you, remember, yeah, yeah. you remember the one where he repeated back the, the one where I was talking about Sam and I was and if, you, if my brother Gary can, he, he posts it every year on my birthday he's like, ah, <laughs> and it's me in the room and they go Mark you know yesterday you, and they had that monotone voice yesterday you said to Sam you just want to penetrate her with your big fat dick and, like, <laughs> and you know guys are into that because they want to see a girl cry and it's kind of sexy because they think they have a big massive cock and I was like and I go, can you not see this can come across very sexual, a- aggressive? And I'm like going, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh. and I'm saying, it, stop talking. Yeah. Like, and I'm repeating everything to you. And you're sitting there going, oh, my God, I sound so bad. Do, do you think part of that to play, though, was like the Irish sense of humour versus the English yeah, as well? Yeah, big, big, man, big team. Man, look, I'm not, of all my mates, I'm, not the, I'm, not, I'm the least funny of yeah, my mates. Yeah, yeah. Like, my mates are much funnier than me. Like, I've mates that, like, literally on the ball, witty, and just, they literally take you apart in seconds. Like, and yeah. like, you'd leave and you'd leave. You don't very well though like I what was that one's name the, the one you gave Ashlyn oh. Ashlyn, Ashlyn she deserved Lord. it though oh. did plastic you, face did and you then meet she her dad boy, boy. Well, 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 that's probably not that's where you were like when you, you meet my dad we would want to meet your dad you and she was like, I said, oh, you're about 40. What age are you that? Fucking 60. <laughs> and then she kept on saying, small dick and on. You're like, how old are you? 12. <laughs> yeah. hey, plastic Chris. face, plastic tits. <laughs> <laughs> and what's it? She goes, you've got a little tiny dick and you're so big. To, you're so yeah. used to big ones. Aren't <laughs> yeah. you? <laughs> you're only used to big ones. <laughs> oh, and then, well, she just, she, but she was trying to have a go at me all the time. All right, bruv. All right, bruv. I've had this shout. I was like, she, she, was like, like, gang, like gang, gang, gang. <laughs> she was a dog, though. Like, yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what, man? Oh, oh, you're taking the high road here. I'm saying, she no, I'm not saying high road. I'm saying, oh, watch this. But uh, honestly, man, yeah, but you have to dogs. remember, Jay. He's winding them up to bits as well. No, I know. So well, you like, think it's funny? Well, I'll, I'll give it to you. Standpoint. I'll give it to you, Mark. You're a fucking imagine black you belt. To, you, you don't know when me. to stop. Imagine you were in the house. No, no, you're not watching. Imagine you had to live with me. I was flipping that bed. You know where y'all used to that in years ago? You grab the bottom of the bed, yeah, and pull it yeah, against yeah, the wall, yeah, and they yeah. fall down. I was doing that in the middle of the night. <laughs> I was doing shit like this, from the grabbing the bed, whipping up there. I'm fuck's sake, Mark, you can't. And I, and I knew none of them could hit me. <laughs> I knew. I knew they yeah. couldn't do that and do, to get me back to the thing. And they're all giving out. And then they're all giving out. I was screaming and shouting at night time, trying to get. And they're like, "Man, we're trying to go to bed. What you in work in the morning?" Eh? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, yeah, you still have to wake up, didn't you? Is that the same? Oh time? yeah, they wake us all up. You don't have to sleep during the day, and it's. Oh, and you've it's no watches or nothing in there. So no, like, no, you don't know what time it is. You don't know. Mad, my head, man, that would. Yeah, but that, think about this. All you got to do is talk with people. That's all you got to do, and then you can see the little fucking. But there's enjoyment in that as well. Yeah, like I was looking yeah, at to know hours. people, and you know you have ah. a shit. Like there's a camera right in front of you, like like this. So the bog is there, and you see a camera right there, and you're having a shit. I was wiping it. I kept doing this to the show, you know, one at the camera. <laughs> I didn't oh, think they had a camera say. in the toilet. So like the camera is yeah, like on level with your young in the yeah, showers. That's crazy. You already have to just in case something happens in the toilet. Like, like, in case you did you hear that? Something. Did anyone no, no, have sex the like, year you were on it? Um, not that I know of. Wait, hold on, did he? Mark Hill, did Danny? Joey Lee in? Danny, no, 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 no one, no one got caught anyway. <laughs> As far as I know, I got caught. I never It'd be got hard caught. to hide, wouldn't it? Like? You're looking for blind spots all the time. Where, where ah, can the camera not do, get me? There's, there's no one. I thought there was one. You so know? what would you do? Would you go into the shower for a bleed Tom Hank? Yeah, and uh, so there was a fire. How many wanks did you have in Big Brother? One. One. I'll tell you what. Six weeks. How long was he it? Broke six the six shower door. I'll tell you what. Were you on your period or something? No, I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you what happened. I was too paranoid. It was coming out with two holes. I was thinking about too many things. So about a week or two in. Uh, there was a fire alarm went off and we all had to be brought into a different building and we're t- sitting with one of the producers and we were, she wasn't really talking to us That's nice. but she kind of gave me a, a nod and says uh, she got uh, I said and we're all they're all asking she pulled her, you on and it and she turned and said to me you know, we, we saw you wanking in the shower and I was like did you enjoy it oh my god what and she goes to the camera in the shower and <laughs> I thought so I thought I couldn't to see hear. it and I went into the shower and then I saw this tiny little camera and I was like oh my god like and I, I, directly above the shower I, I, I was like this <laughs> like, like, pull him the head off because you're never man, doing it man you clip that clip that I was going to show him now right, right. Like, and the thing is shit back in the morning so watch watch so the thing is is that when I, when I was doing that when I was doing that thing so I can only imagine like you know you, you, you don't think anyone's seeing your face and you're, and you're giving you're fucking you're going to town on yourself like what's this 
<laughs> so we have a screen here where we're monitoring oh, the no. the show. It's so far behind. I don't know yeah, it must up. be. I know here. It's just here now. What? Lovely. Yeah, okay. And every time you say like Mark's gum face, we just put that clip. Oh, yeah. Gift that one. Do you know what I mean? Turn oh, around to a gift. You're, you're going, going into you my text messages. Right? You're is, a gift now. thing you think you you you, you think it, and when she said that, then I was so paro then, and I was like, oh no, and of course I was dying to whatever you know. And you, of course. You, but you couldn't because I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. Not to get down you, right? And that okay. was it. So anyway, when that, that was all over, anyway, did did that show and. Uh, yeah, it was it was it was it was a good reaction afterwards, right? It was still, you got a good. You're still a messer, like you're still a messer, like you still had that reputation as a messer. But well, you I got feel a like good, public perception was changed a little bit better, a lot better. I mean, people ha- look. I used to tell people this easy. Nine times out of ten, people hated me before, and then off off California, and yeah. then nine times out of ten, people actually liked me from Big Brother. But yeah. you know, it, look, it was kind of a bit of perception better than that. So after that, then I was had. I mean, no joke, no exaggeration. I heard a few people saying I got this offer and that offer and the other offer. You don't get offers. You have to put your name in. It's, uh, if you, unless you have an agent. Your agent does all for you. And one of them, there was talks of me going into the jungle. And oh, we said no. Biggest regret? Uh, no. I, I, I'm, is, is it because of the whole hoi thing? Are you scared uh, of spoilers? No, uh, it, was, it was all of that. And it was basically, I decided, I just said to myself, man, do you know what? Look, I need to quit. I'm at the finishing college now. I'm uh, I'm going to go to America. I'm going to start a new life. I I think I've I think I've reset myself now. You know, people are actually liked me a bit better now from the, all the other stupid stuff. I've st- stopped stripping. I all that stuff was done, and I was I, f- I finished stripping then. That's when I quit stripping then. I was like, okay, I quit stripping before I went to America, and then that was it. I never did it again. And I said I'm really good friends and in touch with them, and you know. You always get an offer to, like, oh, we're going to do this charity show. Do you want to do it? And I'm just like, no, look, I have a girlfriend now. She wouldn't like me doing all that stuff again. I'm just, I'm just man, I, I know it sounds mad, but Respectful. you don't think... Respectful. You've grown up, Mark. I know. You know see, I mean? see that? I don't like saying that because everyone says you've grown up, but you don't think you're growing up, but you do. You look at things differently when you get older. You look kind of 100%. Go, oh, what am I, doing? I wouldn't even know what to do now. I did that for 10 years. I mean, I think, I think I've done... I'm maybe... sure Charlotte gets a few private sessions, does she? Oh, of course she does, yeah. <laughs> 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 Still kept his socks on though. Yeah, uh, kept his socks on. But he, as knee said, pads and boots. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what does. That's all the Charlotte wears. Uh, <laughs> told you, I love that. I put make put them shoulder pads. <laughs> it's like a scary movie, isn't yeah, it? Where yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yes. Uh, Image of Mighty Ducks in that bed. The clown under the bed is the funniest in the whole series. Oh. Which? And the clown trying to claw out then. Yeah. <laughs> That's jazz. Oh, scary movie, man. There's some gems. <laughs> She, really has, she has the uh, the day of the week on her knickers and then yes, <laughs> Monday it's, it's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's I scary, never, you know. I never remember them details in films. But then obviously when someone says that, yeah, yeah. Else. So uh, another thing why I, I quit was I saw the movie The Wrestler with Mickey Rook, right? And right, it man. really put a lot of things in perspective. It's like you know he w- he was famous back in the day and he. He he was he was popular. He was a wrestler. You know, the eighties wrestling was like they were superstars. You know, yeah, uh, yeah exa- exactly. And then it's all kind of you're going to shows and you know they're all kind of slowing down. There's less and less people there. You know, it's not going to pay the bills and you're working in a deli. And I just said to myself, "Fuck, man, it's going to be me." Mark, you're after eating all that up too much, mate. I did. I like since the whole time you've been here. I've I've just heard and it, it's like you're just constantly beating yourself up for what you're doing, mate. A lot of people say it to me, and 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 but it is true. I, I I hate it, but I have never wrote on Instagram. I've never so I don't have Twitter. I don't have any of them TikToks or is it Tick Tick or Tick Tick Tock Tick Tock Tick Tock. On your age now, mate. What age? Oh, you? Fuck off. <laughs> I don't have Snapchat. I don't have Ant. I have a Facebook. It's a private private Facebook that I've won. By the way, and if, I'm, if if you're following someone and you d- have never actually met me, you're not following me. It, mm. it, it's about there's loads of them. There's pages there that have like I don't like thirty thousand followers, some forty thousand followers, and I'm going. I don't know who this person is. Yeah. This is not me. And that they take stuff off my Instagram, like snap snap it, and they put it as a post. And I'm like going. So it looks oh, like man, yeah, what's yeah. wrong with you people? There's something yeah. wrong with you. Just, I can't, Fucking years later, that's like, weird. Like, yeah. but anyway, I only have you don't. So no one really, unless unless you're my actual friend or I know you, and you're on a Facebook and it's and. It's not me, you know. I mean, that's it. I have Instagram, and that's I had a private until I did pre till recently, where I did the new show, which was the Hell Week. Yeah. Um. So as I said, I quit everything, and I was kind of got away from it. Um. It's actually funny though. Me and Charlotte met. So there is some good things about the uh, California. I met Charlotte at a gig in two thousand and thirteen or two thousand and twelve in the Sin Bin. Um. What you What are you reading there? What's he reading there? So I'm thirty six years of old. Who told you that? 
Wikipedia. Nah, didn't your one have one of them as well, didn't she? <laughs> she said that, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> We're just sitting here. <laughs> Mark O'Neill, age. Mark O'Neill, I've done that a few hours age. ago, but I'm not a prick. Yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> thanks, mate. That's why I liked you more. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did that hours ago. I just don't sound. I want, I want another cup of tea now for that. <laughs> I'll make it one um, after. Right, so we did, what was I going to say? So I met Charlotte at a California gig in Limerick, right? Me and Cormac went down and I mean, man. So you know Charlotte a long time, like. Yeah, it's weird. So Charlotte's been dancing for years. Like, uh, like she's, I mean, she's just the best. She's such a nice person. Da- dancing? She, she was she's a, a, she's a uh, I was about to say, what's the best? She, she's a Irish dancer. She's like river dancing. All this. She's, gonna, she's gonna butcher me for saying this. Right? I don't know what the name of her groups is. She was with the Celtic Knights when I met her first, but she was with loads of different groups. Now, I don't know the names of them. Yeah. So Charlotte, stop giving out. Um, she gave out to me for saying that before. She goes, I wasn't with them in years. I said, Look, okay, she did loads, but and like she was proper touring. She was doing like like cruises. She like she's Deadly. been she's been in every corner of the world, all paid for and doing shows and doing dancing and doing the whole lot. And she ends up with Mark. I was in a beta man. I was in a beta walking down the West End, and she's totally not into that scene. And she walks up a beat it while I'm kind of floating down. And she walked, didn't even know where I was. And she comes running up to me. I think I'm seeing something. Like, oh, that's not Charlotte. Oh, no, I'm doing Irish dancing in the hotel down the road. Who comes to a beat to watch Irish dancing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? But that, she's done that. Like, she's been in Florida at Disneyland walking there. You know, I've heard of them going on the cruises and all. Yeah, yeah, she does the cruises, right? So. Uh, we we were all, like you know we hooked up a couple of times and like we we're we just weren't it wasn't like we were fucking just meeting up and doing whatever we 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 meet up even sometimes not even romantically like sometimes we we were meeting up just as friends because I, I, or I was seeing someone or you know or or we were just like uh, um so she'd meet me when she was in Dublin I'm I'm flying out tomorrow I'm uh, I'm joining me up and I said yeah yeah we go for food meal I've met some of our family the whole lot. and it really wasn't like uh, and we were just really kind of just be kind of pen pals or friends really we just always mm. talk she'd ring me if she having an issue or something like that and I'd sometimes some, someone to talk to and it was just we always kind of kept in touch and it was nothing as I said romantically at all so the way I, the way I like I'm that's what I'm trying to say kind like, of she be a boy that you go to and talk to her about no, relationship no, you built no. like that you've been in with like we were just friends and it wasn't even that we were really close friends we just hadn't like odd time she called me up and we talk hadn't talked to her in six months and we talked then just when you when you did talk it was like he's never stopped yeah exactly yeah and then um she was in america when i was over there she came over to see me and she flew up she was doing a show d- down the road and i was like what the, you were everywhere she'd been like taiwan the whole lot so when when all this covid thing happened she um did you only get where at the start of covid yeah yeah so last oh, september really? last september she um she was supposed to go now she's going to kill me for this too she was flying I think it was I think it was somewhere in China or some, one of them places it was, it was somewhere in Asia anyway China or she got mad at me for like, getting the difference between what's the other one China and there's another one Japan no the other one South Korea Taiwan, Taiwan. 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 Right. she gave out to me for not knowing the difference and I was like it's China <laughs> yeah, <laughs> China is China yeah, China everything's Japan made there China. everything's China. made there ah, east of Dublin is China yeah yeah exactly <laughs> east of Dublin China <laughs> Right, so she was supposed to go there, and then while she while she's up in Dublin, she's come up from Mayo, she's up in Dublin, and she's ready to go on the flight, and it got cancelled due to COVID, and she's like, "Oh, Mark, I'm I'm st- I'm stranded. Is a uh, any chance you can pick me up?" I said, "Yeah, no worries. Look, you can crash at mine if you want. Just crash at mine." <laughs> this is like the start of a you. Everybody <laughs> gonna business. get blocked tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came yeah, in, yeah. it was just candles and rain on the window. Oh, the best thirty <laughs> seconds of our life. <laughs> anyway. Uh, no, she 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 actually we didn't even do that. No, no, actually that was it. She came up and we kind of was and we kind of end up start kind of meeting up more, going on adventures and doing stuff like like climbing, hikes, stuff like that. Always we just planned something. We're going everywhere in the sea. You never st- even now you still don't sit easy. Yeah, yeah, we don't. And we love I love the fact that man she's 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 a great young one. She's she's mad as a brush and uh, but she just she's just great. You know what I mean? And, and when you find someone that you really care like that and, that, and that's that's the thing. You know she's my. We both look each like each other as well. Image, so, image. We have that. You know, there's a there's a siblings are dating um thing on Instagram. Siblings are dating. I said this to somebody the other day, and they said to me, siblings date. Siblings dating. are dating. Yeah, that's siblings, what I really thought you said. Siblings, yeah, he said it. Siblings are dating. So basically, you've got to guess. It's on the Instagram. If you ever watch them, right, they put right, up right. and they they have us actually on the open. No. Are, are you siblings? Or are you dating? You know? Right, that's right, great. right. Um, but she's great. As I said, she's great. So then. We were training then, um, just doing the home workouts with Kev Claxon. He's like uh, my trainer. Like so, Kev, 
Kev was training me. I oh, yeah, so Kev, I I wrote up on Instagram saying, "Does anyone have like, look at him? I I just do not have a good imagination when it comes to working out or 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 art stuff or or planning. You know, I just don't I just don't have it. If you tell me to do, if you write a list out and tell me to do, it, I'll do yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, so he I was thinking about how do you get workouts? Like how do you get things to train or like makeshift stuff because all the gyms had closed. Yeah. I remember you doing stuff out in the out streets. In the back garden, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started doing that, and Kev was kept doing me my workouts. I got into a bit of CrossFit and trying to do all that stuff. And then I got reached out to by, um, there was that show, actually, I got reached out at the very start, sorry, of a show called, I called it the Bottom of the Barrel Show, Was uh, and they reached me, and and I uh, what was it called? Like, Eat with the Enemy, right? Sorry, guys, that was the worst show in my life. Um, <laughs> that, no, Who they, was they, on that? Do, yeah, someone exactly. Someone was on it. No, someone was on. Uh, everybody, everybody, uh, everybody. Half everybody your, was on it. Half your people was that were on this show uh, were, were on that. Who <laughs> else? Who else? Um, was it Alan McGarry? Him. Alan McGarry was on. I think was he was on it. Yeah, I haven't watched. I haven't watched. I, 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 I don't even know where to watch it. I actually tried to watch I it. I don't think Alan McGarry was on. Was that I think he was. What even is it? Might be wrong, but yeah, I feel know. like he was. So, wait, so, you, so here's the thing. Was. So, so now that I've kind of I've walked away from it all, as I said, half yeah. your guests were on it. Yeah, half your guests were on it. Yeah, <laughs> two. Yeah, it's yeah, big yeah. bottom feeders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bottom feeders. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. That was what he thinks. Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably on it as well. Uh, Shout out to the Eastwood. Eastwood, that's you, mate. You're a legend. <laughs> I swear to God, I just love how he did. And that guy listening to his podcast had me just. I, do you know what? I just kept laughing and and yeah. actually honestly out loud laughing. When you knew him about him before he got here. Yeah, same. Uh, Martin is a legend. I love Martin. He's deadly. As soon as I met him, we fucking clicked. You know, man. Yeah. He's just a genuine bloke. Like, yeah. You know, man. <laughs> He's gas, but I kept kept getting all these messages, like, and it was kind of like an influx. Like, you, you get them the odd time of, do you want to be on this show, like, first dates and all them other, like, look, they're just little small shitty shows, you know? Yeah. Like, and they be asking me, do I want to be on this one? And I'm like, no, nah, not for me, not for oh, me. Oh, whoa, 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 P- P- plug in your headphones there for a second, will you? Sorry. Just yeah, you plug in your headphones. We have s- someone on the. How did that up there? How did that? That did that. Put your headphones on there. <laughs> Hello, who's this? <laughs> Fuck you, Natasha! Hey! <laughs> Marky, what's the story, baby? What's happened, brother? That's the story, baby. Oh, I'm dead. Hold on, hold on. Give me one second there, Martin. Now we are showing your edge. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my ears, man. What a cameo. Oh, what a cameo. Go. Go. When I, when I grow up, I want to be just like you. <laughs> You're a funny <laughs> <laughs> Natasha. Bad fucking love it, brother. Natasha. <laughs> Natasha. You know what? And you can't <laughs> sue me because I didn't say your last name. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> fucking love it. You know, sort of lad. Yes, I had that chair to be up tonight. I've had a fucking rough day, but this project. <laughs> Has brought me back. I swear oh, to God, Mark, right here in your story. Oh, you too, it's mate. Class. Yeah, yeah. I tell you, you're my favourite guest on this. I actually said it to him there before. That's why I, th- that's why I said I had to mention you on this. Like, I've listened to you there recently, and I just start, like, I've already listened to the podcast already, as I was saying, and I wouldn't usually listen to it a second time. So this time I, uh, I just had to pull up and I just kept breaking me bollish laughing. Like, you're like, you know, I drive a nice car, you know, it's, and why is it not a new one? <laughs> 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 oh, and then, yeah, I, I might be able to get my new boobs and all. You can pay for them. You can get me out here. But I've had me fair share. Yeah. I've had me fair share, de- a fair share of them, but then they realize I'm broke. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I, lo- I look like I'm rich on Instagram, but I haven't a been. <laughs> I'm living well outside my means, and I've been, I look like a tom, and my board's gorgeous. So it's kind of like she's not with me for money because I don't. Ha- oh, actually, yeah, I said it backwards, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna burn yourself here, mate. <laughs> Eject out of that she's, one. Get out of that one. <laughs> she's. I don't. Know, I think she just does charity work. That's it. But anyway, yeah. Uh, Charlotte, love you. Sorry. <laughs> Natasha. Gas. Martin, did you get any Natasha's in Dubai? Oh, here, have you ever heard from her? Did she ever listen to it? No. Did she listen to the podcast, Martin? That you know of? You know, I haven't heard anything from her, but I'd say if she did hear it now, I would have heard from her to listen to that long ago. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) Because I pure slated her, boys. But, like, after seeing, you know, know, how those plastic girls go on, my standards have actually dropped a little. And, you know, I was in the pub, actually. I'm back in Dublin for a few weeks. I was in the pub there a few weeks ago, and I seen this. 
uh, well, what's the politically correct term? An old queer yoke in the corner, right? <laughs> so I went over to her, right? <laughs> I went over to her, boys. I took her by the hand and I ran like a fucking thief in the night. And then when I woke up this morning, I was in the fucking shower and I found a load of spots on me knob. And now I have to go to the clinic in the morning and I'm raging. <laughs> You would have been perfect on uh, Mark's old show, Infectious. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Mark might have a slap you on a new up and coming show. Wow. Oh, oh, man, you're, you're an absolute legend. I say that Mickey I'm, looks like a brunch. I know, pleasure. <laughs> It's yours, Mark. You know, yeah, I'm having a good laugh. Look at the old face. I'll be flat screen in front of me. I'm sorry for the undead here. Oh, stop. Yeah, I think you missed what Mark just said. It was an absolute crack and I'll let him do it again. What did he say? <laughs> brunch. Oh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, he says your flute looks like a brunch. <laughs> <laughs> There's three or four courses on that and a, and a nice side of goose cheese. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, Listen, man, nice talking to you. We'll speak to you soon, brother. Right. See you soon, bud. See you, buddy. <laughs> bye, bye. Pleasure, boys. Great hearing you. Thanks for yeah, so oh, Cheers, boys. boss. Yeah. Oh, that was deadly. <laughs> oh, He's just deadly. Uh, his knob like a brunch. You made a poor fucker. <laughs> anyway, where were we? Where were we? Oh. I don't know, but I'm fucking sweating. <laughs> oh, me too. Fuck me, it's getting his late. His laugh is like... He has a very infectious laugh, doesn't he? He does. He does. I, I had to do it. I had yeah, to do I'm it. That, that's our first time I'm actually using that function. I'm glad you did that. He's deadly. Martin fucked up a bit. He hoided it up before he answered because he's saying... Yeah, you because you didn't do your signal or nothing, bud. You're an absolute sham. I did. It was like yeah, that. You're eating your it's bollocks. It's your first it's time. We're okay. It's first time. Yeah. Yeah. first time. You don't know. Because he's not a mind reader. So, Man uh, fucked up because he's not a mind reader. Yeah, oh, that's that that like you were meant to. So as I said, you, were, you do you get all these shoot offers, right? That, yeah. And I call them shoot offers. I'm sorry if someone else likes the shit, they go ahead. Mm. I was done, and then the I said to me mate Kev uh, Claxon, by the way, I uh, say Kev Mills, my best mate, and he I showed him. I said I'm not getting this yoke, something to do with the army and thing. I didn't even know what SAS thing, nothing. And I sent it to him the the contract or the what they plan on doing. He goes, Mark, have you read that? I was like, no. He goes, mate, honestly, this is, you have to read that. That is brilliant. So I read it up and I was like, oh my God, this actually is good. So I said, right, I'll do it. And then uh, I said, right, I got back to him. I said, I'll do it, blah, blah. And it was supposed to be last September. And then Charlotte then ended up getting pushed to January. Then I broke my hand. Mm -hmm. I broke my rib. Um, and not broke my rib. I cracked my rib and tore me into costles. Um, I like to tell everybody it was because of Charlotte. I spent the night in Horgaff. And uh, the reverse cowgirl, she hates me saying it. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually not what happened. So I tell that to Ryan when I actually I was doing CrossFit and I just did this and I snapped and <clears> I tore something. And then I broke my foot and everything. I was in bits. So I, I, I wrecked myself. And so I, did you delay the show? No, no, the show got delayed. Thank God it got cancelled again. Because of, of COVID. COVID. It's mad though, because I remember when I came on board the podcast, like you had already, you'd already spoke to Mark. Mm. And I remember you saying, it's like, I have something coming up. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? And then yeah. I'll come on. We actually and had it. delayed, didn't Yeah, you? and we actually had a guest on. Did you know was, what it was? Yeah, oh, we yeah. knew. Yeah, one does that laugh. laugh. She, she, she knew. Yeah, yeah she, she got she offered. She name-dropped Rory Stories doing that. Yeah, like, she had yeah. it to you, remember? Because we only done audio. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah no, he yeah, tweaked yeah, it with me. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. aware. And then, obviously, I seen you doing... You were doing the fitness stuff before the show got announced. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, So I, I, I trained for nearly a year for that. And a lot of it was outside backyard stuff from Kev. As a Kev Claxons did all that for me. Mm. And... I mean, honestly, I, I couldn't have been fit. I was too fit for the show, and I know it sounds mad. The hardest part I found about that show was the cold. Yeah. I was no, you could see it. And you, you know what annoys me about that show is mm. that you genuinely can't see how how much pain these are all in. But even with, even like simple things like the cold, like there's nothing worse. Oh man, it's so horrible. Like you have all, all your clothes are wet. You have no dry clothes. Yeah. You're wet all the time. And then the crying babies in the air for how long was I that? I didn't find that hard. I, I found. Really? That was. No, the no, awkward I, positions and all. No, no. I, look, it was uncomfortable. It was horrible. But the babies part, I meant, I didn't think that was hard. I didn't think the baby screaming. I mean, I came, I said to the DSs afterwards, because I'm, I'm an evil fucker, maybe. I said to him, you know what you should have done? Like you should have had like, you know, your shit. Terrible, no one wants you here. Real negative thing, but they said to me that'll probably fuck people up. Like, yeah. 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 The yeah. Show. Yeah. you stated that in the first episode, oh, didn't they? Shit. Where they kind of wanted to mentally break you so to the yeah. point that it's your decision, you're battling yourself, you're yeah, not battling yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, I remember I came on and let's say we went into that. So, anyway, I was training for that, did all that yoke, and the night before we all did the COVID test. No, I didn't know anybody, and 
I, I know it sounds really bad. Is I'm I'm not a big fan of um group sports. I like boxing, fighting, that kind of stuff. I'm I'm you know I'm not really a, a group sports kind of person. I'd like to watch the odd rugby match, but I wouldn't know what happened really, you know. <laughs> so I didn't know who half the people were on the show, and I've heard of Rory's stories. I know he did a few of his little um his clips that he did. I think I've I've, sc- I've scrolled yeah. through them and seen yeah. them, um. But I didn't know who anybody was, and except Derek, I knew Derek, the weatherman. By the way, he's deadly. Derek is man. I tell you, if I went through everybody, let, let's go through number one, right? So number one is Laura. She's a dancer. She is mad. Like, just gas. The amount of facial expressions. She's like, she's just class. Like, she's funny. Then we had Ryan, which is number 18. I'm, I'm, I'm going where they are in the room from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan, number 18, Fair City. By the way, he can dance. Actually, dance, dance. Like, when I say dance, he can moonwalk. He was on mm. Dancing with the Stars, no, wasn't he? he can proper... He is a deadly dancer, and he can do. How you know? We we actually go. Sorry to cut across it. Me and the kids, like yeah. we go to see him panto. every year. In oh the yeah, panto. panto this year. I'm going to. Yeah, this he's year. brilliant. Yeah, yeah. He's does a panto. I, right f- I tried to buy tickets this year, and it wouldn't let me. He's, he's, on, on, he's on. He's on this. He's on this now as well. He's on the. He's on the show in, yeah. the, in, in December. Yeah, on he's coming on. Deadly. Did you hear so? Yeah. Love him. But he, man, how you know if someone's a good actor? They can do a New Zealand accent. That is how you know a good actor. Do a New Zealand accent. Nobody can. Go do it. No, I can't. Try. Connor Miley can. I don't even know how Everyone can do Australian Terrible speak. version of it But I yeah. d- can do Some way that kind of thing Can you do it? No Try I'm, it I'm terrible actually Try it no, man. Dan Go Hooker on, Jay, Do it Dan Hooker um, No I can't <laughs> Like when you wanted to punt has Hasbulli I'll punt him Yeah like that Pant him That's I'll it Pant him, him. That's it, Dan yeah, Hooker, that's, that's the your mark. Dan Hooker. Yeah, that, yeah. So I'm go with that. I wouldn't have a clue. But if you can do, if you can do a New Zealand accent, I, I, I always said you're a good actor. Mm. But he is man. He can do loads of accents. He's deadly. Uh, then there was it was me. I was number two. Then straight across. Then was my oh, we buddy. Ate Dan. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tell you how that happened. Tell you how that happened, right? I ran out. I'm gonna blame Ryan. Ryan, you're getting the blame for this. I ran out with my helmet. Ryan was the one spraying the helmets. <laughs> And I ran out and I went, number two. And Ryan, I wasn't paying attention. Ryan sprayed 18, his own number onto my helmet. And I threw it on my head and ran back out. And then I just, I remember seeing it and didn't cop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, ah, oh, bollocks. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we did. So, yeah, we did. So that, so that was it. So that was it. Well, my buddy then was Annika Police, right? Oh, Anna is, man, she's a rugby, rugby young one. She is just deadly. She's probably one of my favourites on the show. She's just deadly. See, I, I need to see the faces to remember them. I can't remember. So, um, she was number 70, so we're all bullied right. off. Like, yeah, whoever's yeah, yeah. facing you. Yeah. Then there was Eamon um, McGee. I didn't really get to talk to him. He was right next to me and I didn't get to talk to him. I thought he was a mole. Right? Cause I'm mad paro of everything all the time. I am. <laughs> right, right, right. He wouldn't right. talk to us all on the, bo- on the bus and all. Right. It was, just like, it was like, he's a mole. That you thought there was deadly. something extra going on. Him, and he was very quiet. He was a nice fella afterwards. Uh, I've met him, but... I, I just thought there was something up. Oh, who I, I did know was Olima, right? Olima. I'll tell you about Olima in a minute, right? Paul Olima. He oh, I used to follow him. He's funny. Funny as yes. fucker. you will never meet. Like, oh, yeah. He, man. Beast. You can't run up the flight of stairs, though. Hey. <laughs> Which uh, one's he again? The, the big black fella. Don't yeah, worry. I've seen him on a lot of... Uh, he played rugby at these that, Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, everyone that, like, didn't do that. Like, don't get me wrong. I know it's different when you're there, but... Mm. I mean... You're on the show. You literally just have to come on. The least you can do is jump is out of a t- helicopter. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That pissed me off. So I'm not going to lie. I was like, what for? And, and that didn't really set the standards high for the show at the start. I was like, hey, you're fucking winding me up. But then, obviously, as yeah. it went on. Yeah. Then you had, who was next then after him? So that was 17. 16 was Valerie uh, Mulcahy. Man, she had me in bits laughing. I mean, I say in bits laughing. Like, so, so. In every, so being is the she army, the one that kept getting in trouble? Yeah, she's yeah, a heat yeah, seeker. Yeah. Every army, remember saying recruit yeah, friend? Yeah, yeah. She was a heat seeker. So every time they were going to her and she goes, don't eyeball me. <laughs> <laughs> don't eyeball me. And I was yeah. just, so we kept pulling all these mad faces. And that was because I was just turning off. I was like staring at, at spots on the wall. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was doing, right? And she was just, all right, bud. Bud, I'm not your bud. I'm a DS. And he goes, get down, get down, ring that bell. But she kept doing it. Yeah. Like, and we were just like, oh, my God. But she was gas, And then she was answering back once or twice to them as well, which they didn't show. Like, they, like, it was, they could say answering back. She was like, I'm trying. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. You know, and, <laughs> and they were like, who are you talking to? Yeah. You know, and she was just, ah, she was just, man, I tell you, I loved her. She just, she, she brought that comic relief that I needed and her helmet was all like this on her head. So Would you ever get wound up though, Mark? Like, I, I remember I done uh, a couple of weeks in the air car when, yeah. when I was younger and that, that's where it drew the line for me. Some cunt shouting in my face. I'm like, who, you doing shouting at me? I'm right beside you. Ah. I know, <laughs> I know it's all, do you know what I mean? But yeah. it just, I could never take to that. I'm like, Fucking talk to me like you bleed and eat you. That's, ah, it, that's what training's all about. I know, but... Like, especially for the TV show, though. Would you mind just getting 
getting out of the way there. Excuse me. Would you, would you no, but you, like, see all this spitting in your face, world. That no one's spitting so, in here. No, but they're so Jeez, close. What kind of show are you watching? <laughs> spitting no, in your face, you so slip onto something else. They're showing your hub history. I can't, here, even, I can't yeah. even speak yeah. now. Hub but no, they're so close to your face, like shouting at you. Ah, you know yeah, but that's intimidating. That's like that's part of it. That's all. But I find that funny. Like if I was there, I'd just break me bollocks and I'm saying like, and that's why. But that's why you got to stop doing it. See, so in the army, so we didn't have enough time. So when someone fucks up, right, in the army, the way it used to be, and this is why it's kind of, a, you're only looking at a segment. And yeah, no, I know. Like, imagine six months, right? Yeah. And, and we had a guy named Slats in, in Ayers who was also a heat seeker. And Slats would fuck up and let's say he'd do something fucking stupid. They wouldn't just punish sh- Slats. They Everybody, would punish yeah. us. And when I say punish us, not just physically. He's not going home the weekend. Mm. You're gonna, I, I'm going to kill that cunt. If he keeps fucking yeah, up, I'm yeah, going to yeah. kill him. And that's what would happen. You saw it in the movie, uh, pr- um, um, Full Metal Jacket, Private Boyle, Private Boyle. The Bathroom with the Oak. That actually this happened. This is my rifle. That actually yeah, happened. That like happened. It. There was a guy named there, Fat Lawrence. And everyone has a nickname. Gunner Jew, Big Nose, uh, Joey G- Lips. G-String. Uh, G-String. You know, there was a lot of, everyone had Mank if you didn't wash yourself. And once you got, <laughs> once you got given a name... Did you say so that because of what I said earlier? Yeah, ball ahead. <laughs> yeah, you would be the man. Ball ahead, yeah. be your man. Ball ahead, ball ahead. Now, one of them was a good ball ahead. Ball ahead was brilliant, man. I tell you, I, well, I look back at some of the funny things back in the army. Ball ahead, one time he was. Uh, we the reason why they called him ball ahead, right? He's just, he's just shoot for fucker. He does his stupid <laughs> things, you know. And one day they were all shouting at him, and he's like, uh, "I don't know." And he goes, "What are you doing, scratching your helmet?" <laughs> 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 right, oh, it was no. just man. It was just it was just, no. It was just it was so good. Like it, it but that, it never got to that point. So when people were fucking up or doing, being a heat seeker, they weren't really that bad. They were just taking the heat off us. Mm-hmm. But it, we weren't in there long enough for that to impact us. Where if she kept fucking up, we would have got punished. Do you know what I mean? Right. It, it wasn't long enough. Um, but she was just brilliant, man. She actually did make it make it great. Then there was uh, then there was Barry um, Barry from Hermitage Green. He's a, a singer, Barry. Man, I have to say this to you, right? I, do you know when you just gravitate toward people? Like, I've met loads of celebrities, let's say proper celebrities over the years, yeah. right? And most of them are just normal. There, there was no, there was no vibe. You know when Charlie Murphy met Rick James and he saw the aura? Rick James, bitch. He saw the aura. Rick, I'm James. Rick James, bitch. <laughs> right? And he goes, unity. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I remember when I saw Barry on stage for the first time in Cork. And I already, already knew there was something about him. I just gravitate. I just love being around this guy. And then I saw him on stage, and I'm dead serious, man. I saw Nora. I saw him, and he's playing, and he's and he's loving it. Like you can see how much he loved the music, yeah. and he's doing all this stuff. And I was just like, it was pour his love, and yeah. the band's love was pouring out onto me. And I was just like, got to give, got to give. I just kept singing. I was just, I was, yes, this is great. And uh, on the show, man, he was like a priest, man. He, he just, you just wanted to tell him all your secrets, like you know, very. I'm having a bad day, yeah, man. Hey. You get people <laughs> like that though that yeah. are just meant to be celebrities. Like imagine yeah. Russell Brand walking exactly. super value. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like exactly. it's fucking weird. He was he's meant to be a celebrity. He has yeah. to be famous. Yeah, he, he has to be. Uh, then there was da- let's get me on to the other person then would be Darren Darren O'Sullivan Darren O'Sullivan he's probably my favourite off the show. He really is. He's the, he's from John Kerry. Again. Yeah, the Kerry footballer. Oh yeah, 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 man! I'd ring. I just, I just wanted. I just ring him just to talk to him. Like I just love just listen to him. Like he's just <laughs> such a nice, nice person. And again, he had that. He is just a class act. He's just such a great guy, and we're similar age. And he would be what he, age is that? Uh, old enough to lie about it. Anyway, he would uh, he would turn around. You fucking found out now, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but he would turn around. And That's he confirmation. Would, he'd be, he'd, yeah. he'd, he'd, <laughs> I was just thinking uh, that. <laughs> I was doubting it because yeah. he said that. Yeah. But he was chatting away to me, like you know, me and him be like, oh, was L books have to stick together, you know? And he was yeah. kind of like me, mate. Like is L books. Like, That's what he was doing, and he's just such a cool guy. Um, the too old to die young crew yeah exactly yeah <laughs> and then you had Rory then Rory was just man he was like was it alright for him to go on that show oh, man, was he, he was so emotional like yeah. times when he wasn't even like oh, I'm off for what he's doing mm. but times when like they'd ask him a question or something he'd just bring mental health into it without it even being relevant if uh, you know what I mean see, yeah see I, 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 I don't know like I mean like for a long time, I said to you, I hated myself. I, like, and I genuinely did. Not just because people, people, that, people. In my opinion, and again, I think people that say, "I'm suffering, I'm suffering, I'm suffering," and calling out, calling out, they're usually the ones that aren't at risk at all. You know, stuff yeah. like that. It's the people like, you know, why aren't saying anything? Stuff that went through my head when I was younger. Over, oh man, I thought I ruined my life in California. I thought I'm fucked. I'm never gonna be amount to anything. I'm never gonna do. It. Man, I've 
fucking hated myself for so long. And and, I'm, and you said earlier on, I'm kind of I'm always putting myself down. Kind of, I don't mean it like that. It's that, you know, I I, I really am and proud of doing the, the stupid shit that I did. But look, I had a good time. Good came from it. Bad came from it. A lot more bad, whatever. But when I looked at, listened to Rory, and I even said this to him, man, I actually, it was really nice to see a big, burly lad mm. saying, this shit's going on in my mind, you know, I'm going through this, I'm going through that, and for him to say that, I was like, oh, you're not supposed to do that, like, I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of old school, really, where it comes to, a man's supposed to be a man, I know people say it's, you know, it's okay, okay. Not to be okay, it's yeah. okay to not be okay, it's okay not cr- to be crying, I didn't really have that kind of, like, my granddad was kind of like, you know, my father figure. And being and, in the army would have an impact yeah, on that. Yeah, a little bit, like, it would be, and i just never been that kind of, and it was nice just to see him do that. And you know what man he mm. is? He's a gentleman. He's a lovely, lovely guy. And uh, He done well as well, I thought. Oh, yeah, he did. Like, yeah. Considering the size and the weight, and he, he wasn't like the fittest, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I thought he'd done very well. He I thought he carried he himself. And I was snapping that he had to kind of, like n- nearly on the show, we kind of said like, oh, well, if you tell me I'm going, I wish he had to just told him and, yeah. and not show that other part because yeah. he, he done himself very proud, I thought, you know? Yeah, I think, and obviously I think because knew. of the demons I, in his I, head I, Yeah, well. I think he knew, I think he knew. Knew that okay, he, he, he thought he was gonna go earlier, and then he, he yeah, he, he did, surprised the fit, himself. The fitness part was was destroying him like a little bit, like but he, man, but he kept up, like he kept up with everybody, and him yeah. being a big guy as well is a lot. That's what I'm saying. Him. That's mm. what I'm saying. Um, Even I remember, <clears throat> did, did he get dropped off and struggled to climb back up the mountain? Then yeah, there's a couple of a couple of the events he found a little bit difficult. Yeah, but, but man, he, he got it in the end. He got this and is done the thing. Them, he did them, and he can't take that away. Yeah. No. Um, but even even the like this is another thing. The climbing up the side of the boat. Looks so simple on telly. That is so fucking hard to do. Do you ever try climbing yeah, if you're, up them if ladders? You're, if, you're, if you're a heavier God, guy, yeah. I'm, I'm 80 kilos, man. I'm 81 kilos all the way. I mean, I was fucking, I was climbing that like it was... Yeah, but for Rory, tomorrow. I'm saying... Rory, like, yeah, if you yeah. told me to put... Like, let's say Rory's 110 kilos. That's an yeah. extra 30 kilo backpack on my back. Yeah. Imagine having to do that. That you wouldn't. I have that. I couldn't do all that shit. You'd yeah. fair play to him. Yeah. Then there's Neve. Neve is number 11. She's a... Uh, man, I'm telling you now, that girl... Vo- if, if Cam had a voice, that's what she's... Hey, everybody. Yeah, yeah. So, you can tell even off on Instagram. I'm yeah. just going to do a little meditation here. The DSs have left us alone for five minutes. And everyone breathe. And he was going, oh. Right, and that's what you did. And I just, she was just, I just want to listen to her voice. I, I, I told her, you know what she needs to do? Self-help tapes. When you're going to bed, now breathe. ASMR. Yeah. YouTube great. meditation, man. Can you now? Yeah, she does like have the voice for it in fairness. I was very perfect. disappointed how she ended it as well. Oh, they got her. They done her. They done her, didn't they? They yeah. done her in. They done, yeah. her, they done yeah. her in. They did. I have to say, that's the last part of it. Like, you know, we no, none of us knew what was happening. So when people She's actually there, supposed to be coming on as well. Is she? Yeah. I like her. She'd be cool. Yeah, she'd be great to have on. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to get the whole cast of Ultimate Hell. Why don't you? Yeah, I think you should. Take their, all their perspective because I've got a different perspective than them. And, you know. They all have different stories. I they think. all went on for a different reason. Um, it's the same thing. Uh, then there's Sharpie. See Sharpie, man. He is the funniest guy ever. Sharpie, we didn't didn't get to see enough of him. And that was number eleven. Mm. Uh, my he is the funniest bloke ever. Like like like, and he can do. He's just he's just so witty and so. Sharpie, off what the cuff. did he did he develop John, the glasses? John Sharpie, number he was number ten. What do he look like? Skinny beard. Does the uh, does the d- d- um. The kids' junior teacher on Moon Tour. Oh yeah, 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 yeah him. Yeah, yeah. He was just ah, uh, he's man. I actually talked to him a lot. He's, he's actually such a really cool guy. You know what I mean? Like, and that's what I'm saying. For the first time, I've done a show where I actually like every single person. Yeah, There's not yeah. one person that th- 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 that's what one of the questions I had for you. Like, it's like you yeah. all became a little family. Obviously, we've been keeping contact since you arranged to come on the show. When I've seen your stories, you had them all in the gaff and all. Yeah, yeah, You've yeah. watched the last show together, yeah, and it's yeah. it's deadly to see that. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. With see the way you're like saying, "No, I'm finished now." And look, you see him setting your ways about that. But there's reasons not to finish. You know what I mean? You you like even even doing a podcast like this, you don't normally do these podcasts, right? I won't be doing it anymore um, either. This is it. Yeah, yeah but like, per- like this is closure for you. This, this, yeah, this is for closure. This is it. But see with TV personally, look, I know as well. Like the three of us say the same. I'd love to see it on TV again. But like, obviously, what would I gain from it? Hopefully, for money. Hopefully yeah. 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 Do you know what yeah. I mean? Because you so, have a personality. So there you go. Don't that will be that would like, probably be the only. Uh, like motivation. motivation. If I now, I mean, I'm not talking about fucking five grand or two grand. Fuck me. I mean, and the big books now I mean, after that. No, no, no. If I was, if I was look, I'm happy. I would have done. I would have done. Uh, well, actually, we didn't even get um, for for hell week. I think we got like a, uh, enough to cover like uh, the, the week of m- missing work, something like that. Really? Well, it's for, off a charity. Oh yeah, that's right. So yeah, we got sorry. off a charity. Yeah. But 
I mean, what was your charity again? Uh, I did a wear Ireland for depression. Right. So um, it was that or Peter House. And I do a lot of work for your house already. And I said, look, do you know what? I'll, I'll do a little bit for uh, depression. And it was just one that I kind of, you know, throughout COVID and all that, a lot of us have been aware, like showing about mm. mental health, all these whole thing. You know, everyone's kind of really aware of it now. And I think it's a good thing that we're all doing it. But then again, I do think some people are fucking taking a piss. Like, you know, agree, everything's agree. fucking, agree. everything's mental health. You know, and, and that's kind of... bad day anymore. And, and, I, and I hate that, that because... My yeah, that I hate that. Opinion. I hate that because... People that are suffering, yeah, it takes away from it. It takes away. Mm -hmm. It's like people saying OCD. You're not fucking OCD. You just put your stuff away. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like I hate when people say that shit. And it's yeah. it's everyone. Everyone's oh, I'm OCD. Or I'm this. I'm this. Everyone. So I sound really kind of morbid. Oh, not morbid. Arsh. But uh, what's the word? Uh, no, um, there's a word here for it as well. S sinister. Cynical. Cyn cynical. That's the word. Thank you. Well, my man. I told you. Man, he's good, he's good. You like did. Man. You called it early I on. Called it. He's if good. If it wasn't for him, we'd be fucked. Yeah. So I feel very cynical because I think everybody said, why can't everyone, like everyone has to have a label. I am this, yeah. I have that, I've got this wrong with me, I've got that wrong with me, I've got this, oh, I'm di I've got, uh, you know, and it's kind of, look, everyone wants to be, everyone wants to be unique. So w whether they want that to be unique in, um, in a positive way or, oh, the reason why I can't do that is because I've got this wrong with me. And it's kind of, I think. It Safety not of an excuse. Exactly. You know, like, as I said to you before, when I was younger, I thought I was the only one who had problems. And then I, then I saw other people's problems and I went, are you for fucking real? My problems are not that bad. For I remember years ago going by the All Hallows uh, School for the Blind and I was having a really bad day. When I say a bad day, think of it, look, you're, you're in the car and I think I broke up my ex girl at the time. I was, I was in traffic. Traffic was probably the worst part. Yeah. Um, I was <laughs> on the comfort of traffic oh as well. Stuck, Sorry, yeah, I hate stuck it. on that and the, and stuck on the, on the Richmond, uh, Richmond Road and I'm just like, oh, and I saw three blind people walking out the canes and I went holy moly I says, I says I says wait my bad life's not that bad what are you moaning for so I always do it with Charlotte because Charlotte as well she's always wrecking me head giving out about stuff and I, I always say to her Charlotte look where we live and every time I said look where we li stop look out look uh, we've got big our whole apartment is like looking over looking over the city like and we've got the Kings Park behind us and you can see all the whole side of our wall is glass and, and it just looks gorgeous when you can see like the skylight and everything and all you don't even have to do anything because it's all glass the walls are all Amazing. glass it's just like you just look over and go look where we live do you ever talk beside the glass sometimes sometimes we have a little bit of wine on the balcony you know we have our, our every Sunday we have our, our we have our pancakes, our protein pancakes. Mm -hmm. you know what? I'll tell you what, she looks after. Huh? She looks the after. I fantastic. make the pancakes. I know the pancakes on Sundays. You're the pancake man. I'm the pancake man. That's what she's I'm the breakfast. Do you know what, man? There's two things I do, and, and if all the guys out there are listening as well, I it only <laughs> it only costs you a tenner every two weeks, and I'll keep your board happy, and she can never ever ever give out about you. Buy her flowers every two weeks. I buy flowers. I always buy them flowers. Yeah. Every two weeks I buy her flowers, and I put them on the ta on the table, and a way to keep the flowers a little bit longer. Is after a couple of days, pour the water out. Obviously, clean your vase. Throw some water in again. Throw some sugar in, and so you get glucose for your shower, for your flowers. Your, and then your, your, your Science flowers. Science, your flowers. that's all I was yeah. going to say. Flowers, yeah. Your flowers will last it's a little a longer. Pack. So then there's who else we got next? Then so I'm just trying to go around the room. <laughs> yeah. So you, oh, Nev, <laughs> Nev Cullum was last. Nev was last. Yeah. She's like, d d d if Cam had, if Cam had yeah. a voice, right? Very good looking girl as well. Yeah, she's lovely. Yeah, she, yeah. Yeah, she looks like Cara Delevingne a little bit. I don't know who that is. Oh, you yeah. wouldn't know, are you? No. You definitely wouldn't. I probably know what to say. Yeah, I'm like, used to it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she looks like Coralie, but she, she, she's lovely, but she's a lovely person as well. Yeah. Um, as I said, they're all lovely on it. I'm just trying to think of us. Then it's Derek. Derek, man, man he's, he's me boy. I he's really a mad bastard. <laughs> he is just mad. He's He swims every morning in the sea. Every morning in the sea. He does the, he's, he does his, he's up, up at the crack of dawn and... He's just a lovely person, you know, you know, He he. I I remember me and him were on Century one day, and we know, we know the same friends and the same group of friends, and you know, one of my best mates. He know he he would know personally, and he's a. We were just chatting around Century, and I remember we were just talking away, and he goes, "Mark, why are you walking around with your eyes closed?" And I was like, "Because once I open them and the light hits my eyes, rhodopsin is gonna turn on. That's what makes you wake up. Light white light hits your eye, your your brain." Creates rhodopsin and it wakes you wake up. Mm -hmm. And I says, when I after this twenty minute walk or half an hour walk around of of century, I plan on just closing my eyes and go boom off again and and get as much sleep as I can because you're only sleeping for an hour a night nearly most nights. Um, that's or, crazy. Or yeah, fuck that. How many? How many? How, many um, how long was that? Boy, uh, there six week, weeks. Week, oh, week. 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 Yeah, it was. It was only on for a week, but it was shown every yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. for six weeks. Yeah. But then, uh, then there was man. 
I just wish Paula Lima stayed in it longer. Paula Lima from start to finish had me in stitches. Like, yeah. like he goes, he goes. So what are we packing? Anyone know? Anyone? And then he's like, and he just didn't give a fuck. And he's just, uh, he's just brilliant. He, 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 he. Brought his bleeding is. What was the joke that I forgot in the first episode? When he had the army crawl. Oh, is is, is rifle? Oh, bar. Well, yeah, it's supposed bar, to be rifle. Oh man, my deadlifting. Mate, I saw him lifting something 300 and something. Was it 350? Is it? I saw him a, doing a few years ago. I used to follow him on Instagram and he was flat out deadlifting, but he's an absolute monster. Oh, he's bro. a monster, yeah, he's a monster. But it, it's them stairs, lads. Funny, he's a nice fella. Them stairs, oh, my God. Yeah. and that's where you had to go to the toilet. There was other stairs to go forward or up again. If you, so I just peed myself most of the time. Is it? I was wet. Right, anyway, I'm wet. I'm soaking. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I'm so warm on the leg. Keep myself warm. I'm soaking all the time. So I said, ah, fuck it. And, and it's no mad. Right? Thinking back, maybe I blacked out a lot of things. I don't remember going to the number two once. Probably yeah. free, I just stopped at Well, we only had a scoop of porridge in the morning. That was your, that was your breakfast. Was your carbs for the day? That was it. They starved us, like, and they did it on purpose. They said it to us, like, they dropped the calories down so low. Like, I think it was, like, 1,200 calories. So you had to be, like, on top shape going in there. You well conditioned, like. Yeah. Well, you can't, you're, you're not just sitting very weird down, Mike. That's the story with that. Well, it's just a comfort thing, yeah. you know? Oh, is he? Yeah, because yeah. both did it. I was like, that's freaking me out a little bit. Sorry, <laughs> man, you know? Join the group. Welcome to this portion of the podcast. Yeah. We'll you be getting comfortable. Oh, Join. yeah. We're nearly Join at the four-hour mark. Um, <laughs> so... Was it? Yeah, so well, who else was next then? I'm just trying to think who else was next after that. Was that Steph Roach on that? Stephanie, sorry, thank God. Yeah, Stephanie yeah, Roach, yeah. the footballer? Man, yeah, yeah. You know she what? was on it, I have yeah. to say, Stephanie is probably one of the nicest people I have ever, ever met. She's Legend, just a yeah. lovely, lovely person. Some baller. Even on the show. She only slaughtered Hardy Maguire today. She, she, she had, had push yeah, she had the same, same, same issue I had with the cold. She was the same thing. That yeah. would be bad with that as well. And brutal, yeah. uh, it was, man, it, we were both rattling. I remember looking at her, yeah. both, like this rattling, looking at each other. And she was, she's a trooper, man. She is just amazing. Like, I actually really like. I she, actually, she, she fell at the hill, didn't she? The hill walk. That would have got her, yeah. It was yeah. just a lot, it's a lot of weight. Then there was Melanie. Oh my Hero. God, Melanie. Hero. Man, that girl. I, I, she's probably, you're probably going to get her on because I think yeah, you, you yeah, need to yeah. get her on, right? I remember having a piss, right? Because we got a second, and basically, the one time you're in dry clothes, I'm not pissing myself. <laughs> yeah. So I'm off the bus and I'm having a piss, right? And I'm going to the toilet, and I literally turn around, she's taking a shite beside me. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Like, like, did you, like, she not mind just saying that now? Drop trail, <laughs> boom, gone. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but I think she was shite, and it kind of was like, it was just the way Definitely she. Definitely done it before, as you done the back she, way. The way yeah. she did, it was the way she kind of just went down right beside me. I was going, but that's the only time you had to go to the toilet, you know? Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, she doesn't care, but man, she. Huge respect. She, look, at, I have nothing but respect for her, and she, she is super woman. She's getting rid of the extra weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> but man, she was just man. I tell you honestly, she was such an inspiration. The fact is that she was an Olympian, and she didn't. She had her medals and all because her last swim wasn't a great swim, and she yeah. got a lot of shit for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a sh- lot of shit, but she just wasn't proud of herself yeah. for how she performed. She beat herself uh, up. She did. She beat herself up. And one of the things she said on the show was it was because she rather break her arm or leg so you could physically see what was wrong with her. She yeah, yeah, yeah. had something wrong with her stomach. And she just wasn't made to sleep or perform really bad. And she just didn't really, not really bad, but she didn't do what she was able to do. And she beat herself up a lot for it. But she said after doing Hell Week, she took her medals down and her flag and the torch that she had up in the attic, she took it down mm. for the first time ever. Took it down because she just felt as though she had accomplished something that she's proud and of. And again, again, I was so disappointed. She d- she finished that. I don't care what anyone yeah, says. Yeah, same. She, she finished it. it. She did it. Yeah. But you got to remember that last part was 12 hours of yeah. kneeling down. Okay, but what, she, she fucking, a- she answered wrong. Fuck off. No, she just told him the whole mission. <laughs> yeah. But did, like, did she do it on purpose? I think she, I don't know. You'll have to ask her. Because it's like she did. I think she just, I think, and, and I, I hope she doesn't get annoyed at me. I just think she had enough. Yeah. Just like a real, look, I just want to go home. Mm, look, this yeah. is what the message is. I'm done. I, I don't know. I, if she knew how close she was to the end, she wouldn't have done it. If she that is the case. She still had six hours left. Yeah, but yeah, six like, hours after doing all that. Yeah, she did. Look, at, she got, no, I know she, you could. she got part past, the, and I mean, all the that. hardest part was that yeah. walk. That final walk was absolutely grueling, right? But she did that, and I mean, I was like, you've done it. And I think I think she just I think that's she just pr- all the that, physical. That parts. was enough for her. She like, proved all the physical parts. She yeah. didn't have to prove to anybody else. She yeah. was amazing. Um, I'm just trying to think who was, who else was next and going around the room. Have, have I got hey, Jake. Ja- sorry, I can't believe I skipped Jake. Ah, Jake. Jake was the youngest. He's only 22, 23. Is he that young? He's young for that. Again, I see well, him in the pantos as well. He is like it's where he was thirty something. Like this. Yeah, he's he very mature. On, very mature, lovely bloke. Uh, I had a great crack with him having little chats with him, and he was telling me about his brother. Like I didn't even know his brother was that your man. 
Like yeah, yeah, yeah. He, that's his brother. That's he gets beat up over, yeah. not beat up, but he gets slagged over yeah. all the time. That's his brother. Yeah. He's from Liverpool originally. Isn't he? Yeah, great one. Yeah. Uh, he he's from Liverpool originally, uh, and he actually lives. I think it's Lucan. next door to me, mate. Yeah. He lives in Lucan. Yeah, yeah. He goes out one of the girls off the dancing. Karen, the dance with the stars. Right. Yeah. And then we already spoke with Laura. Who else am I missing? Is anyone I'm missing? Um. Is yeah. To, uh, think. Fucking yeah. Chloe. Is that Chloe now? Chloe? What'd she do? Chloe, but uh, maybe I have her name wrong. Blonde, Coley here. She was out with you last... She wasn't with you last night, but I'm nearly sure she was at the same concert as you last night. Is it Chloe? Who was at the concert last night that done her week? Maybe it was Laura. Laura. Is she blonde here? Short. Um, Long blonde here. Let me see, who else? Find out who else is on the show there. Go to Google here. I just, I hate, sorry that I'm butchering you and I don't No, but come here, you, you, uh, we actually interrupted you when you were talking good about the show, if you want to go back to that. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, no, so we went around all the people there. Anyway, please, get, I'll, I'll make sure I got everybody. I don't want to miss anybody there because every one of them, man, they really all meant a lot to me. Like, I mean, I've done shows in the past and everyone was out for themselves. Mm. Uh, Stringer. Oh my Stringer, God. yeah, Jesus Christ, yeah. Me buddy who, oh, me buddy who carried <laughs> the me. The main man. Me man, oh my God, Strings, I'm so sorry. Right. La- Laura Nolan. Show me Laura. I have her. Yeah, that's who it was. That, I, I was calling her Chloe. Just go through it myself there and see who I missed. Laura what? Nolan. Right. Rick, yeah, go on. Yeah, so Stringer, Man, he's a machine. He's in some nick. Yeah, he's been sent back from the future to save us from Skynet. He started hell. doing all PT show after the yeah. rugby. He has that uh, F forty five, and he's opened up in December. It's like a, a functional forty five train. And he's opened up his own gym. It's a franchise thing. How old is he? Do you know? Forty three. Fucking and animal, isn't he? He's never drank in his life. Never even tasted it. Never. That's crazy, man. But I tell you, he's such a good guy, and I've met his wife, uh, Debs, and do you know what, man? For people that have made it. They're so down to earth, mm. they're so lovely. They're actually just, and she is, she is so witty and lovely. And his family is, just, uh, man. Uh, do you know what? He is a celebrity. Like he, he is him, Barry, Darren, of course, the rest of them as well. But them three stood out to me. That, and of course, Melanie. Melanie to me, I'm like fucking hell. Like she mm. just Wonder Woman. I say it to her all the time, and I, 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 she thinks I'm blowing smoke up her ass. But I'm actually just like blown away the fact she did it. Mm. But Stringer, let me tell you about him. Stringer. We were up that hill. My my leg. I I was why I've torn my my cruise ship before, and I, I was always worried it was going to go on the show at the start or whatever. And thank God it, it didn't go until the second last day. And I was walking along. And how how action, bad was your knee? My knee tore, snapped. Had to surgery and everything. Gonski. Gone, yeah, fuck. So, it uh, popped the first time. Just popped. I was torn. I was like, oh, what's that? How and the fuck did it continue? Uh, how it popped was it bent down to Toy Barry's lace. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh no. No. It was like he alone? No, it looked thought, like no. it got off the back of the truck and it happened. No, it popped. I was like, Jesus! I fell four times. Right. The first one was tying his lace. It popped the first time. Getting off the back of the truck, it popped. And then we were running, and my foot got stuck in the muck, and it popped again. But we we're up at the very, very top. We we're about hundred meters from the top. And I mean, I am suffering. I, I've str- I've strapped my leg with my belt. I strapped my leg because my leg was going like like the knee was. So there's your, so there's the top of your knee. Oh, there's, your, there's your quad. That's your finger, Mark. Yeah, no, it's finger, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's your quad, there's your quad, and there's your, there's your calf, right? My knee was doing this. Right. If I bent my knee, it was pulling away mm. like that. Like, that's my bent leg doing that. So it was all over the place. And I got to the top, and I fell to my knees, and because uh, I tried to fucking, I don't know what I was trying to do, but I fell to my knees, and I couldn't get back up. And Stringer was just up ahead, and nearly at the finish. And we didn't know where the finish line was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm on my knees crawling, because I'm not giving up. I'm just going to keep going. You didn't, why didn't you show that? I know, here, watch this. Stringer came down from the top. And by the way, having to walk back down that hill after doing yeah. that. To go and back walking, ha- walking down is just as hard. Yeah. So he, the quads. he put yeah, me, he put killer. me off the ground. He put me off the ground. Got me onto me onto onto over his, my arm around him and dragged me to the top. And basically said to me, "If you quit, he goes, the whole country's gonna hate you because I'm gonna quit." You know what I mean? I was just like, "Oh shit!" So I had to kind of do it. And I wasn't gonna quit. I just couldn't walk. He was mm. trying to encourage me to go, and I was just like, I was limping. Li- and I mean, I was gone. And then we got to the end. If you watch the actual thing of us again, I'm holding on to him and I'm 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 doing the. The hand and the reeds from Gladiator. I couldn't see a fucking thing. I'm like, Daddy, I'm like, I'm yeah. so fucking gone. I'm I know you're gone at the top. Like hundred percent. I'm, I'm, I'm hol- yeah, I'm holding on to him, like, and he's carrying me over. And I was like, Oh man, we fucking did it. So as I said to you before, on other shows, that was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Um, but, but on other shows, you know, tasks or the end of tasks, they're going to be shown. So I see that camera. We're me and me and Stringer like this, and I see the camera, and I'm like, All right, think of something witty when you get to the top. Think of something when you get to the top, and all I can go is. <laughs> <laughs> right, because 
there's no fake anymore because you you, you don't have any energy left to yeah. 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 anybody yeah. else but yourself. Yeah. And up to that point, like there was a point there with the coal where they made us jump into the well. It's like day, so day one, let's say day one, day one was like the longest day in my whole entire life. We slept 40 minutes and it was just constant go, 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 go. How do you even sleep for 40 minutes? Like if I lie down in, a, in an hey, environment I felt for like the first a blinked. time. I felt like I blinked. Yeah. And then the food, you were starving. I mean, when you say starving. <laughs> I never forget when you robbed all the food and who, who was he as left short? You, oh, no. I was Ryan. Ryan, Ryan, was Ryan yeah. <laughs> you scraped <laughs> leftovers into Ryan's I think Ryan only bowl. found out when he watched the show. <laughs> I'd say he was snapping. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Because we were so hungry. We were so hungry. Um, that was a great idea to knock that over. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, it's only there for sponsorship. <laughs> Here goes that Red Bull sponsor. <laughs> okay, watch this. Watch when it, watch when it falls off. You're going to see it now on this thing. They reach around and grab a can of Bleeding Monster. Here now. Any second now. Any second now. Let's see him. Let's yeah, see. Jay, you look so upset. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what? It's me the eyes. Clearly, as you know, like I'm getting glasses yeah, next yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. The lights born me eyes. I'm just oh, like, wait, 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 my eyes have had it. enough of it. Look at Mark's arms. Look. Oh. That's, I, I tell you. Oh, here we go. Uh, 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 <laughs> of, the ar- of the arms of a single man, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Any of them forearms. That's Belly boxing they're, champion. They're, they're from years of being single. But now, Mark, I have to say, it, it was a great watch. I really enjoyed it. And I thought, like I said to you, privately, I think you are dealt the shit. Shit deck of cards there. I think they wanted to bring out... See, they... they wanted me to bring out what was me inside because I didn't want to talk about my mum I didn't want to talk about and like that. that's why I never cried like a lot of them did I, not not bad but I, I didn't cry I wasn't and that's just me I look I do think I'm a little bit tough like mentally inside and but you know I have my own as, as Rory says my own demons my own things and I think this show saved me and Personally, I if the did you hear show? I was just gonna say that. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> the show saves you. Is the did you hear show? Yeah. Did you? Did, did look at? <laughs> I've reached the top, lads. I'm at the. <laughs> I'm at the top now. You know. No. Who else would book you in and keep you for three and a half hours? <laughs> this is it. Is how long we're here now? Is yeah. it? Give or take you. Yeah, oh it's half ten. Time flies it. when you're having fun. Okay, well, we'll wrap it up soon if you want. Uh, I'm actually getting <laughs> hungry. Two hours. You order food. Yeah. I could. I could. You could order food. Um, <laughs> have you actually? Have you actually eaten on this show before? Yeah, yeah we have. We've well, got we've done pizza for the Conor McGregor for you. McGregor. Sure, that would have been great. I should have done that. I should. I should have told you I wanted that. Uh, well, Martin Eastwood is adamant to get you on together, so we'll oh, make that happen. Please get me on with him. I, 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 that for like. Uh, you know, you like the boxing. We all like the boxing. Like uh, the next age. Do you like boxing? Do you like watching boxing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So how about you watching Gary Gary last night? Uh, who's which one's that one? That's your man. No, he's no, no. MMA. He's your MMA. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no he's talking. No, no, he's talking. He fought with the Bellator with your man. Uh, your man Gallagher was on the other, was on the same card. He's Irish fellow, wasn't no, he? No, you're thinking of Peter Queeley. No, last no, night he fought. Last in the night. UFC. Did he? Fled from Dublin, yeah. yeah. How, how did he do? Some fella I'm like going to show you now. Didn't see him. I saw the highlights. I saw Colby Covington against Ting. I thought Kobe was very close. Yeah. It shouldn't have been, by the way, a, four, a, 40, four, six, a 46 to 49 r- round. Uh, Three rounds. Someone, call, someone called that. It was five rounds, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah, someone called. Make sure there's no audio. Right. No, yeah. no, there's no. It wasn't three rounds and different. Okay, Ting did get the better of him. Is this the counter, right? Yeah. And his. Um, so I'll put it back to the very start. He's only 23 years of age. <laughs> I love the Rick James at the. Oh, not the Rick James. What's it? The, what, what's the name again? Woo! What's Rick Flair. Name? Rick Flair. <laughs> Party boy. Look at that. Woo! If you hadn't have uh, seen the area of previous ways, you could have gone down that whole Rick Flair route. Oh, yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> oh, God. I would have well, been a Mark follower like a Rick Flair one. Yeah, day, yeah, yeah. Kiss stealing, wheeling, dealing. Yeah, I tell you, man, I, I, I loved the Canelo fight last night, and I tell you, it was I so. I didn't see that because I was watching the UFC. Chandler, you know who won then, right? Yeah. Right, Canelo, Canelo knocked him out in the 11th round, which was amazing. The fight was Canelo all day, the, every round. Like, what, man? I'm sick of people. Like, why can't you just be gentlemen? The way, right? I, know, I know they're trying to sell fights. I know they're trying to sell fights, but then he's slagging his man all the whole. Now, that's why I wanted him to get knocked out. I was like, hold on. You're fucking. You don't you don't go up to a bear and rattle his cage like you know. He didn't even slag his man. He called him a motherfucker and Canelo just ran with it. What? I thought you said something. No, he said motherfucker to Canelo. And there's video of Canelo saying that to other fighters. But for Canelo, for some reason, got in his feelings over it and just started running with it, saying you can't say this about my mother and all. What? I didn't know. Jesus Christ! Is he Mexican or 
Like, That'll tell you what. Is it, well, that is, we the, don't the actually listen, head. don't we? Not we actually you can't we just get told what we're, what to do, and that's what it is. We get told something, and or you you overhear someone. Oh yeah, yeah, he slagged his ma. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even actually. I didn't even hear it him slagging so his ma. Because he called him what a fucker or something, and I was like, you can't say that about my mom. And I was like, you didn't say that about your mom. Yeah, 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 princess. Yeah, but I have princess. to say, your man named Plant. Like, oh god, what kind of shit name is that, Plant? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't Brilliant. say it in his face, though, to be honest. No, no hope. Come here, yeah. man. Nice gash that Canelo left on him in the press conference, though. Remember? Oh yeah, yes. And that was only a slap. Yeah. This little fracas ever, wasn't it? It was like, oh, deadly. Little slaps. Yeah, fucking so fast, fast, so fast. Was deadly. Yeah. He was moving before your man even thought about throwing that slap. Yeah, what, what's Crazy. the other one there? Was it one, uh, was it uh, Yama Yunus? What's her name? Yama Yunus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, 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 oh, fucking brilliant for you, wasn't it? I yeah. thought it was great. And then there was one Chandler other fight. Chandler Gaethje. Oh, Chandler Gaethje. Chandler Gaethje. Oh, Unreal. my God. Best fight I've seen in a long time. I was in bed, I seen him on my phone saying, like, Chandler Gaethje, 10 minutes, so I went there. Absolutely amazing. I was falling asleep. And then when I seen the first day, I was like, right, I'm awake. No, yeah. man, they, were just, they, just, they just went and milt each other. That's yeah, it. brilliant fight. Loved it, absolutely, absolutely yeah. loved that it. That was the main event for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, uh, but the Bellator then, the two lads then, they lost their fights, the Irish ones. Gallagher, yeah. Gallagher yeah. and... Yeah. Zombie yeah. again, yeah. though. It's fucking unreal, what an isn't it? What yeah. an it's, do you know but, what? But I think it's the go-to now for too many, I think. I think too many are trying to trying to be Conor McGregor and with the attitudes, the way they're going on. And Do you know yeah. what? Uh, does, it, does, it, does an American rapper... Named Tom McDonald, and he says it yeah. perfectly, right? I Eminem love thing, like I love him. He's so fake he, woke. He, he's just talking about like people are all. I've got bitches and I've got money and I've got this and I've got that. Okay, relax, will you? Fuck off. Like mm. seriously, I'm, I'm like, it, it just it makes you not want to like the fighters anymore. Like I remember, you know, the, the be fighters that you'd love. Like like you look at like let's say the Cinderella man. Um, what's his real name? What's his name again? Come on, help me here. You know, uh, Brannock, uh, James Brannock was his real name. The Cinderella man it, it, years ago was a guy. Back in back in the day, boxing when it was like the whole depression and all in America. Back when you were younger, well, no, back 20s. when I was younger, I don't even <laughs> fucking mean young teens. In the room, <laughs> um, like the stories of, of fighters back then, like you look like Muhammad Ali. Okay, and Muhammad Ali was the first mount. He was, he was the first mm. mount, and he was deadly at it, and it was great. But you look at the rest of them, where you know where they came from, and they were respectable in one way, and he just loved. You got behind them because he had a character, and they were just yeah. man. Oh, oh, they were the greats. Like they're the ones to me that you'll always remember. Like you know, like I think. Do you think I, McGregor's one of them? I love McGregor, right? I do love him, but I think... So here's the thing. I, I, all my mates hated him when he first started out, right? Well, I'll tell you how I met McGregor first. I met McGregor at a rave. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, how yeah. many of you are already <laughs> starting a rave? I know, I know. Carl Mack had a rave. and We're going to get t-shirts, mate. Mark loves a rave. Mark loves a rave. But I was at a rave. And it was I was in, at a rave. Uh, it, was That's in, it. it was in Ring's End, and this fella walks into me, and he was talking to me, telling me he's a cage fighter. And it really was. I was like, who the fuck off, right? Now, I came out and Carl Mack turned around and goes, do you know who that was? Was who? It was 50 G's baby. No way. Well, no, I didn't know his na- real, who 50 G's baby, what his name was. I just yeah. knew him as 50 G's baby. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, no bleeding way. That's mad. And I couldn't find him for the rest of the night. I think he legged it. Um, or maybe I just couldn't see him. Um, but then, after that then, I got invited from the California thing. We all got invited to... You know, as I said, you used to get all these stupid invite things like this. Eva or something, was it? Yeah, uh, it was in the Red Cow. Red yeah, Diva, hush. Uh, no, not Red Cow, sorry. No, no, Plaza. The Green, the green Oil. Sorry, green oil. sorry. Wait, my fault, sorry. That's mad. It was the Green Oil, and we went up, and he was talking, and he was, but well, he had a couple of fights now, I think he was doing, and everyone was just like, does a talk, to chat. And I asked him for a photo, right? He goes, no, I am now, dear. Did he say that to you? Deadly. You remember me, right? Of course, you would, though. You and would. I was like, oh, mate, sorry, I took a picture with him anyway, right? And then uh, I, that was in, I was in Vegas then, I knew, bumped into all his friends. I've, I've, he was at a house party, and he, he was there. Uh, <laughs> right? I'm trying to... <laughs> Be careful where this story <laughs> goes, buddy. <laughs> no. He was at a house party, and he, and he was, was there. there. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I, I, I was like this, look... No, because I turned that story around. <laughs> yeah. and talk yeah. He but was at a house. Oh, he wasn't at that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was wrong, at this house wrong party. Gaff. Yeah, wrong. Yeah, wrong. Gaff. Gaff. At this house party. And I'm, man, I've never had a, a bad thing. And do you know what's mad? Is right. People give him a hard time. It's my thing. Thing is saying right. Man, he just okay. At the time, he won a hundred million. If you gave me a hundred million, I would have done a lot saying worse. That doesn't change you. I would have done a lot worse. A lot worse. There'd be a lot more stories out there about me with a hundred million. You know what I mean? If coming into money and going, I can buy anything. I can buy this. I can buy that. Uh, and that fellow with the, the outfit in the pub, he's a granddad all saying, Hold on a second. Granddads can say fucked up shit to you as well. And you don't know you don't know what he said. Look but it. it's it's different when no. you're a cage fighter. I have to stop you. You shouldn't have hit him, but you don't know what was said. 
don't know what was said. Doesn't matter what was said, though. recording You don't, you would, would you honestly punch, punch an outlet? Man, I wouldn't hurt anyone because they'd batter me. There you go. Do it you know what I mean? Well, no, but I'm saying, I'm, but I'm saying, like, we yeah, are... Imagine what He was just out with a head. He was out with a head. Simple as that. Whatever it was, whatever And then he bought the pub and part of He bought the whole fucking block yesterday. That is amazing. I respect that. What I will say is, I will say is, look, regardless of what he did or what he didn't do, people are going, oh, look at him, he's this, he's that, he's that. Hold on, he was under labour. Like, he's a Cinderella story for men. Cinderella story for men. Like, like, regardless of whatever thing he does, whatever thing he does. But we don't even know. Half it's rumours. You don't know. Yeah, but the other half it's videos and we've seen them. Do you remember the board? He's my kid. The Liverpool one. Yeah, he's my kid. Why was the only person who was saying, you don't know, you don't know. And then when that DNA tested, I celebrated like it was me. You sound amazing, by the way. You obviously put that mic closer to your reason. And that's the thing. You sound great. The... He said that he was gonna like file lawsuits against any publications that said that he was the father. Yeah, and but order, yeah, the kid. That, he when you put the kid beside his kid, kids they actually the no, no, they actually did look alike. Were you telling me with a hundred million in the bank, you can't buy someone else's? Well, that's kids? what I'm saying. We Mate, don't know. Listen, it, it's if, possible. Put it this way, if, if 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 he was if I was a girl and he was at a house party. I'd say he was at me as well. Like I'd be giving it loads, going here, pay me off, give me a million, and I'll say nothing. Like, just like, show yourself, Adam. Just just proof that rape. Yeah. Do you you stop spitting on me, my bully. Do you see that scrote that put up the video? Remember when he was asleep oh, in the bed? That was shitty. Like, man. there's no way. That's like, bang over here. Yeah. That didn't happen. There's no way. Like, if you're gonna do it, at least do it with a fucking ten. Do you know what I mean? Not yeah. that. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. It's not even that, man. It's it's more like look. Everyone wants to be. Everyone. It's all about money. Everyone wants money on, and everyone wants to do it. Like, take away all the personal shit. What he's done for Ireland Amazing. and what he's do, like, e- even the thirty k is that he's donating here and there, and the fifty k, hey, yeah. you never get recognition for them. But that's what I'm saying to you before. Hey, people care bonus. about people mm. care about the bad shit you do. No, no, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Like he, he, man, he has looked after so many people. And look at the end of the day, look at he's not a saint. He's just one of the bleeding lads that has now exactly. three hundred million With in his bank infinite account. Infinite cash, exactly. And, and keep getting when he gets money to probably if I'm telling you now a, a toilet company would t- would pay him just to put his name on the fucking toilet like that's he'd get money for that. 100%. But it's crazy as I said. But like, look, all these people, all these people, that are like you know, they all throw stones and they all think you know he's went up and above and beyond and he's got himself to where he is. And you know there is a lot of people, and it and it goes down to the whole thing. They are jealous. One hundred percent. Are you ready to play a game, Mister O'Neill? I've loads. I've even talked about how week. Not really, no. <laughs> but let's get into the game. Okay. We got an hour on the contestants now. What? How week? What? <laughs> we just don't want the contestants. Yeah, we didn't even talk about the show. Yet. Do you know how long he can talk? <laughs> do you want to know about the show? No. We do. <laughs> we, we, we'll go back to it. I don't give a fuck. I'm here for the night of you, are lads. I'm starving. Just, just you. <laughs> yeah, Jay, will you walk around to the, <laughs> the garage again? again? Tea break, tea break. <laughs> right, Martin, fire away. This is, so this is a new segment we're trying on the show, uh, where I guess I think it's an absolute cracker. Um, Tommy Tiernan, I think, is uh, most famous for doing it. I, I done it with the kids but it wasn't very structured but I think now that there's a bit of structure behind it yeah. I wanted to highlight Martin a little bit because he's fucking tops at what he does and he deserves a bit more I just don't know what it is so. that I do at the minute <laughs> <laughs> well this is what you're doing Martin so take it away but so the game we were talking about beforehand basically I have a list of questions here they're fairly short questions Mark um, and you just have to give me the wrong answer so I'll read you a short question you just have to answer it incorrectly oh god this is and if you answer it correctly I'll hit you with a wah wah sound effect so, um, so basically, if we say, "Do you like the hard hats and hard chats podcast?" You say yes, because yes. you don't. Because you don't. Yes. No. Like, yeah. Do we? <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> if I say, "What color is that wall?" You can't say cream, because it's cream. Do you know what I mean? Right, so okay. Opposite. Right. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah, opposite. Yeah, opposite. Yeah, opposite. Just the wrong. The question might not be. Uh, what age are you? Twelve. Yes. Right. So we'll start the game it's now. Not yes right. or no. Oh, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's just wrong. Man, man, you know what to do. Martin, you know what to do. What's Re- your favourite colour? No. D- d- just do, <laughs> yeah. just okay. do three random questions that aren't on this for me so we can explain what he's doing. No, so I, know, I, know, I 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 know, go for it. Okay, okay so on. the game is on now, Ray. Right? Mm. Are you ready to play? No. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, what's all the lads' names that are here? <laughs> Beatrice, Barbara, Teresa. Lovely. Who's the current Taoiseach? Mary McAleese. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what rhymes with sex? Brian. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best TV show on RTE? Fair City. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite thing you do with your missus? Love. <laughs> Love, mate. 
<laughs> it's retirement days. I have to think about it. I just say I have to come. I'm, just, I'm happy to say what's come to mind straight yeah, away. Yeah, 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 there you go. Right, it's egg. supposed to be a big quick one. Arguing. Arguing. <laughs> Arguing. What noise does a cat make? Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> How do you spell dog? B R O O M. Do you want an Australian accent? <laughs> <laughs> Up the morning, how's it going by? Do you want to fight, Tia? I'll give you a fight. Complete this phrase. You're barking up. Seven. <laughs> what you cut your grass with? Scissors. <laughs> what I makes up it. a stew? What makes a what? How do you make up a stew? What's the ingredients? What's in a stew? Call me, ma. <laughs> and uh, who's your favourite Did You Hear show guest so far? Um, oh, it has to be the right one. A wrong one. Oh, eh. Uh, Top notch. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you took a thing on top notch. <laughs> oh, she's shocking. <laughs> no, the camera was on you. Uh, I guess, I guess. It was a rap. No, it was just a rap she had to do. Who, who did a rap with her? And then, is that you? We have four the two boys rapping. The two, the two boys weren't involved then. Oh, right. It was Dean, yeah. Dean and Gav. The the OGs. Man, uh, can I ask quite, is that level up song? Is that hers or is that Nicki Minaj's? No, it's someone else's. You know, I, I thought that. Heard it, yeah. I thought that, and I was like, she just she had to release in a track with someone else's. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah, right. it's d- different lyrics, but main punchline, you could say. I like yeah. it. But uh, Instagram questions. Go on. Are you ready? Questions from the gram. Right. So there's no even need to answer this one. Do you regret California? Hundred percent hated it. Oi. The next one I'm not gonna ask. Um, when did you get your teeth done, and why? Ah, right. So my teeth when I was younger, I could eat an apple through a letterbox, like I mean, a tennis racket, and I could eat the food the other side. <laughs> of it. Uh, but so I got braces. I got braces, and all they do is straighten your teeth. But I still had these two big huge choppers at the front that were bigger than the rest of my teeth. And then I told you, my brother, um, he hit me with a dinky years ago. What's a dinky? It's a small boat, I thought. Small car. Oh, oh like a little toy one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. A little steel yokes with all yeah, these yeah. 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 And and he, he he broke it and then I already had another one broke from something else. So I had the caps on my teeth, they were fucking things. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking get it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll say, I'll say, you started a trend, you do know that. Oh yeah, I got I've been about eleven years now. Twelve years. But I went and I got these sorted and uh, after I got the the thing, so I got them all fucking just I said, Fuck it, I'll get the veneers on the top. Then I ended up having to get braces again because even though you've got veneers, your teeth can still move. Right. So I had to get braces again and then the bottom they all move, so I got the bar now on the back and the back and so mm. the dentist I've, had is braces just twi- I've had braces twice and the veneers on top. I've only had like six. I've never had a film in my life though. And how how often I never how often do you uh, have to get them like I don't know, people say ten or? years I have twelve years and you still yeah. haven't done that. They look great, mate. I know man. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh where <laughs> did you f- where did you find <laughs> the love of your gym? I'm assuming your granddad, yeah. is it? So my brother's dad, uh he started us out and had his training because he was like a mad boxer and then there was Larry Delaney Probably the first person, him and all that kind of group, they all got me into the gym when I was a kid, and I, th- I think it was just, it was just something to do, you know. And now, now, as I said to you, now when I go to the gym, dead serious. So let's say me and Charlotte have an argument, right? By the way, most times it's always the guy, right? It is, and it actually is genuinely it's probably us. We have an argument, and I'm like, fucking, I'm fucking, I'm gonna go on a run. I come back and the clarity, I'm just come back and I'm like, babe, I'm so sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. It's it's like all you need is a minute to think. Yeah, it's medicine for me now. Like when I go to the gym, if I've had a bad day, if I've had a bad day in work, it's the endorphins and in you, it's an energy, and you just and feel and great it just after. Yeah. It's the hour to yourself as well, where everyone just leaves <laughs> you fucking alone. Goose flabber. Yeah, goose goose flabber. Yeah, goose it's not goose blah blah. It's goose flabber. That's what I fucking said. <laughs> what? What? I don't mind them. You to join in every now and again. Yeah, right there, mate. Who yeah, sorry, I'm just in the zone there. You're on and Tinder. I, I'm actually reading your your Instagram messages here as well. Oh. Um, his Mark's misses his twin. He's <laughs> actually like, you he, genuinely do we look do. a little bit we, alike. We do. Like. Yeah, I've asked me dad a few questions already. <laughs> <laughs> do you, is this you fancying yourself, like? Well, that's what one of my friends said. Mark couldn't fuck himself, so like, he sound, w- found someone that looks just <laughs> like. Him. If if people are saying <laughs> you look like your misses, like you're constantly saying you look like a finger with teeth. Nah, she's gorgeous. I, I'm just, I'm in bits. Garvey trying to stitch you up there, Garvey. Mm. No, th- thanks, Garvey. Yeah, no, 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 don't mind that. <laughs> um, well, hold on, I'll move on to yours. Um, oh yeah. So, yeah, we're Charlotte. How long? Oh, you know what you're gonna say, you prick. 
Well, how long you were? Uh, over a year now. Right, and you're after a pour in your heart out to us saying how much you love her, Never how great that. she is. Never said she should. When Saved ready for it. do you have any plans on um on getting a wedding ring anytime oh, soon? Yeah, need oh. <laughs> Me need or you like that? That makes it sound manly, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, There's an undertone to that. Oh, thing. she's ha- have you have you z- genuinely had a conversation about? Oh like no, she wants. She said to me, "It's gonna be Christmas or New Year's," and I'm like, "No, it won't." And she's like, "No, it has to be a ring by Christmas." And I was like, "Look, Char, when it happens, it happens." And I always say, if we are gonna do it, like everyone does these stupid like uh, proposal things. If I'm gonna do a proposal, I want the proposal to be really better than the thing. I want it to have a have a perfect thing in my head the way I want to do it. If I'm gonna do it, right, so Charlotte, happen. he's thinking about it. No, she knows I will eventually. But like right now, I'm kind of. I think I don't want to spend. I know some bit cheap saying this, but like there's there's a lot there's a lot more things in life right now I could spend twenty grand on. And she yeah, was like, she said to me, "Oh, we can get it for ten or five or cheap." And I says, "Babe, I plan to do this once. We're gonna do it right." Yeah. Twenty grand probably wouldn't you, cover you, now, you, you want to give her the, the, the perfect princess wedding. Exactly, and if you're going to do well, it, well, you don't have to. You don't need twenty, twenty-five grand just to propose. Me. You know, that's only about two, three Get the grand. Ring and propose on right. Christmas. So so I don't want to be like half the people in Dublin that are proposed and engaged for like fifteen years and all. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I know so many people that are like engaged ten years and I'm like, um, have you set a date? Yeah, What's I'm engaged on? about three, but again, it's finding the right See? time. See. I, I I didn't fold. I want to fold. I, I I still have loads of I've loads of things up my sleeves, and she wants kids then as well. And it's like, oh, <laughs> man, oh. I know. Mini marks I around. feel like I've had kids. That's why I I'm not, I just don't think I don't. I personally don't want them right now, but I know she does, and I know I'm going to want to have them now and not wait too long because I don't want to be fucking. You're pushing on now. Yeah, you're hitting the forty yeah. mark. Look, she's 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 twenty nine. She's almost. T- she'll be thirty next. Uh, look, you should be shooting double the spam now anyway, with the hole included, so you have a better chance of getting a pregnant. Please God. He's back there again. Yeah, he just <laughs> lowers the tone. We'll go, Jason's straight back in. Uh, I'm assuming this is a private joke. We are ever wedged. I don't get that. We are ever wedged. I don't That's know. Someone wedgies. off your page, Everyone's mate. got a bleeding wedgie. Oh, we have one from Hard Hats and Hard Chats. Um, why are you going on that Gink Bone podcast and not the number one in Dublin? <laughs> <laughs> so can you answer number that? Number one. Can you answer that? <laughs> oh, lads, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying how it is. I am. Beef. <laughs> well, I, I, can a- I can answer it if you want. Go on. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, maybe because we use our own money to buy equipment and don't set up fake GoFundMe pages. Um, right, right, shots for it. Let's shots move, on, it. move on, move on. Me, 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 me. Just, just, just since it's a ginky bone, what's like? Go on, move on, move on. And do you know what's mad, on. right? Do you remember when they blocked us and then blocked the story? And they're, oh, pal, we never blocked you. Something happened there or whatever. Remember? Bullshit. I actually, I actually got on with the two of them when I spoke to them, so yeah, I don't know what the beef is. Ever since you couldn't help them out with their fucking rap thing, leave them to it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, were you sound embarrassed about when you were on California? How would you overcome it? Your sound now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I think I've said that earlier. I just, I, I really wish I never did it. Um, but then again, some things. Did like it was more. It was more negative than there was positive. But some positive did happen. You know, like I had a good time. Mm-hmm. Not related to your question, but can you ask your girlfriend where she got her outfit in the story, the white one? <laughs> oh, oh, I do know where she got it. She got it in. She made me drive her to wait, wait, something called Bella Boutique in Ballyferm. Is it Bella All Boutique? Boutique in Ballyferm? No, 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 something Bell Boutique. <laughs> It's I'm sure. That, I'm sure if the girl is local enough, she'll probably yeah. tweak that straight away. Sorry, it's a place. It's right beside the garage there. Just if you, I can't remember. Something Bell Boutique or something like that. I think it's called. Sorry. Uh, yeah, what's the it. best thing about going to see Genesis in Newcastle meeting Brian Adams? Oh ah, yeah, Genesis? yeah, yeah. So I went when you hear this, right? So we went to. Oh, uh, wait, I know all about this one. Oh, yeah, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Right, so Go on. I learned so much about Mark right, this right, night. So I so I was gargled drunk, right? Gargled and my mates are they're knocking the points back and knocking the points back and they just doesn't feel like they're getting drunk for whatever reason. You know what I mean? But me on the other hand, I'm drinking like a normal person and I am just not able to keep up with the boys the way they're lashing the drinks back like man, they're not even getting a bit drunk. You see what I'm saying here? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I on the other Go hand on, yeah. don't. 
So I'm there just having the points and I'm about fucking five or six points in and I'm fucking twisted like. So Brian Adams, is this fella that was the image of Brian Adams, right? I just run and says, is that Brian Adams? And I, I, then I kept telling everybody that he was Brian Adams and all. I kept going, <coughs> so, you know, singing the songs and everything. Ah, he was wrecking his head. So I kept, I said, do me a favour. And I kept slipping me points to him. Like the boys were buying me a point and I'd be like, slipping one to him. And he's like, he's like, hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> right? And he's lashing the points back and I'm just trying to like, not be this twisted, like. But um, actually, I talked to him all the time, actually. I only, only met him that night. And I think we were talking to him for maybe just to show what was on. And he's just a cool guy, like, and I kind of got along with him. Like, <laughs> yeah. I know I talked to him all the time, yeah. yeah he he's just got some Brian Adams look like slaughtered and now you're in deep contact, like. Yeah, he's class. deadly. He's deadly. I love, I love meeting random cool people, though, you know. Yeah, I yeah. Do. Beyond the ball, ask you, you can have dinner with three people, past or present. Who are you picking? That's a good question. Dinner with three people. It's not my one, is it? Your yeah, one, yeah. Oh, shit. Actually, check mine. I might have more. Here, do you want me to do that and have a look? You can actually look through them. Oh, check his DMs. Mm-hmm. I'm straight into the pictures. <laughs> and we're put on silent <laughs> just in case. Yeah. Straight into the pictures. Beyond the bar. Mark, do you play FIFA? No. No, he doesn't. I don't play. I don't like, uh, he only plays Call of Duty. And he's on PS5 as well, aren't you? Am I right uh, in saying that? Maybe. No, it's not more, no new ones. I thought it'd be a new one. No there. new ones. No worries. It, it, there's more here, but oh, we... What's the question? Three I people. Uh, past oh, the prison. Yeah. Three for people. Dinner. Just what just to meet them really, I suppose. Uh George Michael. Um Can I have plate please? I'd love to I'd love to. I met him I met him years ago with Brian McFadden and I got kinda of, I got it was actually Brian got invited to the party and I ended up going instead. <laughs> right. Uh and then I think the only thing I ever said to him, he, he walked up to me, he goes, You gay or straight? And I went straight and I regretted it straight away. <laughs> <laughs> he walked away goes oh shame darling and walks away like, George Michael said to you yeah. that's an ultimate claim to fame yeah George that's a Michael, flex George Michael shot his would shot you let him, would you let him I would have sucked his dick yeah. no no I would no <laughs> <laughs> no but it was a school well, like, like, you wouldn't have realised you weren't going to do it do you know what I would have done no no would I you went, would you went along with it just to get back to his pad or something no I would have it was in his calf it was in his calf yeah it was a party like, and it was like I was like I wish I got talking to him more. I wish I didn't just kind of cut the conversation there. I wish it was like, actually... It could be. Want to talk to me a little longer? <laughs> and yeah, so, George Michael, I'd love to meet George Michael, like, proper, like, just, like, just have a good chat with him. And just, I, just think, I just think his life really, really interesting. And I just think he's dead. He's my favourite artist. Um, so that's one. Uh, who else then? Oh, my God, I'm going to ruin this now, aren't he? I think Matthew McConaughey. All right, right, all right, all right. I was just thinking, I was getting an L McConaughey vibe off the camera here, looking at you. Yeah, goes, yeah, yeah. Someone said to me before. Are you still yourself on him? Is that, where, is that where the hair came no, from? No, someone said That's to me, my hair, when my hair was long down. I was Everyone just was thinking that to me. The Everyone kept saying to me, yeah. The picture you sent me, it looked like Sujo Bob, where the fuck is that? Oh, it's I'm trying to think of anyone else. Off the top of my head, I can't think of anyone cool. Why McConaughey? The Rock. The Rock's a good guy. Dwayne, the Dwayne fella. I feel like he's so fake, he's so media trained, he would just smile and. We yeah, had a, we had one of the lads from Lads Take Care. <laughs> basically, they set up a page, right? Um, to don't um, do them like that. Don't do them. oh, we why have to. Oh, do do, like do I even love it? I'm not, I'm not hanging on me. <laughs> this is scarce. Like answering the question though. Where did you read it from? What you, you said that like like you were, you were answering a question. You really? Have. No, 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 no. So like, when me and Jay went out to the forty foot one time. Right? We were supposed to go and meet the two boys from Lads Take Care. And Dwayne wasn't there, but Paddy was. There was a few other guys there. It was a part of the duo. And right. now, obviously, the two boys had set up their Instagram page to get a following, and you know, they're reaching out to people. You know, can you give us a shout out or whatever? You know, just to give us a follow and all. spread the message quicker. Yeah. Do you know what I mean about like mental health and try and get lads out for a dip? And it just so happened that Dwayne happened to reach out to The Rock and say, uh, "Hello, Dwayne. My name's Dwayne too." <laughs> uh, would you mind giving the page a shout out? It was just a couple of lads looking for a dip. Speaking very Dublin lingo to The yeah. Rock in Instagram, you know. I'm assuming I love it, that it went unread. Yeah. You know. But yeah, it was just, hello Dwayne, I'm Dwayne too. You know. <laughs> Do you mind giving the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Purely trying his best, you know what I mean? But he genuinely thought he'd probably get a response. Now Dwayne, if you have a problem with that, Dwayne, yeah. well. Dwayne, if you have a problem with that, you may say that, take that up with Paddy. He brought it up now. Sorry, right? I, I, I actually was expecting a better punchline than that, sorry. Oh, no, but it was just the way it was. It was sorry. Sorry. Well, yeah. I'm delighted yeah. he took it off. Because when he was telling the story, I was like, right, wait, like this is going to sound... 
Yes. He wanted to bail on it and he took it. <laughs> no, he, he kind of took it anyway because of you nearly, actually. Oh, yeah. So I was happy to let him take it there. I'm so Probably sorry. I was actually hoping yourself. you there. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. Oi, you yeah. took it off me. You knew because you, were, you, you, were, you weren't delivering. And I had to step in. Can you two, and not can you two stop having a domestic and get on with this, will you? It's all right, Jay. It's all right. Right, Mark. So the last thing that we wanted to finish on. Seven inches. Seven inches. Yes. Right. Um, oh That's not true at all. I just got that from Ricky Gervais. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely um, does have a seven Where does it go? Oh, well, he said that brilliant before, didn't he? When someone His Instagram was fantastic. His stand up's great. His podcast, I listen to everything. Look, we, we, we I actually wanted to go a little bit. But I know we're going back and forward. Inception is fucked. This podcast is fucking everywhere. But we didn't finish on Hell Week, right? Because obviously I was in the middle of complimenting you. I don't know what happened. But huge achievement. Mm. Fair play to you. How the fuck did you do it with a knee like that? And Ryan as well. He done it with a broken fucking rib. Like yeah, he, yeah, how? Fair play to him, man. I tell you, I, I broke my rib in January. I said crack me rib, as I said to you. Mm. Reverse cowgirl. Remember? <laughs> Oops, Charlotte. Oops, Charlotte. Um, and I, no joke, I had the time going to number two. So I had to have it, I had to make sure I did it in the morning and have a shower because I couldn't wipe my ass. I was in so much pain, couldn't breathe. I, you're shallow breathing. I was in bits. Like it was so bad. And that's why I don't know how he did it. Like, like I, I was even talking like there was something wrong with me. Like I was breathing. Like, so how's it going? Uh, yeah, I have to. And that's how you had to breathe. Like it was, yeah. it was mm. bits. Um, but I mean, I just knew I had to do it, right? That was like people say, well, "How did you do it?" I ha- I just had to. This is like, look, my, you know, I can only I stepped out. Of, let's say I hung up the G string for good. Let's say and I gave up me <laughs> fucking me dancing shoes. Fucking, they're all gone. But when I had a chance to do this, I said, "Right, look, this is something that's right up my street." I the biggest thing from that show that I've gotten is a lot of the old army lads. I kind of. I, I just kind of felt like I needed to kind of show them that I need, uh, that, uh, that I still okay, I'm still on the voyage. The last thing you're always it's w- once a soldier, always a soldier, you know. Mm. And I just knew I had to do it. Like, and I tell you the truth, the cold is the only thing that I felt was it. It was just made life miserable. Like we were sleeping forty minutes a night. Some nights, I think the max we got was ninety minutes. That was it, uh, over the, uh, 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 any one sleeping thing. Um, they were feeding us so little. Like s- everyone will tell you what we were giving that's us. That's like. something that confuses me. Like twelve hundred calories is not enough food to do the activity. You've been asked. Like, yeah. Why are you proving there? Like that, yeah. you're not going to send me to war on bleeding porridge. No, but that's not the thing. Is they're trying to push you to your limits. That's the that's the thing. Like, the, like it's so far the other side is counterproductive. You're you're inhibiting your own performance because you haven't consumed. Yeah, but this fuel. is not this is not a continuous thing. This is this is this is a test. This is not a, a to improve a mental you. Test, it's really. a mental test of everything. Yeah. You know the claustrophobic thing. I didn't even think that was hard at all. But like we had no idea what you're doing. Like like people don't understand. The claustrophobic thing is in being in the water, in the, in the in the water, in the room, filling up like this. Yeah, like you, you weren't even told if that was stopping. We don't know what was happening. Yeah. We didn't know we it's so to say, stand up. That would have shit me up now. To be honest yeah, with you, that would have. Now don't get me wrong. I would have waited until it was up here. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, just to make sure. Yeah. Well, as you but touched on earlier, like like the old viruses and all that are in your your DNA uh, uh, generation but so is your fears like so you you're, yeah. you're wired to fear that that room's going to fill up and you're mm. going to drown mm. it's, so you can get out of there like your yeah, body's I, telling I, you to I get out they, I, knew they never, I knew they wouldn't kill us right and I think exactly I think, yeah I think a bit Steph- much for the RTA I think, I think <laughs> yeah. Stephanie said the same thing like she goes look they're not going to be able to kill us but at one stage I was like Jesus I, I, I'm, I said, I'm willing to die and then at one stage I was like fuck I think this is it <laughs> I'm, I'm ready really? to go uh, it was what was it it was the plunge pool like so so at, like they let us sleep for like forty minutes, and they threw us into a we- a well. A well, with, I don't even know where the bottom of this thing was, and it was like a plunge pool. So you know when you go into a plunge pool, it's really cold, and you start getting really dizzy because it's so cold. Mm-hmm. I was in there for like a minute, and all of a sudden like that, and then Diaz just gets up and walks away. But they didn't already get on in before me and broke the ladder to get out, so we couldn't even get out. I'm like this, I'm like like, like a little poodle like this trying to get out of the water, <laughs> couldn't move, and I was like that going, oh my god, I'm light headed as fuck here. It's the shock, isn't and it? And I tried to climb out, and then he goes right, get outside, and start lifting, and you think we would get warm? I couldn't get warm. I was so cold, I couldn't move. I was just like, oh, what the fuck is this? But then you had like you, like so little food, you you so you weren't burning any, you weren't getting like most people would be really warm, and um, because of their metabolism. I wasn't eating that. And I told you, mm. I don't remember going to the toilet. I, I don't know if I did, but I don't remember going to the toilet one time, like, uh, like, like for a shit. Like, I, I, mm. I just didn't think it was going to happen. Uh, I just didn't, th- I just don't remember it happening at all. Like, I peed myself all the time. I just, I, 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 that's, I just like, oh, thank God. Like that scene out of Dumb and Dumber. Just go, man. Just go. Just, go. just, go. just, go. just have to do it. You're in the ocean. But you're in the ocean. You're in the ocean. Why not? You're like, you're soaking every day. You're, you're, you're pissing the shower. 
Oh, God. <laughs> in the ocean. So why not the fish you do know, it? Oh, I know. I, oh, I hate that question. <laughs> Say it. Such a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, but what was it? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Lovely. Sorry, Do you rail. Look, as I said, it, it was the it was the best thing I've ever done. It's the last thing I'm gonna do. We knew that I know them people a week, and I said this now. I know them my whole life. And they're all lovely, lovely people. It's Every that shared experience. And yeah, exactly. traumatic in yeah. an extreme environment. And, and man, I, I, I couldn't tell you is enough. Every one of them are stars. Like, they're all just great people. Like, every one of them. Like, I mean, honestly, guys, I didn't even think people... I didn't think you could be in a, a group of people of that many cool people. Like, they're mm. all just so good. And, again, I'm the only one that's not a proper celebrity at all. Like, I'm sitting there going, I'm fucking broke. <laughs> See, I don't, I, I don't yeah, think there's yeah. reasons for it. Like, I know you, you regret California and all. And Big Brother was a great experience, I'd imagine. And then there's this. But, like, again, I, I feel like California was meant to happen for you. Like, do you know what yeah. I mean? Regardless. No, like... It, 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 hold on, look, Sorry. On. No, 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 no. No, go on. No, go on. on. <laughs> I'm not fighting with you. Go on. <laughs> Like, you, you keep on saying you're not a big celebrity, you're not this and not that, right? I understand why you say that, but I don't think you realise how big of a deal Big Brother was back then and how big it was. Huge. Like, that is... You probably know the numbers to the, the viewership. Like, I'm sure it's absolutely... Like, it's ridiculous. Do you know what I mean? Now, obviously, as the years go on, you know what I mean? People start forgetting, mm. but... I mean, people that watch that will never forget Mark O'Neill. I really and like you said, California, though, <laughs> no one forgets it. Like, I know, but I'm driving down the road, right? Like literally driving. And some people have this really good perception where they're able to, like, they see something for a split second and they're able to cop it. Like they're able to spot things. I'm just driving the road, windows, windows a little bit cracked. Some little kid shouts, "Boy, I'm, dri- I'm driving like fast." Mm. Yep, California. I was like, "How the fuck did he just see?" He's like, "Hold on, what age are you? You're about twelve. So that means you were. Hold on, you were one." When, when is this happening? I mean, like little kids were able yeah, to like, yeah. know who you are. I'm like, how on earth were you able to watch? You should have been in bed. Yeah. I'm after clicking on a, a Big Brother video there of you. And within the last 12 months, there's four comments like where it's just like, they all bullied Mark constantly. He was the, honest, he was the only honest one in the house. And total jealousy from the lads. They hated him only for Mark. The house was worth watching that year. Mark was robbed. He made the show for them. Should have won. Only came on YouTube out of boredom today and found this. Mark was my favourite housemate type of thing. Mark was the guy. I forgot how good he was on the show. You know what I mean? Like, there's all them positive experience regardless. And that was how many years ago? Yeah, like, Six there's years still ago. comments coming in. Well, yeah, recently, like, you know I mean? honestly, like, I have never... B- by far, by far, like, I'm a big reality TV fan. Like, I used to watch the Kardashians with my sister and all. That's how much deep into reality I was. And by far, my best... Was you that year? Unbelievable! Oh, yeah. Because like, Mark, you have to remember, right? We're so used to seeing the lights of the Jades and the lights. Of, like, Mara was actually very good on Love Island. I thought. I thought she was kind of herself, and sh- she was kind of. She was the Longford girl. Do you know what I mean? She was herself. I thought. I thought she portrayed herself very well. And they're the only two people I know yeah. that I've seen on Irish TV who portrayed where they were from, how we went on, the banter. Like, you're saying, right, that you've done a lot of that to wind people up. Yeah, but it's still in you. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, that's still you. I, that's Irish, man. As I that's said, what I'm ready. saying. As I said here before, I'm the most unfunny of my friends. Like, like it was, we, people are going, you're hilarious. You should see my mates. Oh, yeah, really? yeah. Like, I mean, you have to have a tick stain, being in the army, you know, being from where I'm from, but anyone, everyone does. And as Jay Abbey said it perfectly, he goes... We're a nation of people that rip the shit out 100%. of each other. Like, that, like, if you don't slag someone, he's not your friend. Like, mm. That's literally it. Like, yeah. mm. well, it's it's total opposites for men and women. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, We'll rip the piss out of each other, but when you leave, it's like, oh man, it's bang yeah. on. Like, do you mm. know what I mean? Whereas boards do that when they're like, nice to each other to their face. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, little tramp. Little tramp state <laughs> address. State address. Yeah, that's fake. <laughs> <laughs> so... I understand what you're saying and I see the humble side of it as well. But especially after Hell Week as well. Yeah. Hell Week done and well. I, I, I promise you guys, this this is the end. And you are, you are saying, everyone keeps saying this. Like I'm not doubting it. I'm not I, doubting it. I, the only way I'd ever come back, as I said to you, like like I see I see people doing like multiple podcasts, right? And and, yeah. and nothing bad. They're plugging something they're selling. Like like some people are doing like um, pantos like 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 Ryan would have to do that. There's guys that are doing singing. They're on the six o'clock thing. They're on the RTA. They're doing all these things. They've asked me, 
And I'm like, I don't really want to go on. I'm, I'm not not because I'm like, oh, I'm too good for it. I'm just going. I'm first off, I'm taking time out of my day to go to do the show for what to see myself and tell you again for that. But I'm not getting paid. I'm not getting financial. I'm getting nothing. I'm not promoting anything. If I was promoting something, I was trying to sell something and promote something. Yeah, yeah, I'd be on everything. I'd be I'd be at the open of an envelope. You know, I'd be a- absolutely everything right now. I don't care about any of that stuff at all. So I what is next for Mark O'Neill then? No, like Mark, Mark is just walking away. I, I, I love my job. I'm just a normal person and I love going to the gym and spending time with Charlotte, wrecking my head as usual. But, you know, no, I just, I don't, I'm just having good friends and now, now life's for living for me. I'm kind of, I'm in a good place. Um, I told Ryan I'd cut my hair. When I'm finally happy, happy. When I'm finally happy, I'll cut me here. And he was just like, oh, we'll see when that is. So that might be soon. <laughs> we don't They're know. They're going to be bald at your wedding. Mate, you can say no, goodbye to the McConaughey comparison then, mate. You know, I know, yeah, I know. Dicey card. Guys, I'm just, you know what? I came out, as I said to you, as I hated before. And I was very down on myself. Very, as you said, very critical of myself an awful lot. Because I know, like, you know, a lot of people had a, a mis, uh, preconception on me. And now I'm kind of like, you know what? I just want to live my life. I like, man, I swear, my idea of a good night now is a pizza. Sitting in, mm. playing, playing cod, <laughs> playing cod, chilling out. Cod char- and a pizza, that's sh- nice. Cod and a pizza is a bit weird. Yeah, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> no respect that. You know, but man, I, I, I swear <laughs> to God, I'm, that show has, has just, as I said to you earlier, it saved me. It's just gave me such a, a good ending to my story, you know? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. So do you think that's the perfect... No, to this is my sign off. This on is my TV. Log, This is my Logan to the Wolverine series. This is it. Yeah. No, when like this, you can just go like this and cut. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And then we'll have you back here with Martin Eastwood. I, I'd love to do something. Or like AJ fight uh, or something. Or uh, Usyk with something. Do you know what? Deadly because I love the fights. I love. I like, I, I, look, I'm not. Uh, as I said to you before, lad, I box, but I'm shy. But I just love it. But there's you know no I mean? better experience whether you're into boxing or you like football or whatever than sitting around watching a fight night with your buddies. It's yeah. just great crack. There's I'll a tension a, and an energy. I'll even have a couple of drinks if you're here. So yeah. just, I, yeah. It's yeah. just that's a different do. energy for that's combat do, sports. Yeah. It's just deadly. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to like, like literally suss out a fight that's coming up. Especially AJ, you yeah. the rematch. Uh, yeah, that's that, that one because you'll have to run a boy Charlotte and see if I'm allowed to go, will you? That, <laughs> that'll be a show yeah. for you anyway. I don't want to watch that. Yeah, yeah, normal times. You can't do the American character. AJ is getting smashed up again. Again. Fact. Again. Again. I don't know again, how that not bad. happened with him and Fury. Like, what was that about? Like, Fury would have battered him. And uh, look, I know everybody. Uh, he was already caught up in a lot, uh, not a lawsuit thing, but court, wasn't it? Was it? For the trilogy, well, they were suing him for breach of contract because they had an agreement to fight within a certain time period, but COVID happened, so their time period expired. And Fury thought, well, it's expired, it's expired. But the judge sided with Wilder saying, no, like, COVID happened, be fair. And Fury said, right, let's be fair then. I'll thump the nut off you again. But the contract yeah. was already signed for Joshua. Was it, not, was it not something, like, drug or something no, like that? No, 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 no. no, no. Oh, okay. He, he then had a fuck up. Fury had a fuck up then where he, he said he was COVID uh, vaccinated, but he had only got the four shot. And then COVID, he got COVID in camp. Right. That, that kind of fucked him up. But the main thing was that Wilder, uh, they breach, they, the time had expired, but Wilder went to judge and said, well, how the fuck oh, did the fight in COVID yeah, happen? yeah. I'm and so the judge like, hey, what a fight out. Oh, what oh, a amazing. fight. Nice. What a fight. I love watching Fury. Fucking up in his the next morning it was with the bleeding fire sticking off. He was didn't he? Yeah. And the fire sticking off. He didn't even stay up, yeah. I mean, I, I mean I on that paper view, I, I never have to. Because if I scroll up. and see something, we lose the head on my phone. Like, no, sometimes what I do is I ask Charlotte. Brown <laughs> <it's like, laughs> ups go on the phone every morning. No, we just wake up, stupid. Yeah, yeah, no, I, 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 I ask Charlotte sometimes. No, like, like, let's just say that there's, I've had to watch the fight. No, I said, wouldn't baby find a good link there on that? And you scroll through it and find it because she doesn't care who wins. You know what I mean? Just find the proper one that's what I can watch it. Because if I'm watching it and I'm going through it and you go, oh, yeah, Canelo beat you. Oh, yeah, lovely. He's beaten. Lovely, great, yeah. and and now I know, and I try not to look at the time lapse, so I want, don't want to know when it ended. Yeah, yeah, because if it's like a UFC fight and it's finished in like twelve minutes, well, I know the first two or five minutes, so the, towards the end, yeah, 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 you yeah, got yeah, 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 and I hate that. So I yeah, I get that too. But I never, I never wait, I never wait up at night. Time. I just can't. I'm too old. For one year old at home, I'm me fuck staying up till five in the morning watching UFC. Exactly. Yeah. Ah, there's probably three cards a year. McGregor fights you up for that's it. I'll stay up for. And uh, no, I, I, man, I used to, but it's just kind of. <sighs> Like, and like I was saying, that kind of energy when you're watching the sports, it, a McGregor night is just a great night. To yeah, a McGregor night is it's different. It's, though. Lethal. it's different than anybody else. You feel it. You feel it. You get butterflies. You it's, get yeah, weird feelings you feel in like your body. Getting the head poked off you every time you, someone lands yeah. on you. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Me and him sat there when he broke his foot. <coughs> Jay went down for about five minutes. Lads, his foot's broke. His foot's broke. Boys, it's Jay started boy. limping. It's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we, we all feel it. We all feel it then, don't we? <laughs> so I was at a wedding. Stop. I was at a wedding in Wales. One of my friends, she was a. Uh, Basically, we went, 
because he wouldn't show it in the hotel or something to fight. So he went down to some old man pub. She's in a dress, like a fucking wedding dress. <laughs> and we're all sitting there watching the McGregor fight at like five in the morning yeah, or something shit like that. It was gas. Like we're all dr- every one of us dressed up and we're in like, I mean, I'm talking another furniture that's like, like you're going in, you're a manky coming out. It's all sticky and it's horrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're sitting in the show and we're all knocking back the points and we're watching the fight. Yeah, this is deadly. This is deadly. We well, never forget times like that. Either. That's yeah. what I mean. Like, yeah. And love him, love him, I hate him. He makes the whole country stay up. He does. He does. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. Look, that's what I'm saying. I don't judge anybody. Oh, I'm getting tired. Yeah, on that note, lads, I think... I think that's pretty much it. If you want else you'd like to add, Mark. But well, we don't fart hours, so you don't have to come back. That, that is probably, <laughs> hold on, am I the We're going to break this down into Is this the longest? Videos, this is the longest, the longest podcast. Yeah. I'm feeling hey. this one. I'm tired now. Great, yeah, I'm bollocks. I'm starving yeah, as well. I have a pizza at home. For yeah, anyone that no, noticed, yeah. I was out last night myself, and if you see me forehead, I walked straight into a door frame. Martin oh. has a vagina on I'm his forehead. I'm head up a little bit there. Oh, here, one more thing. Rory is doing a resistance with Ray Goggins. Uh, you should get Ray on here too. He'd be great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, David Goggins type. Yeah, Ray Goggins the <laughs> DS. <laughs> he didn't watch the show. I don't watch any. I don't watch any. I'll send you. I'll send you a link. He doesn't you. watch stars either. Apparently, I'll send you a link. <laughs> yeah. I'll send you a link so you don't have to watch the ad. No, the only thing I'd like to watch. I watched the way my mate's uncle was on it last year. Uh, so I watched here? the first episode. Why am I even here? So okay. we can you watch all the following. You, you watch all the <laughs> shit we've done. <laughs> You're not going to get much. People don't like me. Uh, I was saying there, uh, David Goggins and um, and sorry, David Goggins, Ray Goggins and uh, Rory. They're doing resilience on the twenty fourth in, in Vicker Street. It's kind of like a, a kind of self help kind of talk. In it's it basically two of them are saying like overcoming things, and I think it'd be kind of cool if anyone wants to go watch us. That's yeah, funny. Really. The only plug I would have said the high generation fucking tour from Barry, but I think I bought all the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> every night he has every ticket. Every ticket. I'm a fucking weirdo. Well, Mark, look, it's been an absolute pleasure. Like I knew it would be. Mm-hmm. Appreciate Thanks. your uh, your loyalty. Yeah, appreciate um, your You said you were going to come on a long time, and you did. Mm-hmm. We've made a, a May for the future. Yeah. Uh, we can't wait to come to your gaff to watch the four hour long podcast oh, <laughs> party. Get um, Charlotte to get all the yeah. sweets and oh, snacks she's ready. She's all that stuff, isn't she? She's classic. Stop, yeah. Yeah. You want to see what she does? Man, she spends a fortune oh, sorry, of my money, just so you know. <laughs> like, like, uh, sorry, let me let me rephrase that. Charlotte has the best life ever, but like she goes, I pay my way. I pay my way. And this should, and I say, like, babe, no, no, she'll buy me something, right? With your card. <laughs> she'll buy me something on my card. Or if she does buy me something for her, then she'd like, um, like the other day she bought me something, I think it was 100 quid or something. And then she says to me that she went into TK Maxx and she saw a jacket for 140 quid, reduced from. Will you get me that now? And she goes, Will you get me that? Right, great. And I need a pair, a pair of boots for hiking because them other boots you got me, I don't like them. What? How much are them boots? 130 quid. What? Yeah. What, me like a tick? So if I kick and muck around Glenn the Lock, yeah, put yeah, them on and trip. See me, oh, I, I, end, I end up doing it for her because I love her, so you know, I have to. Yeah. Trapped, I know the feeling. And you're I gonna, know, I, I'm t- you're going to love her even so more on, on is, Christmas yeah. Day uh, or New Year's, aren't you? Yeah. You stop you, she's not getting no <laughs> ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, man, that on that, that note. We broke the fire down, Max, so I feel like we deserve a cheer to everybody. Well done, guys. Yeah. We've done all right for our lives. Right, everybody. Good yeah. Are you yeah. See us out, man. See you next week, folks. Oh.